my wife was just yelling at me because my wig's not on right. It's odd. I mean, <laughs> the things you were worried about seconds before we go she, on she's air. She's like, your eyebrows aren't showing. Uh, you got to show them your eyebrows. <laughs> Greg Cody is Walter Mercado. Thank wow. you. I know all. I see all. And that was pretty fun. But Paul keeps doing it. Patrick it Mahomes, you did not have today ending with Patrick Mahomes doesn't get to the Super Bowl because the Kansas City Chiefs don't know what to do inside the other team's <laughs> five-yard line at the end of both halves of their season ending because they can't do anything after scoring 21 points. And we're all looking at it like, of course, we were wrong all season. Kelsey and Hill, here they go again. They're going to – Tom Brady retires. Tom Brady just retires, maybe. Some of us were uh, were right the entire season when we tried to tell you that there was something just a little off in Kansas City, Dano. We'll have plenty of time to get to that. How is Jeff Darlington skating on all of this? Because everyone's going after Schefter for being wrong about this report, but Darlington had his name out up front on this. Okay, let's talk about this for a second, because uh, <laughs> we got Tom Brady to get to and Aaron Rodgers to get to, and I've got uh, red paint on my... On my gloves. <laughs> I am uh, going it's on for, your face, too. Uh, one of the grid of death punishments is flea market Ronald McDonald. Greg Cody is paying off his Walter Mercado. Uh, Gr uh, Billy, can you believe that Greg had Cody, uh, living in Miami all his life, had no idea who Walter Mercado was? That's impossible. No, that's not true. I didn't know who he was. Uh, I, I pictured him on TV. Uh, I'm not a huge horoscope guy, honestly, so I was not a big aficionado of his, but uh, of course, mucho, mucho amor. Of course. Walter. Big time. I'm a Mercado fan. I always have been. And to get to play him right now, to perform as Mer <laughs> Mercado. It sounds like a car, a Chevrolet Mercado. It does. What are we doing here? Chevy Mercado. Yeah, doesn't it? I mean, it's ridiculous. Okay. How Greg, many Miller Lights? He's had so <laughs> many. A couple. He's had so <laughs> many. <laughs> you know. I couldn't believe, Mike, okay. you tried to hand him one, uh, and he said, no, thank you, because he's trying to be professional. But we're careening toward the death zone of 10 p.m., important moments in a yeah. game, and he's had too much beer today. He's pacing himself. I mean, I am. it's obvious. When you uh, offered me one more, more beer and I said, no, thank you, I want that on tape. I want that as, like, evidence that occasionally I do turn down a beer. It was more shocking than the Bengals actually winning the game. <laughs> <laughs> you turning down a three mil yeah. line. The odds were certainly higher. Well, I'll you tell say you the odds because we were talking. Stugatz had a parlay. Stugatz had a parlay on uh, Bengals. He had them on the money line. So they're minus, they're plus seven and a half in the game. Winning outright, that's going to be a big parlay. He wants to, he was asking Whittingham, Whittingham, what was your advice? Because I felt like you were questioning Stugatz, and Stugatz is on, on the cusp here of making a little money because he was talking about hedging. Uh, hundreds of dollars here by betting San Francisco in the in the late game. Well, me and Chris Cody both have the money line parlay. So we had the Bengals plus 260, the Niners plus 155. I have to hedge it. The problem is I really like the Rams in the game. But to get the odds I got, you have to go money line parlay on the road teams. You have to. But why put the money line parlay in if after the first leg comes in, you're ready to hedge it? Uh -huh. Then just bet the Bengals money line. And you don't have to worry about it. He's like, oh, I love the Rams. And then why'd you put him for the 49ers? If you have the first half of this in, then just go with it. Right. And maybe maybe an opportunity. Well, we'll track this over the course of the game. Yeah. Maybe at some point the Niners will go in front and you can money line bet the Rams live and get good odds on it. So I, I just feel like there's an opportunity for you I, to, I to hedge think, that in a better I, way. I don't think Stugatz wants to do that math. I think, look, no. he was, we, I'm sitting here fiddling with my wig. <laughs> Greg Cody smells like Miller Lite. Thank you. We're going to give away something. I don't know why. That wasn't a compliment. We're going to, Miller Lite's going <laughs> to give away, going to give away <laughs> something here. And as we're being counted down to do this, Stugatz is mumbling to himself. I can hear him. Mm -hmm. I got a hedge here. Let me get this hedge in. I got to get this hedge in. Like real degenerate <laughs> stuff at work right before we're starting. What did you end up doing? So the Rams are minus 190, and so I just kind of split it right down the middle. So I could win like $1,200, but I assured myself that I could win, you know, five to $600, but I had to lay a lot of money to do it. So I don't know if my math is right. I'm very concerned about this. I was doing well, it quickly. This is, no, but like, this, I don't is, know, this is why you need to keep winning him around. But, Cody, where were you on this stuff? You were living and dying with the end of that 
Chiefs game and that Bengals game, Chris, and you uh, you were coaching Stugatz up on what he should do with the Rams because Stugatz is gung-ho. He's like Rams all the way tonight. I think they're going to blow them out. I did not hedge, Dano. No hedge for me. Attaboy. Riding hard. I'm going right. to ride Jimmy G all night. <laughs> Hell yeah. 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 Hell yeah. T- Tony, what are you supposed to be dressed as? Billy, what are you supposed to be dressed as? Are you guys doing yeah. – you're not doing the same punishments I'm doing, are you? Yeah. I'm Ronald McDonald. Yeah. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Duh. Are, this is a grid of death punishment you're doing by walking in just wearing DraftKings gear? You just fulfilled the punishment as the commissioner of this bullshit league? I'm dressed as Tony today. And if you see <laughs> Tony, you'll see we're dressed the Spinning same. Spinning image, Dano. Yeah. <laughs> All the way down to the t-shirt. Oh, I'll take a look right here, yeah. Mm-hmm. And I have a mustache. Ah, oh, that camera's off. No, never mind. I've spent the last that's your, that's your 90 minutes in makeup. <laughs> Jesus. Time well spent. <laughs> you can see your eyebrows, though. I mean, <laughs> I am uh, going for for flea market Ronald McDonald. I was reading about him before we started here today because he's been banished. Now, this is in support of Ronald McDonald. He hasn't appeared anywhere since 2016 because there was a creepy clown outbreak of like violence and stuff. And they're like, yeah. we're pulling you back, Ronald. No retirement ceremony, nothing special. People think clowns are creepy now. McDonald's is out of the clown business. He appears one day a year. The Macy's Parade. And last year, his left leg broke. It disinflated, hit a tree or something, and they right. had to go to tape coverage. I want to bring Ronald back, and so I'm coming back strong with support flea market Ronald McDonald. You have to. Yeah, you have to. I've al- always thought that Ronald McDonald was killed prematurely by social media. There was no announcement. No. He was gone pre-canceled culture. Right. There was no announcement. He no never one. got got a victory lap. Nothing. It's no, unbelievable. No gold, no gold watch, nothing. <laughs> nothing. They treated him as poorly as ESPN treated Golik. Yes. <laughs> like, take care of your lovable clown, man. So you're bringing him back? I mean. Yeah, I'm trying <laughs> here. It's, uh, it's, you know, I got a beard and I'm fat. You should do this. Dress this way until they actually bring him back. <laughs> Thank you, Stu. That's a good idea. As yeah. The guy who's not paying any yeah. punishments tonight and, is making, on me? and mean... is making hedge bets. <laughs> You're here. It's a miracle. In Stu guys' defense, like hunger strikes aren't just one day. You know, yeah. are we committed to bringing Ron back or not? Yes, I'm committed. Much better commute Sunday nights. I mean, a reasonable start time. And... <laughs> you got in here and you're ready on fire. <laughs> That game, the end of that game, the Kansas City Chiefs showing you how hard it is for Tom Brady to do what it is that Tom Brady did because you don't just keep getting back there all the time, even if you have Mahomes. And someone's going to need to explain to me how the Chiefs went from looking the way they did at the beginning of that game to not scoring at all in the second half and losing to the, for the second time to the Bengals after leading by 17 points. Because yeah. I somebody somebody can someone explain they, it to me? They led by 14 in week 17, 17 yes. in this game, mm-hmm. and Joe Burrow's just got it. Like I don't really know how to evaluate him, but he finds ways to squirm out of pressure. Like you'll turn it on like Russell Wilson, and that's not really what you project him to be. He's just he's a phenomenal talent. They're not supposed to be this. But, and you know he's a first number one overall draft pick to make it to the Super Bowl. If I tell you ever, well, no, actually, oh. Jared Goff would be, but in the AFC, right. yeah, no, right. that's actually a mistake on the CBS because they were actually rallying that they were reading huh. that set off. But it doesn't happen often for a number one overall draft pick. But Mike, you are right. Where he's got it, and I don't know how to explain what it is. I don't know what it well, is. But he was only sacked one time this week. Last time, last week was nine times. He still got the victory this week, just one time. But he made a lot of plays with his legs, Dan, where he was able to get out of trouble. Okay, like, he's just good at everything. Yeah. And he's okay. not top of the league. But in this is what it's going to be for two weeks, okay? Because yeah. Stugatz announced before we came on when he was making that hedge bet, Burrow's arrived. The next two weeks are going to all be Burrow, no matter what happens in this late game. Here it is. The arrival Rival of the next quarterback as Roethlisberger's out and Brady might be done as Darlington and Schefter skate. <laughs> they got to be scared, though, because yes. Brady might come back out of spite just one more time. Just to <laughs> like, you know what, media, yeah. here you go. How about well, how about I come back one more year? He just wants it to be on man in the arena. <laughs> build, build up the numbers for the season finale yeah. of man in the arena, this, which is this week. Mike, you were shitting yourself when you were out there for 10 minutes with your Mario Cristobal story. How do you think uh, they feel, Schefter and Darlington, when Tom Brady's dad is putting on his name on, he's not retiring? Is it because Brady just wants to do it his way? I, I think he absolutely wants to do it his way. Even the NFL and their social media channels were messaging, thank you, Tom. I think he just wants to 
make the announcement in his own way, but it was kind of weird. There was a full court press from his representation to try to rebuff all of these stories that are out there. But I think Schefter and Darlington are pretty confident in their reporting. It must not feel good to be them right now just because everyone's making fun of them. But ultimately, they know they have the winning card. It just has to play out. What was that stat that CBS put up? That number one overall draft picks don't make it to the the Super Bowl. I think Goff might have been the first one. Peyton Manning, Derek Carr, Eli Manning, <laughs> Keisha right. Johnson, Drew Bledsoe. You know what? That's Roy, a fine. No, 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 you know what? I'm going to. You know, I'm, I'm going to. Right, uh, no, 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 no. So every number good. one pick. Yeah, yeah. I, meant, I meant quarterback, but <laughs> That's a record you rattled off a bunch of quarterbacks. Wait a minute. Can we just backtrack for just a second? Sorry, I heard that set on the Please stop apologizing and allow me to fix it. Thank you, Billy, for doing that. That's how I heard the loss. Thank you for doing that, Billy. Yes. Uh, I blew through the stat Mike was trying to give that he stole from CBS. And the moment we called him on it, when he realized, wait a minute, Goff has done it as well, he started backtracking while talking about Joe, Joe Burrow having it. Saying, you know what it is? It's leadership. It's saying you got a stat wrong and then immediately turning to CBS and saying their fault. And now you've given us 15 first round picks yeah. that have done. <laughs> Proud of you. Uh, not a quarterback, but there have been a, way more than zero. The point <laughs> is. <laughs> are, are you saying Joe Burrow doesn't okay, have it, Dan? The, uh, what I'm annoyed by is that Mike Ryan, stat guy, numbers guy, advanced metrics guy, he's measuring what the center's doing on pro football focus. That Mike Ryan just fell into the trap for the next two weeks of, well, Joe Burrow's just a winner when he had nothing to do with why didn't the Chiefs score in the second half? Why didn't they score? Well, Patrick Mahomes started messing up. <laughs> I mean, something's a little off. We tried to tell you. I will tell you this, Dan. Andy Reid got a little too cute at the end of the first half. They should have kicked a field goal there. They didn't. It cost them. It kind of threw things off. And they were off. As Tony Baselli said 15 times on my drive down here, the Chiefs were off in the second half. The offense was not clicking in the second half. It just wasn't. But that doesn't give enough credit to the Bengals. I will say, though, on that first half decision, the way that Kansas City was rolling offensively, mm. if you ask the Bengals with five seconds left, what do you want Kansas City to do here? I'd be like, kick a field goal, please, dear God. Because a, touch, a touchdown kills them. You know what? You're right, Whittingham. But I was also thinking to myself, is there another team in the league here that with five seconds left trusts their offense enough to, well, we're not going to screw this up. It's one play for the end zone. The play before, they tried it, and he just threw it right into the ground immediately. I don't think there's another coach that trusts another quarterback in the league. Maybe Brady? Maybe? Five seconds left, Tom. Please, please don't screw this up. Don't get sacked. Don't do anything. I want three points here. Can you execute for me a play in four seconds that has no chance of not being four seconds? Right. How, you tell me. Do you think I'm wrong about that? Do you guys think that they're I, I, especially after last week? He earned that trust, and for all the buffer. for all the, the the praise that we heaped upon Patrick Mahomes and and Travis Kelsey for being so cool and calm and knowing the game situation, doing all that in 13 seconds. He didn't know the game situation with five seconds left. If you watch the replay, he's signaling for a timeout. Right. Why do you throw the ball in the flat in that situation? They just run a play where it took four seconds off the clock. So you figure if they they know exactly how long four seconds are, I think that's enough play, uh, enough time to run a play in the back of the end zone. And I was actually down with the decision. But Patrick Mahomes, not knowing the game situation, totally throws that in the trash. Did you guys see that? Because I didn't see that. I did not see that Patrick Mahomes simply had no earthly idea what he was doing five seconds left in the first half. Anyway, regardless, going back to Tom Brady made that look awful easy, didn't it? Yeah. Like just always doing it, always doing it. If we're going to do the quarterback thing, of course, he's got it. He's a winner. Good God, man. Like just kept doing it where he comes out on Twitter and says of Ben Roethlisberger, he says – more than one way to, you know, bake a cake. He won championships doing it his way, too. Not T TB, whatever, 12. <laughs> he did it his way with the ice bath guy. Yes. And except for the, the baked cake of Roethlisberger's was less good. And, right. and, and now this cake or this cake maker is going to take its place. Like it just You're losing me with a cake analogy. I don't know. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. No, it looks like I need a lot of cake. Yeah. Uh, are you hungry? You're hungry, aren't you? Is that, is that why? If there's one place where you, you need would be to eat? very clear yeah. with messaging, it would right. be cake. Guys, right. Right. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. I was taking a look at the players now before the game when they were like isolating them, and I was looking at Jimmy Garoppolo. Jimmy G? Yeah. I would feel more <laughs> confident, and I don't know why this is. I would feel more confident with that look if he was my kicker than if he was my quarterback. 
Mm-hmm. Something about him tells me I would trust him with a big last second kick in the game, but I wouldn't trust him to start in this NFC Championship game. Mike, did you enjoy that Odell Beckham drop? You know it. <laughs> Are you rooting for Odell? behind him. Are you yeah, rooting yeah, for Odell? Yeah. Bad throw. Him. Bad throw. Him. You get your hands on and catch it. Mike does not want yeah. to see Odell in a Super Bowl. Exactly. Oh, he does not want no, to see that. It's hard. It's hard for me, man. It's hard for me. Uh, I think history. I think he won that. Obviously, he's playing. He's a game away from the Super Bowl right now. But well, what do you want me to do? He, he didn't want to ever be a Cleveland Brown. He actively told Von Miller, "Don't come to Cleveland." He was trying to get out of there. <laughs> uh, there were reports saying that who he reported asked the, that? I saw that report. Who well, reported Von, that? Von Miller reported that report. He just revealed, like, hey, don't come to Cleveland. So he was actively making our team worse. And there were credible reports out there that said Odell asked to be traded to the Rams the moment he got acquired by the Cleveland Browns. So this isn't – to me, it's not – it's not a Baker or or Odell thing anymore. It's just like, what do you what do you want me to but do? But are you rooting for the 49ers? Are you rooting for the 49ers? I'm rooting for the 49ers because it, in addition to thinking that they're the better team, and that's where I've got my entertainment porpoises right now, and I, I love Kyle Shanahan. I thought he was the best Browns offensive coordinator. Big fan of his. I am rooting for the Niners also in part because I don't want Odell to be proven that right. I, I root against Odell Beckham Jr. because he was just like, you're not good enough for me. I don't want to be here. How he hurt you. That? He hurt you. Yeah, that, that hurts. How do you feel about the uh, uniform color schemes? You and Whittingham on the this screen is a great, right now. This is a great it color. Right. Right. I, I, was, I, yeah. I said that. The, Ram, the Rams look is just quality. It really yes. is. Yeah. Well, classic. Well, well, yeah. classic. Yeah. The colors. The colors are good. Classic. So we have yeah. a, in terms of the Super Bowl, I don't think. ombre number going right now. In terms of the Super Bowl, I don't think we can go wrong now that the, uh, that the, the Bengals made it too. Because mm-hmm. they're. Yeah. Going to be designated the home team. We'll see. Sometimes when you go on a little winning streak on the road, teams go. Real oh, white. but nobody. Do people want Mahomes not to make the Super Bowl? What do you think the rooting? I think this inter- is super exciting. What were the rooting interests at the end of that game, though? Didn't people want to see Mahomes advance? Yes. Yeah. Nope. I'm a, I'm a Browns fan, and I turned to Chris <laughs> Whittingham. I'm like, Am I rooting for the Bengals right now? Just you did do that. That was weird. He did that with 90 <laughs> seconds left. No, he, but he he had no, been coming and, to this throughout the day. No, but Mike. Listen to this. This happened. I think this was genuine, what happened with Mike. He's watching the last 90 seconds of the Bengals games, and he does turn up because he's got a Kelsey bet. He's got a bunch of prop bets that need – oh, he's got prop bets that Burrow needs to throw for more yards. Need, and Mike bet against – Mike uh, was cheering against his money the last 90 seconds They of won the me game. over. They won me over with their solid play. Look, on the road in that atmosphere, come back from 17 down, mad respect. Oh. To the uh, the Cincinnati Bengals, oh. they don't they don't need my respect right now. They're in the goddamn Super Bowl. But right, yeah. Joe Burrow, I don't know how they do this with that bad offensive line. They've got skill weapons for days. I mean, Zach Taylor well, was and, a guy that and, you could have you could have argued, hey, if they have a different owner there that doesn't like to keep things would have been aesthetic, fired. Yeah. He might have been fired. It's yeah. an incredible story. And, and Jamar Chase, right? Like if I tell you before that game they're down twenty one three, and the game you're getting from Jamar Chase is going to be not. Not not a game. They lost Uzama uh, over the course of the game. Whittingham, you wanted to say something? Yeah, I, I wanted to contrast oh. Mike rooting against his money with Greg making the argument that, oh, any neutral has to be rooting for the Bengals right now because you're hearing noise from downstairs, people getting excited about the Bengals. And Greg goes, oh, you have to be rooting for the Bengals. But I'm, I'm rooting for the Chiefs, and so I inquired, wow. why are you rooting for the Chiefs? <laughs> And he goes, because I picked them in my newspaper column. Uh, right. I root, for, I root for my pick. Yep. Over Look, the narrative of right, yes. the yeah. sports populace of what Always people are rooting for. for my pick. Mm-hmm. It's like rooting for your money if you make a bet. Yeah, but, the but team Mike, you're rooting for is Mike, your money. But Mike, yeah, but Mike had actual money. You're really selfish, and it shows itself at every turn, and it brings me perfectly to... That wasn't a compliment. <laughs> it felt like a compliment to me. I took it as one. The thing... Here's the thing. Okay. If you're not a super fan of football, maybe you latch onto the Cinderella. Okay, the Bengals. Oh my gosh, they haven't been in the Super Bowl in whatever forty years. But here's what most people root for: star power. Okay, when Brady and and Mahomes, Aaron Rodgers Mahomes, both went Ma- out, Mahomes, Kelsey Hill is a it's a bigger star power yeah. team. Kansas City's a star power team. Right. The Bengals are right now Burrow. Jamar Chase is great, but yeah. what they are... Burrow and Chase, it's a, Dan. Give it two yeah. weeks. No, They're about I'm to so, become superstars. But, and McPherson. Right. But yeah. you've got <laughs> McPherson, the cocky kicker. Totally. I mean, he is. Totally, but with the, the Super Bowl hype machine, 
Joe Burrow presents super well. Like he's he, he he's, does. He's yes. magnetic. Yeah. He's about to become an absolute superstar. Yeah, but he's all, kid. but he's also Big Dick Joe, right? Like he's the guy from LSU. Yeah. He'll like give you the memes. swagger, quarterback swagger. Here's what happens now: new personality has entered the fray. The fight is on for the AFC. You just saw Mahomes and Josh Allen wrestle to the death, and now Burrow. And Bur Herbert didn't make it. Yeah, don't I mean, forget but, Herbert. No, right. but, but, yeah. but Burrow just, what Burrow just did in a league where we're still going to do this, right? The quarterback is measured on wins, even though Jimmy Garoppolo is 4-1 in the playoffs, was probably the worst playoff quarterback in the bunch. He might get to the Super Bowl now. They're hiding him all season. I got a big Jimmy Garoppolo game. Yeah, I'm right. I'm throwing all of it on Jimmy Garoppolo right oh, now. Boy. Really? He's carved this team up, and the narrative is that he's he's crap, and if they make it to the Super Bowl, they make it in spite of him. The guy is absolutely torched the Rams and owns them. I'm a big Jimmy All right, G forgive game. me for Ooh. a second, okay, because Chris Cody is lonely in the other room. I see him. He's wanted to get in a couple <laughs> of times, and because we're doing the show a little bit differently today, I haven't been able to go to him as if he were in this room. But I've got – he's been wanting to get in, and I've also got some questions for him about what's going on with his father because I don't think his father has ever been as mad at me as he is this week, and I want to get to the bottom of this because I called him and apologized to him. After Dominic Foxworth asked me to do that, he told me, I was asking his advice. It's not even about Dominic Foxworth. He said, just apologize to him. And then I apologized to him, and Greg Cody rejected my apology. Wow. That's right. But, Chris, what were you, you saying? apologize, like, every week to Greg, though. Like, yeah. if you're Greg, yeah. you have to. What are they worth? Yeah, that's true. What are they worth? to roll yeah. the eyes yeah. at this point. I mean, a dime a yeah. dozen. I, mean. oh, I will tell you what he's mad about in a second, because I'm not sure everyone's going to have a consensus on this one. But, Chris, uh, please, tell me what you wanted to t what, what you wanted to say? Well, Mike was just talking about Jimmy G having a big game, and he sailed one on the last drive, so I was a little disappointed there. Yeah, but we're debating out here whether Brandy's a good get for National Anthem at this point. Yeah. I like I, It's a name people know, but I was just like, I don't know. Billy was excited by Michael Buffer doing the introduction. And Brandy, Billy. Ray J's sister. Yeah. Uh, Billy, what? I saw. Why were you so excited? <laughs> why, why were you? Wow, well, I was watching a screen pass, second and seven. <laughs> and oh, Stafford, this is a nerd off. We are watching a nerd off, fellas. Stafford nah. was being chased backwards. <laughs> Guys, uh, are, how much? How much uh, criticism is Mahomes going to get? Oh, for he's skating right now, Dano. Totally skating. Yep. Yeah, yeah, he's going to skate. That third down play was atrocious. Well, but they didn't miss the field goal. That doesn't That's cost true. them. Yeah, because. but he also threw an interception in, in overtime. From, look, did. the Bengals yeah. lost that toss. I it mean, looked who, like deja vu. Who's getting mad at that guy? He just provided us with one of the greatest games, if not the greatest game in the history of the NFL. And so they lost today. No one's going to get mad at Patrick Mahomes. Right. He's been the four consecutive there's, AFC there's, Championship there's, games. All right, Do it when it counts. Can <laughs> someone explain to me uh, why Cooper Cup is the best receiver in football? Third and seven, they just threw to him. He's always open. Doesn't matter what happens. Why can't he be? I, I'm sure Tony yeah. in his scratch <laughs> cornea can absolutely tell you why Cooper. All right, go ahead, best. Tony. Which Tony scratch am I going cornea. to? I can't. I, I get them confused. <laughs> well, Dan, the question the question is why Cooper Cup hasn't had the MVP chance that he should be getting. He's the triple crown why winner for wide receivers. God. Like he's one of the best blocking wide receivers. Like if this guy, I, I don't know what what we can do to elevate Cooper Cup. Like, do we need to start a show? Uh, a show push for him to be MVP. I think we should. <laughs> <laughs> a shush. Let's start a shush. Let's start a shush. Is that what Tony's is? Analysis. So, let's do this. Can you guys help me? Because we didn't really have a production meeting. I saw an email chain that said we were, we were going to give away some stuff from our sponsors. Is there a eight way? Giveaways. Is there? Can I not have said eight? Wow. Eight That's giveaways. Wow. Yeah. Amazing. That's oh, about two a quarter. Boy. Can so, you uh, can you give the audience and me details on this? Yeah, we haven't had a meeting. Nobody told me anything. I'm just, uh, I see an email that says, hey, we've got sponsors. Like, Billy, you walked in here three seconds before we started. <laughs> yeah, eight giveaways. Yeah. So what are we doing with them? How are well, we giving them away? I just had to procure the giveaways. I've done that. Okay. And by that, I was on a chain as well. <laughs> you want me to tell you what the giveaways yes, are? Yes. Yes, Billy. Yes. Sure. Yes. We have an athletic greens gift pack. Oh, I love athletic nice. greens. Wouldn't that uh, be cool what? if you won that? Well, Mike, we have two of those. Mike has been saying these are good. Mike has been saying they don't taste like, uh, you know, like green green where you're going to be disgusted by it. It's just a nice smoothie. I got I a bunch. cell, Dano. Yeah, exactly. No, no, I got, I think that's honestly like the best kind of cell you can make uh, for athletic greens. It really greens. is. Is that it Odell? Doesn't is that to Odell? 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 No green grit. Yeah. yeah, no green yeah. grit. Like it big catch like by Odell there. Was it a big catch? How big? Seven yards, first down. Seven big. First down catch, though. First down catch. He's a helmet off. Beautiful I'm hair showing everybody his that. face. I'm not playing any uh, Odell props here. I'm all about Higby here. Ooh, mm. I got ooh, 
first touchdown props here. Oh, you got a Ooh, prop. What do we got? Okay, what do we got? Higby, What'd you get? You have Higby? What is it? Uh, seven to one? Nine to one? No, no, no. It's more than that. Hang on. Let me get my. Right my uh, 11 to Mike, one? Mike loves a first to score. 11 to one. I imagine like he zero. puts one on every single football game and wins $10. He's at 12 to one. 12, 12 to one. one. And you've got. Uh, oh, he likes Higby in the red zone, doesn't he? <laughs> I'm also on the Cam Akers under, and that's not looking good. Oh, my God. Inside the 10. He just ran for 15 yards. Yeah. We also have two CBDMD gift packs to give away. Oh, I two love that. Two Sheets and Giggles gift packs. Whoa, Giggles. Can't go wrong there. Two DK <laughs> swag bags. Wow. Eight total. Chris, did I, on this email chain, Chris, did <laughs> I see, uh, please tell me what's going on. I, I just, I have so much remorse asking you this question. <laughs> what's up, Dana? But what's going on with you and, and, sh and Shiggles and, what, and you're going to the Super Bowl. We're sending you yes. out yeah. as our, our, <laughs> bed, our yes. bed sheet oaf. <laughs> uh, me, Tony, Witty, we are going to do things in LA. Big plans. Okay, that is a terrible tease. Name one. Uh, very good. I was hoping though. I can that, name all of them. Okay. All right. Can uh, oh ooh, Cam Cam makers nothing. Back to the line. Doesn't he average? He averaged two yards a carry last week. And yeah, but he, he runs hard, Dan. You, he you does, mentioned yeah. that. Yeah. It's eight yards and then zero yards, and it right. comes out in the wash. Yeah. Chris, what's going on with your dad? How mad? How how much was he mother bleeping me uh, behind everyone's back this weekend? As we tell the story, I don't want to bias it. I want to tell everyone oh, okay. what happened. Here. I was going to say he's right next to you. You can ask him. So there may have been threats of him not coming tonight. I don't I don't know if I'm betraying him there. But did he do it? He's here. I had to. I had to. <laughs> Is he throwing a Higby? Oh, oh Higby! Oh! oh stay on your to the three. Oh, up on a double team. Higby has amazing hair. He wow. does. He looks wow. great. great Good hair. Good hair. Yeah. Who is the tight end? Is, does he have the... Are you willing to allege that he's got the best tight end Oof. hair in the league? Oh, wow. I love a Falcon's glowing red hair. There's a big... Oh, big, who is that guy? There's a big... There's a Hurst. big... Hurst. Hurst. Yeah. Ooh. Yeah, I'd go Higby. There, I would. You would, but just because... Yeah. there's has got pretty good hair. Yeah. yeah. Well, because I can't think of anyone else right now. Yeah. Okay, yeah. very good. I yeah. thought that that's the way that you would do that. So, wait, you got third and goal here, Mike. Higby's Higby. Wide. You, Mike, you need. Fade, oh, fade, we're going to go fade here, Mike. Mike, you got a good chance. This is 12 this to is 1. It's cup all day. It's cup territory. One. No, no, no. Look the other way. Look the other way. Oh! Catch! Oh! Who can't see the game? There no. was an interception. Interception. Yeah, was pick in the end wow. Zone. Right. Yeah. I don't know if you remember the Packer game where uh, Aaron Jones had that huge uh, yeah. what uh, halfback catch, mm -hmm. and uh, number one was just ball watching the entire time. He didn't step out of it, and then he was on that block. And now this play, he's just been ah. making up for him, standing completely still on that Aaron Jones <laughs> breakdown ever since. Your Higby bet is still alive, though. Yes, you yeah. got. <laughs> I, also, I also have. I also have one on the Niners, Juwan Jennings. So and he's, sneaky. Yeah. What, what odds did you get there? That's sneaky. No, he. That's a big one. That Hang is. On. Let me get my that's going to be twenty to one. Stugatz underdog parlay. <laughs> fourth wide receiver. Uh, <laughs> oh, that, that one hurts. I, I, that one I, hurts. I, I was. I, I was feeling oh, it. Was good for us. No, no, no. I was. I was kind of feeling. Ooh. I was like, oh no, I told him not to hedge, and the Rams are about to go up, and your your odds Love are going to get bad here. I yeah. win regardless. It doesn't matter. You you're in. Well, You're no. in for the hedge? If the not yeah, I'm in. If the Niners win, I win more. If the Rams no, win, I win like half. No, but what I'm saying oh, so you've put the hedge in already. Yeah. Oh. Before the game starts. I didn't hedge. Yeah. You I'm wanted an in game I'm hedge, I know. Better than that. Right. Why why put an underdog parlay in if you're gonna hedge the second the first leg comes well, in? Here, hey, how about I do what I want with my bets and Winningham. you do what you want with yeah. 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 Okay. Wait a little. I want sound? money. But Winningham, this is I had this argument fifteen years ago with Stugant at the blackjack table because he wasn't doing any of the break <laughs> card stuff. I, I, I and I and couldn't. he'd be at the end of the table and everyone would get mad at him and he was just yelling at everybody. How about you play your cards? Everyone's doing math. It's a team he, game. He, no, it's not. not. He's it's not. a team game. No, it's not. What do you mean? No, it's not. No, it's a it, no. It's it's a one man game. No, it's okay? not. I'm there for myself. I'm not there for seven strangers I've never met before who are blowing smoke in my face. Not <laughs> happening. Like okay? you're not blowing smoke in their face. Well, I am. I mean, Just only it's retaliation. Meters. I mean, smoke for smoke. Chimney. <laughs> but I don't believe this. I was just talking hedge. Sugats is math. Is bad. Um, he's math averse. <laughs> and so just two weeks ago, I was talking to him about hedging. I don't think he's done a lot of that in his life. I may be wrong about this, but the guaranteeing of yourself six hundred dollars on a on a bet on a sixteen parlay that's gonna win you three thousand. Right. So you're guarding against the feeling of, well, I could have had three thousand dollars, 
now I've just lost 50. Right. Or I now mean, I've just lost 100. I think when you make like a goof parlay, like a money line parlay, you want to feel like you've won. So- if you get so close to winning it, which is where I'm at right now, you want to walk away with something if you can. That's all. Guillermo, yeah. put it on the poll, please. I don't know what happened to the lighting in here. I suppose we will fix it in a second. Now you look like it. a creepy Ronald McDonald. <laughs> yeah, really. It's well, this is the like reason that it got it's discontinued like right here. This is it. You can't have this selling your burgers. <laughs> you know what? That actually is true. I was reading an article. I was reading an article that... Apparently there was like kind of an occurrence of clowns in places where they shouldn't be. 2016. Yeah. Right. This yeah. is what happened. They they canceled clowns Ronald McDonald. Creamy. How yeah. do you cancel Ronald McDonald without no pub? How does that happen quietly? It's offensive to me. It's a great question. It's offensive but to it, me. Like if, how you're, does if you're Ronald gonna, just go if you're away, gonna do though? it, you, you try and do it quietly. You can't. How do you cancel him before he's done anything wrong? Just because look at him, he's gonna do something wrong because right. he's creepy and he's gonna do it with kids, yeah. and he's probably gonna do it in the bounce house in the back. Let's refurbish those. Throw another six billion dollars into the five thousand plus restaurants to refurbish it, so my clown doesn't look like it's gonna to touch your kid. Ah. Really thought it through, like all the details. That's what house. happened. I'm, I'm here to bring him back. It's unfair what's happened to Ronald. The clown economy needs to flourish. You're a weird Ronald McDonald. You know, he has a pompadour. You look like Ronald McDonald just stepped out the shower with that hair. You know? And I've Ronald does shower it. in full clothing, by I've, the way. I've got to fix it. Put it on the poll, Guillermo. Does Ronald McDonald shower in full clothing? Chris, finish up the explanation to what's happening with my with your father and me. Well, I think it's really my dad and Billy Corbin that have the beef, but you just kind of play this thing up. So he's just, you know, I, I think... I, I almost got the feeling my dad's just as mad as at you as he is with Billy Corbin. Well, no, oh, he's angrier at me. Correct. Here come the 49ers. Uh, 49ers. Okay, this is going to be Some good running here. back you've never bets, heard of. I mean, what are the so... bets you guys have here? Another running back we've never <laughs> heard of. <laughs> Frank Gore making a comeback. <laughs> I wasn't watching. Is Debo Samuel, all these guys that were hurt for them, Trent Williams, Kittle. Uh, They're they, playing. They all limped all off playing. the field the last game. All playing. Trent Williams had a high ankle sprain. How the hell do you play with a high ankle sprain? He's Trent Williams. Dude. Yep. Okay. Gumption. Mm-hmm. I mean, high ankle sprain is I almost... Know. Want almost, to. Thank you, Greg, yeah. Walter. Big game. Yeah. Walter Mercado. No, Chris, but you are right. Your father is mad at me. You never and, hear about the low ankle sprain. Yeah. Put it on the pole, Guillermo. I think Guillermo. that's just an ankle sprain. Yeah, yeah that's true. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Guillermo, put, it on, swelling. The, put yeah. it on the pole, true. Guillermo. Do you ever hear about the low ankle right. sprain? How about the middle ankle sprain? That's <laughs> cool. What about me? Yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Welcome back. What's happening? Uh, I just saw Bob. I got scared of him. I'm, Bob, sure, Bob. I'm sure he got scared of me. Bob, come in here. Tell me what happened Bob. here. On our production, because we're gonna Bob, when Bob, we come when, over here to the couch. Bob in it. When the Manning when the Manning <laughs> cast. It's working. It's Paul. working. The lights are on. I mean, right <laughs> now, Something lots got of unplugged. apologies are owed to the Manning. They never in. lost power. <laughs> I I had Greg kicking the power cord out. I think that's how that happened. <laughs> what happened in here? Look, this is a real. I'll th- take the this, blame. This is a whole flea market oh, yeah. operation. All right, carry on. It's, uh, thank you, Bob. Carry on. Thank instead you, Bob. of instead of the worldwide leader, Bobby. Good seeing you, Bob. Thank you, Bob. Bob. Chat, it's great. <laughs> Thank you for your service. All of a sudden, Bob, Bob's real chatty. Such a great callback. <laughs> <laughs> we've just been, there's got to be a human resources complaint in there. Bob, the engineer, the way we've pelted him without your uncle. Stu <laughs> Guts is better on Sundays. <laughs> Sunday night, what? 6 o'clock start, Mike. Let's go. Well, we're keeping you out of sex, aren't we? Oh, 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 oh. Yes. What was that? Well, where was Jimmy throwing the ball? Uh, to He's bring terrible. an Ayuk, Dan. Yeah. Between four defenders. God, it's, this is, By the way, I, I looked up his splits against the Rams. He's nine touchdowns and seven interceptions, and yet somehow it was six and zero. Oh, hands to the face. Yeah. Never, girl. Oh, but you can't be rooting for Jimmy here because you can't. This is all dog parlay, Dan. The 49ers are all system stuff. You'll yeah. be rooting for like, hey, I don't understand football in the Super Bowl. Dull, dull like, team. No, it's not. Yeah. I don't think it's their dull. I think it's genius actually. But their quarterback's not any good. 
Like he's not it's exciting. Smoke and mirrors. He's yeah, not like exciting. you don't believe he's him at all. He's not interesting. Oh, he's wow. just they play great football around him, and he's okay. Like, this is not played out well for the NFL. I'm sorry. I, I know the NFL always wins. The Super Bowl will get pretty good numbers. I understand that. But you were looking at Rodgers, Brady this, this, versus Mahomes, like this, what, like some sort of scenario like that. And now you're getting Joe Burrow perhaps against Jimmy G. Like this, that's that's not good. The Super Bowl will get pretty good numbers. You think people are not going to watch this Super Bowl? I mean... The, the most watched television event by like 60 million more viewers than any wait, other. Do you guys think it gets the same rating every single year? I, I mean, think everyone watches the Super Bowl every year. I don't know year. about Honestly, that, the, the bigger determinant whether or not people watch the Super Bowl is whether the game's good. Oh, uh, yeah. Right. right. Like, everyone starts watching the Super Bowl. Everyone gets to halftime. But this the one question won't is, be. Why not? Don't watch it. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> at, at what point you, you just want new stars? Without actually having to make them, because this is how Burrow becomes the star. This is actually kind of cool as Brady reportedly is prepping to walk away, as we may have seen Aaron Rodgers' final game in Green Bay. It's kind of as cool. Ben has done. As but Ben I has done it, it yeah. really feels like we're finally closing the book. Changing the guard. On an era. <laughs> yeah. Well done. That's why yeah. that cliche exists. Uh huh. But also the like the NFL has a remarkable ability to make you care about any team that's in the Super Bowl. By the time a team reaches a conference championship, oh, but they're San, not a regional no, team but anymore. San Francisco, look, they can do all the stories they want about whichever Super Bowl. They'll trot out Jerry Rice and Joe Montana, and we'll talk about Sam White, and we'll talk about the Bengals. Be the best Bengals team before this one that played the 49ers, and we'll create all those stories. They'll all be crud. None of them are going to matter. <laughs> What's going on there? Why is Tony? Who's Tony talking to? Tony, who are you talking oh, to? Oh, Dan, there's just a little back, you know, backroom stuff here. Lewis said, "Está meándose," and I was like, "Dale, go," and you know, <laughs> stuff like that. <laughs> who está me meándose? <laughs> Lewis está meándose, but you know. Okay, we, let me explain to the audience something that's happening right now. Sorry, we've gone from the now we've gone from the worldwide. Se <laughs> se no, no, no se se meo, but oh. they're talking about well the Mercado's language now. I'll tell you that. God, you look so creepy, by the way. Yeah, <laughs> it's, it's a bad. shot of him and. Look I'm watching the YouTube feed. Yeah. My it's God, scary. it looks like you and Dan made out. <laughs> <laughs> and we did. <laughs> But only after I apologized to him, he rejected it and and decided to come in. Before we get to is that, is he going to cook for us? Yes, he is. Yeah, what's the food? We'll get to this in a of second. Course, I want to explain this to the audience because this is real. But before I do that. I want to explain to the audience that we've jumped from the worldwide leader in sports, and now our video department is Tony and Lewis. <laughs> yeah. And so they are the, the like, you know, the chumeria. It's just too loud. Tony can't see. Anything that we get wrong. We stole Tony away from ESPN. He wanted to come out at Freedom and Dance because nobody cared Tony was here. And now he's working behind the scenes. Bark, and, and all him. Ah, damn. No, but our video department right now. <laughs> Which needs to catch up to McAfee's. You guys better hurry up. We've got multiple sets. I, oh, yeah, damn, look at this. Oh, oh, come on. on. We're expanding. Look, this, look, clown, this, set? this clown is tired of drowning for a year. Okay? Miller Lite Lounge. Get my video up and get it running and let's go. Let's go yeah, chase this right. guy. over here. Hey, now he's over here. Come on now. Do it to your Get the boys. Come on. Is that Higby? They just, Mike, they took your bet I think it is. They just took your bet off the field. Your bet's was, not going to score the first touchdown because, hey, look at that. A giant warrior is limping, limping and can't run through the paint. They're deep in their own territory, Dan. Yeah, no, but I'm saying <laughs> he's out for the game. The way oh, that he was shit. being. Yeah, the way he lived off. The way that the way he lived right. off, he wasn't on his own. His, 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 he couldn't. I mean, maybe he won't be done for the game. These like a low look, ankle sprain, maybe. These people oh, are, okay. are crazy. <laughs> Didn't it look to you like somebody who was going off the field that way would be done for the game? Yes. Yeah. Yep. That's all, football. He'll be back. Yes, yeah. he'll, be, he'll, he'll be take back. a magic bullet <laughs> Next on the sidelines. That back. sucks. He'll be back on this drive. This is third and two. Incomplete. He won't be oh, back. On the oh, oh, flag, flag. Oh, oh, flag. Oh, 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 flag on the play. I hate oh, a late flag. That, that is a terrible. <laughs> uh, Chris Cody, so yep. explain this. This is where I just want. It's not that. Yeah, he held him the whole way. It's not that Chris <laughs> is not biased, but I want. He's seen all of it. So take the people behind. So I called your dad the other day during the hockey game because I wanted to warn him. We had sent out a clip of Billy Corbin saying that your father didn't conceive you and yeah. that he hadn't uh, had sex. I have his hands and feet, though, so I think he's my dad. Okay, so that part... You're welcome. Your, your father was not happy. <laughs> <laughs> <I did. laughs> you 
big, feet. You've got big feet. <laughs> you've got big feet. That ain't all. Average. <laughs> <laughs> Go on. <laughs> that ain't all. Well, I don't want to get too graphic. Well, but you were Baby. already there. Too late. <laughs> this ain't a graphic too novel. Too late. <laughs> all right. I did not think <laughs> that where we'd end up today is with the reveal that Greg Cody has, he thinks, a big hog. Wow. Right. Uh, hog. Congratulations. It's Let's certifiable. See it. Thank you. Let's see it. There it is. <laughs> That's the guy's trying to get on the fun with That's his the after show. general subtlety. <laughs> I don't believe him. Though. Okay, let's do <laughs> Let's do the okay, the after show. So you stick around with us till the end of the show. At the end of this, the very end, Stugatz and Cody are going to have a penis off. Right. <laughs> no, oh, I'll I, lose. I mean, no, it's not me. It's Walter Mercado. He was renowned, that right. guy. That's yeah. not I don't wow. know if that's true. Oh, oh, the internet says it. It's I, all over Twitter. That's what they say. Hashtag Mercado Schlong. <laughs> you know now look that's it up. the hashtag oh, yeah. of this show, right? I want to look it up, but can I? <laughs> well, let's see. Let's see the funniest thing that ends up. We'll give away something to the funniest thing that ends up near hashtag Mercado Schlong. The funniest thing you find, we'll give away a package of some sponsored stuff, too. We have eight giveaways. Dude. All right, you yeah. mentioned that. You didn't tell me how we're giving them away. <laughs> well, that's, you know, to be determined. Okay, we're doing one of them right now. Which one are we doing? 786-456-4837. Can people call in? Do we? Is that phone still work? Let's see if it does. It it does, actually. Huh. All right, well, let's see. So, we'll oh, take... we, should, we should do it like old radio style. The seventh caller. Yeah, 786-456-4837. Yeah, 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 yeah. We have a caller right yeah. now. All right, uh, What number it. caller are we doing? All right, no, let's do it. You want to do it old radio style? Yeah, what number are we <laughs> That'd doing? That'd be great. All right, go ahead. Let me do this. All right. Oh, we need a no what Let number. Let me do this, says Mike. Okay, yeah, he's life, coming in here. Life, life a lot harder. Okay, let's make it all much more difficult. Oh, they're all filled oh, up wow, now. They all, they all filled up now. Because it's going so well. It's going so well because, you know, Bob didn't just run in here. He's good. I think the Greg was right on. about Mercado. <laughs> Damn right. Yeah. How did it's you find well this out? How did, it's, it's well known. known. Put it on the poll, Guillermo. Is it well known that Mercado? <laughs> I mean, I believe a, it is. Yes. Had, yeah. had, a, had a big it's, one. Here, mic it's yourself known. while you're going through the proper protocol so we know this is on the. You're calling number two. Thank you for calling. Ask him what the yeah, favorite know. radio station is. Okay. <laughs> when we get to number seven. Okay. You're calling number three. Thank you for calling. You need a little chat. You say hi. No. What's your name? Yeah, you no, sound yeah. miserable. You sound so here. angry no, like right said, now. Well, we didn't even give away the number they're supposed to be. So we're just. You're calling number four. Thank you for said, calling. Caller call call three. No, we said caller seven. Right? You said caller seven. I, said I, call I heard seven. seven yeah. Seven. I used to do that. And the first one that called was caller seven. Yeah, me too. Yeah, that's exactly yeah. what we used to do. Same, 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 same. Same. Giving away the radio those, secrets there. Yeah. Twelve. Six. Thank you for calling. All right. This is a big one. All right. Hold on. 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 Well, right. no, hold on a second. Now Billy's going to just try it. Here info, comes Billy. Though. No, we need Billy's to get just going to start Let rolling. Billy talk to all of them. Billy is just going to roll grenades I, across the when floor When I had here. to answer the phone for the calls, the, the contest did tend to last a little bit longer than they should have. You were so friendly. I remember that. I as, felt this, bad hanging up on people. Was that know? as an intern? You would, you, yeah. you would talk to these people for so long. They would get private Billy shows. I'm, gl I'm I, glad I never had to do that again. I wish. I wish. Oh, wow. Well, Roy, you, I can't even imagine. Roy, you must have been such shitty customer service. Oh, I was miserable, so Dan. Bad, I, I didn't so want to talk to anybody, but I had really? to. So bad. Blow it out your ass. <laughs> yeah. yeah, really. I imagine yeah, Roy yeah. as a car salesman. Yeah. <laughs> Call one, blow it out your ass. That's exactly what I did. <laughs> All right. You want to go? Let's see. Let's do that. You want to go? Ahead? No, I do no, not. No, I like, no. no, this is what I want. Our next giveaway. You're going to the back to answer the phone, and I want to go through caller eleven of them or fifty of we them. We have a winner, and you're going to say to each one, call we number winner, seventeen, Dan. blow it out your ass. I will do that. <laughs> a phone call blown out someone's ass would be impressive. Yeah, that is. Dan, would you like to talk Painful. to our winner? Yeah. Uh, sure. Josh, what's up? What What's happening, my brother? Hey, what's your favorite radio station? <laughs> Uh, ninety six three, the ticket. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. that's it. Do we do we want to give him just one, or do we want to ask? He's Josh? going to L A. No, he's not. Chris, shut up. <laughs> Chris, stop that. Do you want to win athletic greens, DVDMD sheets and giggles, or a DK swag bag? That's DraftKings. Yeah, DK swag bag. All right, all right. All right. Good. You get your own choice yeah. too. Right. Right. For you right. good for you. Good right, choice. Josh, you're gonna need the last four of your social now. Yep. <laughs> 
and your mother's maiden name. Yeah. Uh, Roy, <laughs> thank you for uh, Stay listening. Stay on hold. Don't hang up. I want to keep yeah, your hang up. Name, don't, don't hang up. Don't hang up. <laughs> oh, I'm here. Yeah. Go ahead. You want to start asking him some questions? Go ahead. Are you willing to come by the radio station to pick up your prize? <laughs> <laughs> Only we get that. Make sure you bring your ID. <laughs> Two valid ID. Two forms of valid ID. Sounds good. <laughs> the receptionist has it. Oh. All right, thanks, Josh. Love a good radio Talk to giveaway. Yeah, All right, let's do it that way. Only funny for us. Poor Maribel. Poor Maribel. Uh, he's back on hold. Uh, good times. Wow, you guys went into the Wayback Machine. You all did that job? You mm-hmm. all did oh, the yeah. job yes. of answering the phones? Yeah, yes. They yes. would they would do competitions like Udonis has like the caller 40 for Udonis Haslam. It's like I'm not answering 40 calls, all right? The 10th caller is the winner. <laughs> the first. Oh, you're caller 40. <laughs> Chris, I think you might be admitting to like FCC violations ah, or something like oh, that. About that. I think that's he's not kidding. surprising at all. <laughs> he's he, just kidding. He, he uh he's going to do something. That ruins everything here, too. Yeah. Well, Witty, the statue of limitations is up. So, blah, 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 blah. He just told Caller 7 he's going to L.A. Statue, I mean, it's a statue, a statue, statue like of Liberty. Statue of limitations? What do you have? A statue just, of limitations? It's just, it's just, <laughs> That'd be a great statue. statue. <laughs> National <laughs> statue. Chris <laughs> we should have up front. Is Chris holding a phone? We should put it up front with a torch. Our statue of limitations to God's. <laughs> Yeah, Higby's definitely out. Yeah. <laughs> you guys. That was a like, mid ankle sprain. I was carted off in a wheelchair, paralyzed, and you guys are like, he might be back uh, at the I end of the trial. He'll be back. He'll be back. It was yeah, mid ankle. Mid ankle, mid ankle, mid ankle, I'm saying. Toradol Dano. <laughs> That's right. Thank you, Lewis. Uh, did you see Odell flex after a one yard gain? He just got a three yard gain. He got a first down. Yeah, first down. He got a first down. He won't first down. Mike's not bothered about Odell at all. No, no, I am. <laughs> I am. I'm very Mike, I have not had you uh, root hurt against somebody in a Bert. long time. Like, what is the what what you are betting against? LeBron your... was the last time where it's just like I don't want to be there. No thanks. Yeah, I'll take my services elsewhere. But Odell really cranked up, like actively recruiting against the Cleveland Browns. Oh, come on, man, uh, that could have gone so much better. And I. I swallowed a lot of bleep just to, just to defend him oh, yeah. when he wasn't doing great. <laughs> when he wasn't doing great, so and he I appreciated it. No, it was a it was a, a betrayal. It was a betrayal. Wow. So Chris I, Cody, let's talk about this since you threw the hell yeah in there. The documentary McAfee has something in it. I've talked about this before. The John Ma- I just John McAfee. Yeah. It's, uh, the the story is unbelievable. Oh, Pat McAfee had a doc. It's unbelievable. A little but, quick, yeah. But this documentary, I can only say that you're hell yeah. That McAfee was somebody who enjoyed something. I've, I've not. I mean, I know two girls, one cup. But Is that a fumble? No, that They're wasn't a fumble. It. Two girls, one cup. <laughs> what? Wait, what? What's happening? That McAfee. <laughs> That's a fantasy name out there. Ma- McAfee. Oh, that oh man, Nicole. Oh, the we touchdown. should show my wow. dad. Oh, my dad needs the. To, my dad needs the YouTube. Two girls, one cup. That looked like a. Uh, that that's not look- on YouTube anymore. It's a dangerous no, game. No. What does that mean? Well, two girls, a, two, one I Cooper Cup. I don't know the rules of football, like, so I can't tell you if that's a pass. That's just an incompletion. Four pass, man. That's an incompletion. Yeah, that's one Cooper Cup. That's not a... That is not I a, don't know. Intentional grounding. He was trying really. to bring it back. No, that's not going to be a fumble. fumble. Uh, did anyone have... Uh, who tuck was that? Rule. That Was uh, was that Dewan Williams? This is Tuck Rule. Well, I think you would take Niners D for the first I, I have, touchdown. I must admit, which I don't know what the new Tuck rule is. I don't know any of the yeah. rules of football. You guys Every time think I watch that the game, that's a different. fumble? How yeah. can you think that's a fumble? Because, because he's trying to bring it back. They reverse really it. They reverse right. it. They reverse no, it. No, it's, it's not a touchdown. Sky Let's get Judge, look at the play call. We don't give enough credit for how much like the NFL fixed this replay thing because Sky Judge just said, "Ah, nope." We're not wasting our time with that. Not well, a, you not guys a wasted my time while I was trying to talk about two girls, one cup, and and Chris was talking about showing it to his father and the story Probably I was telling. Do that. Watching yeah, on yeah, mute is tough, bad. by the way, Dan. How do you do this all the time? McAfee, the documentary, uh, has in it. Now I've got to just tell you what it is. John McAfee, right? Yeah, like who? Yeah, are we? What is he's no longer with us. He, he died. Yes, yeah, yeah, he passed away recently. But he's the guy behind two girls, one cup. No, the most shocking. <laughs> he's thing, in front. The most shocking thing in the McAfee documentary, now I have to tell you. He's but it, behind uh, McAfee antivirus. There is right. plenty of shocking I in this that. documentary, but oh he, he likes women yeah. to poop better? through a hammock and 
ate their shit. Mm. What's You're wrong gone. with that? <laughs> hey, you made some split pea soup, right? I did. Oh, what Speaking a transition that. Yeah. that was. Perfect what? timing. Excellent that. transition. And it's you know fantastic. What? I'm hungry. Yeah. Let's fire up that microwave. Let's do it. Let's, Let's go. Some well, tell us. I, I, we got to get into, first of all, before we get to the food, because you cooked, you were nice enough to cook. You spent the week cooking for us. I spent a good bit of time cooking three dishes. What yeah. did you make? I made um, ribs. Mm. Um, oh, uh, uh, split pea lentil soup. Can you mm. are, are those and sponsored? Yeah, are I mean, they he's, sponsored he's the by worst. anyone? Yeah. Are they are they uh, they are sponsored by anyone? The, we the, worked out this bit before we talked, and you we were gonna do. It's the beer. It's ten yeah, p.m. No, no, you it's forgot dramatic to, tension. No, it's um, not. The ribs, the main dish, the ribs are sponsored by the Greg Cody the Show podcast. The joke is now ruined, so thank you. <laughs> no, no. For, no, Smooth, no, Dak. No. Uh, you, 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 you had one bit to do. Right. One. The, the split pea lentil soup is sponsored right. by the, Mount Gregmore, the, the, yes. which yeah. is a bit That's on the right. Greg Cody Show That's right. podcast yes. with Greg Cody. Greg, why didn't you just... It was a very simple thing. I was going to throw... It's the only thing we talked about. Right. It's the only thing we planned for this. I want to punch this. him. You're going to have to apologize and, again and, to him. No, because... I mean, no, but Chris, thank you. This is what happens, though. Chris, you and I said there was one thing. <sighs> You're, what? We both went over it with you, and we have not planned anything right. for today's show. Nothing. Nothing. All extemporaneous. <laughs> just, just open that beer. He just right opened now. the beer. I tried to do it subtly. You, you heard the crack of another beer opening, didn't <laughs> right. you? I'm pouring under well, the no, table. No, we're put sponsored up the mic. by Miller Lite. Go ahead and put it oh. up. I like, mean, but I should be personally sponsored by Miller Lite. Love Miller Lite. Oh, Miller Lite Lounge. Yeah, yeah Miller Lite Lounge. I'm telling you, boys. It's fantastic. There's right, no beer do, like this Do me one. a favor. It's just great. Get out of here. Oh, Don't, wow. Just get out of here. Uh, to the ocean? Just, I'd like, well, I'd <laughs> like Miller to Miller go to the, the ocean. ocean. Come on, Greg. Come on, Greg. Let's go. No, just leave. He has ribs. Thank you for cooking for us. Sponsored by the Greg Cody Show. mad at you? Thank you, but leave. Okay, well, because I'm going to tell him why he's mad at me, but it's always some form of this. He's mad at me because Billy Corbin ripped him. He's mad at me because we aired it. He wanted to censor it. Hmm. Censor it. He he didn't think, he thinks that he is earned around here. This is where we disagreed, but I apologize because I just don't want him to not show up today. So my apology was less than sincere. Hmm. Of course. Mm-hmm. It it read less than sincere, hmm. which is why I didn't believe it. You weren't apologizing to me. You were apologizing because I was upset. You weren't apologizing for enabling uh, Billy, uh, whatever his name is, Billy Corbin, Mm -hmm. Buzzkill Billy, to um, go on your air and criticize me in a way that was so mean-spirited and so harsh and so hurtful, you know, and and, uh, that's tough to get over. And I'm not lying. I'm not lying. Why'd Billy rip him? Like, what was... Uh, because he said that Billy was afflicted with short man syndrome on the air. And what did Billy say back? Billy said that he did not, he was not the father of Chris Cody and he was a bad journalist. <laughs> God damn. <laughs> oh. Well, I mean, I mean, that, that's, but, so he thought after, after doing the parade route of feuding with Dominique Foxworthless and getting all the clicks, all the clicks. But to, none of the votes. For the Greg Cody show with Greg Cody. <laughs> You enjoyed the back and forth of going back and forth with Dominique Foxworth and getting a lot of applause and people sided with you. And then I'm like, okay, well, then let's talk about this on the air because you're legitimately mad. Right. And let's get you the clicks for that. And you're like, nope, I'm legitimately mad. I don't think you should have aired that. That I should have that I should have censored Billy Corbin. Well, first of all, it was like a 45-minute podcast, and the Billy Corbin criticism of me was literally a minute buried within that podcast. So it would not have hurt you or the podcast to simply erase his ability to gratuitously criticize me in a way that was hurtful. Uh, you know, Corbin is nothing to me. Uh, picture a rhinoceros on the Serengeti with the little tiny bird on his back that you can barely see. That's Billy Corbin to me. Okay, he's a mosquito buzzing. If I had a can of Raid right now, he'd be dead. He's a mosquito buzzing around my ear. He means nothing to me. And I'm ready to move on. And what he said was totally in character because he's a, a small-minded man uh, and a mean-spirited man. That's why you giving him that forum hurt me more. But he means nothing to you. Exactly. Mm-hmm. And you wanted well to say put. small-minded man and small-bodied man as well, right? Um, no, I wouldn't say that. I'm, I don't want to continue the beef. But that's what started it. Well, listen, 
he's a man of small stature, and there's nothing wrong with that, except that it's called the Napoleon complex. Sometimes somebody in his position uh, overcompensates by being mean spirited, and that's a, a, a something that is diagnosable. Okay, that's something you can you can learn about and and acknowledge is real, and I think that applies to him. Okay. Okay. Nothing. We could do more learning here because this doesn't happen very often in the history of doing this show. I can't remember a time that anyone has ever walked in here and said, "I've got to apologize for something." So forgive me. This is part of what happens when we do this live stuff, and you've seen mistakes get made, and it's dangerous. And I don't want to end up in one of these situations where we're fooling around with comedy. And, you know, the next thing you know, because we do it live, everybody wants to do it live. Why aren't you guys doing this every day live? Do 10 hours a day live. Well, because it's, you know, one sentence, you screw around too much with funny and you're going to end up in a place where you ruin it all. Right. They're, they're not, nobody cares about the context. Nobody cares yeah. about anything. So Billy just came in here and he handed me a piece of paper to apologize for something that I didn't realize. So, Billy, I, I, this has never happened before, correct? Is this, I don't, and, and all the time doing that, well, we've never done something like this. Is this, this your apology? Before. Yeah, this is your, this, your, this, apo this is your apology, Dan. Mm. Okay. Billy didn't hand this Okay, I'm sorry. Apology. I'm it's sorry. It's always best to apologize Are and you? move on. Yeah. yeah. Okay, my bad. I'm sorry. That That's the wrong way to do that. But uh, I'd like to issue a sincere apology to the coprophilia community and anyone else who might have been offended by my poor attempt at humor. I'll learn from this and do better next time. Uh, for those of you who do not know, cupra, coprophilia, it's also called scatophilia or scatis, the paraphilia, involving sexual arousal and pleasure from feces. I got Cooper coprophilia right now. They cannot score this first touchdown, Dan. Back to you. What a boring game. I'm glad you got that out there. A then. boring game plays right into the 49ers' hands, though, we can agree. You're right. Well, what can someone explain to me? Uh, maybe we'll get Ricky Williams on to explain to me why it is or how it is or it's possible because I don't understand it. So we Shan think Ricky's watching this game right now. Shanahan, can, <laughs> Shanahan can do this to McVay. Like that's a thing you guys think that Sh that this. Well, he's not doing anything to McVay right no, now. Man, no one's doing, doing anything, anything to anybody. Right. <laughs> But no, beat McVay no, is no, what you're saying. No, D'Amico Ryan's is no, but McVay right, is offense. McVay is offense. You guys are telling me. Oh no! Oh! Cup of oh! Oh! Third and thirteen. Cooper Cup is open. Yeah, the in the entire play. I mean, I made money on that because I got him to score an anytime touchdown, as I've had every time he's ever stepped onto a football field over the last year and a half. That's crazy. He's, so Shanahan isn't doing a thing to McVay right now. Is, I'm. I have such a difficult time explaining how Joe Burrow is that good and how Cooper Cup is that good. It's I'd crazy. like someone to explain I mean, it to he's, me. He he runs precise routes. He's fast. He can block. He's got size. He's got great hands. Like, okay. But he's also he's also white, which historically no, that just no, doesn't. But but let's talk about it. In the history of the league, there's never been this dude, a white wide receiver, since it's been like a black position, a white wide receiver who's better than everyone else, who gets more yards than everyone else. It was Kelsey as a tight end, but we have never seen. This is the best white wide receiving season we've ever seen. Steve Largent. Wes Welker you can make arguments for, but it's never been this. It's never right. been, oh, wait a minute, this dude is better than all of them? All the Jamar Chases, all the Justin Jeffersons, this dude's got more yards than all of them. Now, I don't know how to do the math on that because Josh Gordon was that for one year. And I saw him do it with Brandon Whedon. And I didn't think Weed could do that to that. But Odell Beckham bounces around, and now he's back here after we thought he was the greatest receiver ever. Somebody explain it to me. I don't understand Cooper Cup. I've never read a single word that explains it to me. <laughs> I've, I've seen people. Why don't you call Kevin Clark and have him explain it to me? Mike, why don't you have somebody that can, because I don't understand. Can he just be really good? Yeah. It's because right. he's white that we're wondering why. Yeah. But, and do you think Kevin Clark can actually explain it to you, like why Cooper Cup is good? But better better <laughs> than I can explain it because I'm confused. I think that Kevin Clark is studying this game differently than the rest okay. of us are. Yes, and he's talking to people. I know he's talking to people who know more than we do. Stugatz, this just happened the other day with Jeff Garcia. He he thought he was dragging Mina Kimes because on Instagram he goes, she doesn't know anything because she was just saying, she made the joke, Jimmy Garoppolo is the student in the in the group project that gets an A but didn't do anything. A joke that all of us have made. And then Jeff Garcia went after her and only her when all of us are saying they're trying to hide the quarterback. Jeff Garcia, a quarterback who's also hidden by the 49ers, might get a little sensitive in that space. We made a lot of fun of Jeff Garcia for his passes being so crisp while he went 6-10 and 10 with Terrell Owens and Jerry Rice. He might be a little hurt by the idea that Mina Kimes might say, 
ah, you're not much of a quarterback, neither you nor Jimmy Garoppolo. And then he went off on, what does she know? Her hand has never been in the dirt. <laughs> Christ. I don't know, but it's been 15 years we've been arguing this stuff with people about can the people watching the game possibly know as much as the people playing the game? The answer is no, but Mina Kimes, that's the wrong fight because she does know the way that the highest people in this sport know stuff, and if she doesn't know, she goes and asks and has access and does the work. She's the wrong one to go after, not because she's Asian, not because she's a woman. She's the wrong one to go after because, nah, man, she's the best of us. She does this shit better than any of us. Like, knowing her shit, trying to be fair, she might make a few jokes. And she doesn't need our defense. That's the other thing. All these men rushing to her, like damsel in distress stuff, like, she doesn't need it. She does not need it. Man, you change the vibe in this room. Why don't you go to the Miller Light room? Have a beer, sit yeah. this one out. Well, it's just bad vibes right now. Yeah. God. All right. A little serious. Uh, I'll see you later. Yeah. Yeah. There's I mean, a microphone over there if you need to blow off steam at Jeff Garcia. Should I go make food? Jeez, things got really, yeah, I mean, go make okay. your, uh, yeah, I'm, I'm really hungry. Nothing says a football Clark that much. I mean, nothing sorry. says a football hangout like split pea soup. <laughs> <laughs> the ham, though. What a horrific, yeah. horrific game. I mean, I'm sorry. Yeah, really. <laughs> I mean, no, we we literally just had a touchdown. I know, I know. Uh, the Joe Burrow stories are starting to come out. Taylor Rooks. Taylor Rooks was on the show, right? He was yep. on the show. Uh, she says that uh, Joe Burrow once told her that if he played an NBA game, he could score at least 12 to 15 points with a straight face. I knew right then and there he was going to be great. <laughs> you believe Burrow could score between 12 I, and 15 I, in an I NBA believe game? Burrow has supreme <laughs> confidence in himself, and that quote would probably confirm that. Didn't Tony say last week he was going to shotgun a beer every score? And we got a score. Ooh. But he's got a scratch cornea. He does. Ah, well, you know. Yeah. It Where is Tony? Happens. What? Scratching his cornea. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I have that. I, I just I talked to him. He's putting baby shampoo around his eye to clean, and then he has to put in the uh, the drops. Baby oh, shampoo? Guys. Yeah, baby shampoo. Uh, Mike, how does this work in terms of us eating and, you know, perhaps? Like, I'm just getting a little hungry. You know, I'm just wondering. Don't. I, 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 I don't to get give, to eat. I wanted, Dan, I wanted Dan to take a five because we're doing a watch along. You can be okay with silence. You don't have to fill in every moment. No, I'm just, People are watching you. Watch but this is a game. serious question. <laughs> you can what? go pee if you have to, if that's yeah, what you're you can, asking. You can I can go, go grab a rib uh, and I can. Uh, I can oh, no, the, the no, food no, is no, coming no, no. out no, in sections. No, so. you, you, you yeah. need to wait. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. There is finger food, though, outside of my dad's stuff. Like Billy's eating some chips and salsa right now. There's that stuff. in there. Yeah. yeah. I'm going to go get something. Right. If you want, you can give something away. We All still right. have seven giveaways to do. Oh! Let's go. See, that's what a watch along is. Let's go. Just a bunch of dudes screaming, oh, when something <laughs> big happens. You, know, you don't have to reinvent the wheel here. Ayuk. Yeah. All right, so Kevin Clark is going to be joining us here in 10 minutes. Yeah. And uh, we got split pea soup coming up. Oh, I can't wait. And we got, uh, well, I don't have a first a score prop anymore. So, like, when I told Dan to take five, yeah. it's yeah. funny how that happens. Everybody took five. Yeah, now everybody, that whole room is empty. Now that whole yeah. room is empty. The entire room, yeah. You guys just going home. Let's be real. <laughs> yeah, he's gone. <laughs> yeah, let's see. You know what? I'm going to check up on everybody. Oh, else. now you're leaving. All right, yeah, yeah, we got so this. Sure Wait, are you going to leave, too? Right. We got Hold this. On, it's a dark hallway. Oh, yeah, yeah. You got to put it's lights on. It's a dark hallway. Hold can on I, a second. Can, I, can I chug a beer since Tony isn't? Let's go, uh, Witty. Yes, you Let's can. Yeah, go, go. go ahead, Witty. You can absolutely chug a beer. Right. I am no longer Excuse walking me, down I would, that hallway. I would, I would like to a chug a beer. Are you chugging like the normal way, or are you going to like shotgun it? Well, yeah. I've already opened the top, so he, he it would Googled be hard. How to chug Last this. time you shotgunned a beer, Witty. I shit you not. I just YouTubed how to shotgun oh a beer. I'm not kidding. I'm glad you didn't shit me. I'm not kidding. Do you you YouTube everything? I do, yeah. Be Everything. Careful. Should, should I go? Instruction manual. Yeah, do it. Let's oh, go, wait. Witty. You, you want to oh, you ch chug time. a beer? No, but it's open already. On well, top. make sure you make sure whoever that can't is can't knows how both. to do it properly. Yeah, 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 yeah. I think well, I think I'm just gonna do a bunch of old people. Yeah. Yeah. Have you taken a sip from that? I've, one? A little bit. Uh, yeah, you know what? what I'll take. Well, I'll take it. Okay. This is not very COVID friendly. I have to be honest. That's not how coronavirus works. Yeah, just get in front of the camera. Get closer in the shot. COVID, That's not how COVID works. All right. No. What, I, what am I poking the hole with? Uh, let's just oh, let him do this. Don't help Witty. Yeah. Oh yeah, I do have do have keys. Well, are, are you gonna have him do it himself? Oh, uh, we need to zoom in on Witty doing. We don't this. have a screwdriver. This is art right here. Scissor. I got a scissor. Wow. Ooh. Wow. We've got we've got like an. All right. So roll that down towards the bottom. All right. So Greg really I just poke a hole and I just drink it up, right? Yeah. I love this. Oh boy, rookie doing this. Just let Witty go. Don't teach him. 
Don't make, don't make a mess on the couch. Are you shotgunning a beer? Yeah. I was like, I just love what. Well, let, let, right. let Chris do it first. Let's Chris show you have to do it, do it down here. Oh, oh. Hey, uh, oh. Oh. Debo, Debo, Debo. Touchdown. Oh. Yeah, boy. All right, you have to poke it underneath. All right, wait. I don't think that's how it works. So oh, good. I don't know. Let, let Chris go I'm getting away. Chris will go poke first. Where the air Anybody got any paper towels over there? You want to tilt it upside down to poke? No, poke it at the bottom. You're going to want to end up doing this, so you want your hole to be right here. Uh oh. You have shaky hands. You're spilling beer it's everywhere. Okay. It's like, this is just cutting the hole. It's yeah, it's cutting the hole, and then you flip this open and you chug it out of there. Wait, this is So like, I mean, it's a messy thing. Like, do it, do it, do it, just do it, do it. Show them how. Do we have someone who can do it better than Chris? Like, Doubtful. Like, there are Tony, there that, Tony, okay, come on, Tony. Tony come on. Well, he's watching his eye with baby oh, shampoo. Right. Scratch cornea. Yeah, yeah Scratch cornea. cornea. Yeah. Playing with pain, Dan. Yeah. Scratch Team player, Tony. Oh, wow. This is quite messy. Pretty good. That's good. Wow. That's good. With a lot well, of you pressure. don't need to throw it and make a bigger mess. No, again, but this isn't. Oh, we got ribs? So, yeah. That was. You want me to do this for you? When's the last time? You... No, 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 no. He has to do it. He has to do it. No, you Chris to, has to do the whole thing. Like water pressure there, it'll yeah, do it right on top of the computer. That's a good idea. All right. Dangerous game. Be careful. Yeah. What? What? Uh, what sport at the beer Olympics do you think Woody would excel at? I'm not. I'm not. De I'm pretty decent at flip cup. <laughs> really? Yeah. Hmm. He's going to cut himself. Yeah, Look, you'd have a shard of... Wait, that is way too small of a hole. Okay. Bigger hole. It's going to be make it harder. Bite it, bite it. The bigger the hole, Whoa. the Whoa. Wow. Woody after dark, huh? <laughs> I don't I think anyone it. heard what you said. I don't know how meticulous you are with this. Yo, your dad's ripped. Yeah, come on. You don't need to be a surgeon about this. All right. Is this enough, Chris, you think? Everyone's left right. now. It's taken so long. You just don't want to... Yeah, yeah. Well, left the YouTube? All now. Right. Here we go. All right. So... Here, man. Let me get... Yeah, yeah, wait, hold on. He's going to cut himself with that. Right. Jesus. Uh. <laughs> no, you made. Clip it! Clip it! We have our moment. We just had our moment. <laughs> My fault. I did. <laughs> no, but like it's in my nose. <laughs> it's in my nose in is what computer. he said. Oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> what happened? <laughs> Dude, he sucked in the beer. <laughs> the rifle rips. Did Greg make those? Oh my God! It's so yeah. Oh my. God. Here, 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 here. He he shotgunned the oh, beer. Oh, oh, is what oh, just oh, happened? Wow. The, the, the chair shotgunned the beer more or less. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, let me not How did you let me. this happen, Billy? Chris was his teacher. I did. It. I, I did. You, you, you know what I did? I you know my contribution. I, I said, let me take that microphone away from then, you like, before we get started. You gotta like then tilt back this way and then open it. Like try it again. 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 It's in my nose. But you didn't drink any of it. We can try it again. I'll just chug it normally. All right, third quarter. Wow, what a disaster. Here you go, Tony. <laughs> <laughs> that was Are we are we on right now? Chris, can you can you break down for me this, what happened? This room needed to smell like beer now. It yeah, it, it's it smells like great Miller Lite. Chris, what happened? Miller Lite smells I, the I best. I followed of all beer. the technique exactly as it was described to me. Uh -huh. He's blaming me is what he's doing. And it didn't work. Did I you crack open and tilt at the yes, same time? I did. I think he cracked, and the, the move to tilt was too slow, and it came out. It started you have to have the mouth right on it, so when you it crack it, angle. Like, yeah. your, 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 angle. your process was fine. It was like the ang there was an angle issue. I, I'm telling you, we, we got a redemption one right now. Yeah, we, we do, do, we do, we do. Yeah, yeah. He'll do one Hold on, get me one, get me one. You don't want to end like that. Get me one, get me one. Chris, Chris, I'll show you. Come on, yeah, yeah, But Billy's in too, right? Yeah, yeah. Can I, can I recover? Can I recover from the shame? Well, How much did you drink? No, I want to drink more. No, you it's gotta, not, that's no, not, don't a, put that's this not in a drinking thing. No, you got to do it quick. You do it now, 
And the key short is, memory. Short memory. Look, I'll show you, no. Woody. The key yeah, is yeah. you gotta crack it a little bit before, so that way when you snap it, you're already gone. Yeah. Up a little, yeah. Yeah, Hold on a second, so Tony. Go. Why don't you do it for him? Show. I will. We were told that you were better at this than Chris Cody is. We were told that. I, what was mine? Like seven seconds. That some was, yeah. somebody somebody has to step up and not embarrass us as a show. I uh, did okay. By not being able to do this uh, at the. You need keys. Yeah, hold on, Dan. Let me uh, let me pop this uh, thing real quick, and we'll get yeah. to it. Give me a sec. All right. Now we're putting the pressure on Tony. There's no pressure on. See but the key. The key is the air bubble, right? There's an air bubble at every beer, and you have to tilt the air bubble so it comes to right here. So when you snap it, the air bubble's there. Before I you, told Witty all this, by the way, and he still screwed it up. Before you guys go, just know Stugatz is raving about Greg Cody's ribs. Oh, my God. Brought, to you, brought to you by Excellent. the Greg Cody show featuring Wait, no, Greg Cody. Excellent. I, they he's are, playing hurt, by the way. One eye. Yeah. He really is. Scratch yeah. cornea. I mean, really, I, I would say scratch cornea is top five like underrated pains of all time. Yeah. Yeah. If you've yeah. never had it, you don't know what's going on. I'm telling you. Beckham. Again, for a first down, making Mike Ryan insane. Okay. Hold on. How slow are you going to do this? Time? No, I need to open it, guy. Come on. on. Right. No, no, I, yeah. I got it with the key. I got it with the key. Mike, Beckham's got like four first down catches. Yeah, now that Higby's out, he's going to have an increased role, too. That's like, what happened was, like, as soon as they got Beckham, <laughs> Woods went out, right? No, I just so that yeah. really opened it up for Beckham. Yeah, and by the way, his ACL in practice. and it opened it up for Cooper Cup, too. Like yeah. more targets for Well, cup. no, a cup was always going to eat. It, it opened it up for Goodness Beckham because he was going to be their number three. It's very sharp. I was Bobby Trees is better than Don't cut What do you have Just opening it up for cup? The uh, injury to Robert Woods. Careful. Oh. And Beckham. Yeah. See, that's not nearly as big It's as funny because that uh, Mina, well, that's, that's a small before the honest. Super Bowl, Patriot Super Bowl, the one Brady won with 13 points. We're ready, Dan. Hold on, All right, on. we'll be there in a second. Um, <laughs> I thought because at the time, right, you had – quarterback it was golf and i thought because the running back back then mattered right i th and we were talking we were talking about mvp of the league running back which we might not do ever again right uh jonathan taylor there was some no, no, discussion uh, okay yeah right. right you're right jonathan taylor yeah. but it's, we were talking about Gurley. <laughs> yeah had a weird Gurley. Yeah. no but todd Gurley got hurt and then wasn't the same running back and i thought that was the reason that they didn't win the super bowl but the reason they couldn't do anything offensively in the super bowl is because they didn't have cooper cup well, Damn. they they made it to the Super Bowl without Cooper Cup. Mm -hmm. no, he got hurt in the regular season. But no, it would have helped. He's a brilliant player. But I didn't know he was this. Did people know he was this? Because I did not know that he was oh, this. Oh, he just bad dropped the pass. Oh, oh bad wow. job. <laughs> Jinxed him, Dan. Up. Yes, yeah. I did. Thank you for that. All right. All right, you ready, Tony? Yeah, give me a sec, Dan. He Hold has on. been working this whole yeah, more th Hurry up, man. Hell yeah. <laughs> Mike, by the way, you sound fantastic with a mouthful of ribs in your mouth. You really yeah. do. Yeah. yeah, you do. Appreciate that. That was a big a, Debo Samuel play for me. I know it was. Are they as good as everyone's saying they are, Mike? Because everyone's saying no, the ribs are fantastic. Oh, no, no. Splash, though. Yeah, they're really good. I've never been more right, impressed Tony's with Greg. Like <laughs> i got to be honest with you. <laughs> He's a good cook. He's got three courses. Yeah. The devil eggs are outstanding, too. Are you ready? Are you ready, Tony? Yeah, I'm ready, Dan. All you guys right. ready? And totally calm, right? No pressure. You uh, you got this. What's the pressure, baby? No, tranquilo tropical in here. Okay. TT, tranqui tropi. You ready? Okay, tranqui vamos, tropi. Vamos. <laughs> wow. Oh, so it's right. It's, yeah, come on. See that? Look. Nice. Right, That's pretty waiting. good. About five good. seconds. No that was good. Go. Woo! Middle Nicely so done, good. Tony. So good. Uh, the, you continue your... Here's uh, this massive knife. Oh. Your you swagger. And your success up, up witty. without Ooh, full use of your yourself. eyes, no, too. No, no, you're I mean. gonna cut yourself. That's the blade. Don't touch That's that. Blade, uh, tell me more somewhere. about the scratch Stop. cornea. I, I yeah. think we have some sound there. Mike has some sound of Stugatz. Was this on Stupidity? Where was this exclusive sound that we have of Stugatz talking about one of his greatest injuries? What I am telling you, Dan, is if you've never scratched your cornea, it is so painful. And I would maintain it's probably in my top five underrated pains of all time. I had to go to the hospital, the emergency room, in the middle of the night. I couldn't see. And so I had to wear a bandage over my eye for, like, weeks. Oh, you told crazy. the story. This was uh, well uh, before stupidity. This is one of my favorite sounds. And when I heard that Tony scratched his cornea, it reminded me of this oldie but goodie. I scratched my cornea back in high school. <laughs> scratched cornea. I spent 48 hours in a hospital. What just That's happened right. to... Scratch cornea. Scaronic, Dan. 
Mike, I understand that, that it's your favorite story? sound, but <laughs> Skoronek just dropped the ball in the end zone. The Rams were wide open in the end zone. Oh wow! Terrible Scratch hands. I mean, I'm sorry, I stepped on the stepped on the joke. Yeah. Got distracted. The last target that in, guy's in, gonna get. In uh, just a moment, we'll find out exactly why Cooper Cup is awesome, according to Kevin Clark. Once we switch the, uh, the cameras. Okay, so Kevin Clark, take your time with this. I'll say hello to him. Can he hear me? He can probably hear you, damn bud. Oh, you sound so sexy. Really? Oh yeah. That's what the that was not died. sexy. Oh, he, no, that was like he, to me. Sounded like he was gargling no, was rib. A, there was a gargle of that. This is how you watch football. That was not this is sexy. how you watch the NFC Championship game. This is how you talk might, when watching might, the NFC Championship be, game might, with a mouthful of ribs. I, I, That's I how you do but it. sexy is not what you were going oh, for there. Hot. No, I, I botched the uh, the deviled egg. I can do better. Let me get another one. Right. Okay. Yeah. They're, they're delicious. Do it way better. Good Dude, ribs. They're really good. The ribs are good. The double eggs are good. We'll be with Kevin Clark in just one moment, but let me get a double dive back to you, Dan. I want, okay, <laughs> I, this is, yes, go get that. But I, what I have the question for everybody, I want, I, who the hell is Skoronek? Oh, who knows? Uh, okay, but maybe <laughs> Kevin Clark knows. Maybe I'm an idiot here. Does anyone know who the Rams were just throwing to in the end zone? Who dropped the ball? Who was open by five yards? Not who, Cooper Cup. Who is this person? A guy who won't be on the Rams but, for but long. Who is that person? Another uh, white receiver. Uh, well, uh, yeah, I guess he was. What gave you the hint? Was it the Skaronic? I think it was the Scon in the first part of the name. Yeah. So I don't know if Kevin Clark can hear me. Let's bring some football expertise in here, because. Hi, Dan. Uh, hello, Kevin. We've got a lot of questions. Uh, the first is, who the hell is you, you, can, you can't go to him just yet. Wow. Okay. What's that? We, got him. we can take it. No, I was, this is live. Okay. Live. Is there. Good. Our producer is eating Do it live. That is the man right there. I do want to hear you talk through a deviled egg. Ladies and gentlemen, that is the no, producer who has spent oh, the entire you. year criticizing the Manning cast. He rolls in eating deviled egg. Mm. Corona. Uh, Kevin Clark, please. I don't get... know which one's my favorite. There's a jalapeno one, and there's just like what? a. He's made two fried kinds egg. of deviled eggs. Ooh, four kinds. Oh, yeah, four different <laughs> kinds. Four different mm -hmm. kinds. Jesus Christ, that mm -hmm. sounds wonderful. Skoronek is a is a rookie from Notre Dame. Okay, he looked it up. He, has he just looked it up. He looked it up. That explains the whiteness. Yeah. Okay, so explain to me how it is that the Rams are doing this, clearly overwhelming the league with white wide receivers. Well, part of it's McVay. Um, so I was I was brought on to explain why Cooper Cup is good. And the short answer is that Cooper Cup can do everything. Um, he leads the NFL in yards from the slot, yards after catch, obviously. Oh, yeah. He's one of the best at uh, being targeted when there's a blitz. He's one of the best at the corner route. He's one of the best at go routes. Uh, he runs more <laughs> flats and slot outs than anybody in the league. He can do anything because he runs routes. He gets open. Stafford trusts him. And just the offense – you can use the middle of the field as well as anybody who's ever played football. Stafford knows how to do that. Cooper Cup is perfect for it. So that's Cooper Cup. How are his deviled eggs? <laughs> Probably very good. He does everything well, he told you. Did you not hear the man? He says he <laughs> yeah, did everything just, well. Yeah. And so how many guys in the league can I go get who would do the same things in that system, who have the athleticism to be that kind of precise? If I put Cooper Cup with the Detroit Lions this year, if I put him, uh, is, he doing all the these, is he doing all these same things in how many other systems? No, I mean, I also think that, like, he runs a route called the Ocho that, that Sean McVay talks about sometimes. It's basically just like a fake outbreaking route where he moves a couple of times. So it's almost like a Devontae Adams type pre precision. Um, so there's a handful of guys who could do this. Uh, I don't think he would be as good without the number of years in Sean McVay's system. Like, in my, for, in my opinion, geography is destiny in football, right? And if he doesn't have, what is it, five years in McVay's system, this looks completely different. It, it's the perfect marriage of receiver and coach. I think there's other guys who could beat Cooper Cup. But there's not a lot of coaches who could develop Cooper Cup like this. How many guys, though? Tell me how many guys that I could put, uh, like Antonio Brown, I can do something like this with. Who, who has who yes. has the skill set to do this kind of precision, speed, sure. quickness? Uh, Calvin Ridley, um, Stephon Diggs, obviously. Antonio Brown's a great example. I remember Brett Veach telling me a couple years ago that when he was studying guys from Mahomes, that improvisation, he was watching Antonio Brown tape. That's how they scouted. Uh, Keenan Allen is another absolute uh, uh, precision master. Um, so that's 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 probably the list of guys who could do 2,000 yards worth of damage. 
Can you explain to us the scheming that is going on in this game and in the analysis of people saying, well, Shanahan can do this to McVay? What are you watching as you watch this game? What are you seeing that we're not seeing? This slippy soup is incredible. Oh, you are God. hot. <laughs> it's a, he has a vegan option, well, too, if you like. Jesus. I think the point was made this week, and I think it's right, that taking away the middle of the field is kryptonite to McVay, and they take away the middle of the field because they have Fred Warner. Fred Warner exists. That's important. Um, so I think that it, it starts from there, and then it flows from Stafford's getting hit. Uh, Obosa is in his face uh, all the time. Stafford's been banged up. He's taking hits. So I think it's, it's, it's a lot of things going wrong right now, and something else just went wrong. What did you think was interesting about the first game? I'll get to the food in a second, Mike, but I'm interested in what— I mean, I don't even like peas. I want to get some serious football for the people. Ever since the exorcist, I was like, no go for me. The pea soup is excellent. It's got ham in it. It's got ham in it. Oh, my God. He said— It's more ham than than pea. Kevin, what's your favorite soup? Wow. Uh, A big French onion guy. Uh, Tomato. Nice. Broccoli cheddar. You know, Panera can go either way on that one. I would you, say broccoli cheddar, French onion soup. Do you do the extra the extra bread when you're at Panera? It depends. If it's lunch, no. Ooh. If it's dinner, you can go with the bread. You don't want to get too full for lunch. Do you do the bread bowl ever? I have. I have. Um, a different. I, I, I that, That's a lot of calories, man. That was like, a that's different a lot coven. of calories. Yeah, you're looking at a thousand extra calories. You got to be in real. You're making a decision when you go bread bowl. Yeah. When you go French onion soup, you get that before the main dish. Do you dial it back on the main dish because the French onion soup is really like a Stugats. meal? It's Stugats. very Stugats. filling. No, Stugats, Stugats, yeah. they're two are together. You dip the sandwich in the French onion. Stugatz, mm. please go get the yeah, soup. You Mike wants you to, to Mike, <laughs> Mike wants you to come in here with soup good? and it's taste it. Don't taste it until you come Kane, in here. You know, so he always that... says he likes an aggressive peppering, and this has an aggressive pepper to it. All right, go get yeah, the, and don't yeah, taste it until you get it's in incredible. here. Uh, and we'll. Uh, Greg Cody was claiming, where is he? Let's bring him back in here so I could talk Greg to him. Greg Cody is being such a saint over there because he's heating everything up for everybody. I'm like, don't you want to enjoy your split pea soup? He's like. No, I derive my joy from letting people enjoy this incredible soup. It is amazing. All right. Do you want to talk about first game day? Yes, I'm sorry. I was just, I'm I'm, no, okay. I'm jealous because all of these people are eating, and I don't need to tell you that this is something that I'd like to be doing right now. So, uh, yes, I'd like to, I, because the storyline's going to be what? I could feed you while you're, you're interviewing him. Uh, I well, have a rib. So- um, okay, that'd be nice. A rib would be nice if you, you want to come feed me. That would be wonderful. Thank you. And we'll talk to Greg Cody right now because your food is getting rave <laughs> reviews. Wow. Rave reviews. The Rams just missed a field goal, incidentally. I don't know if we're keeping Kevin Clark from important analysis. He said things. he had a minute. Okay. No, I can I can do Mahomes. The storyline, Dan, is going to be that Mahomes struggled against eight guys and they dropped back in coverage. And we're going to go back to the same storyline we had in October and November, which yeah. is did – did the league figure out Mahomes? They didn't figure out Mahomes. They just had this sort of sort of coverage with Trey Hendrickson being in his face every single time and Sam Hubbard being in his face. It's the same story it's always been, which is if you get pressure on any quarterback in the history of football, he will fail. Yet they married that with eight guys drop back in coverage. So this was kind of a, a mixture of the Bengals played well. The Chiefs got really conservative. They didn't take what the defense gave them, which they did last week, incidentally. Um, so this is this is an Andy Reid story, and this is a little bit of Patrick Mahomes story, oh. and then there's a small percentage of the Bengals defense story. Oh, but play. <laughs> Ham. Hell yeah. <laughs> oh, it's, it's Baby. That's what I'm talking oh, about. Kick. Oh, the Greg, I was pepper. told that you had, you appreciated. Oh, my God. You enjoyed so much cooking for us that you were deriving more joy from doing it. Too fast. Debo Samuel just got decapitated. His head just rolled off the field and into into the tunnel. It's okay. Oh, probably out next week. It's all right. No, he'll be okay. He'll be. They'll shoot him up. They'll shoot up his neck and his spleen with something, and he'll play with a different head next week. Greg. Everyone is raving about everything you've done here. Raving. They say the pea soup. Is this the best pea soup you've ever made? Because you said you alleged earlier this week that you made the best pea soup you'd ever made. Um, I'm really satisfied with it. It's it's pea soup and lentil soup uh, marrying as one, which I normally don't do. But I saw some tricolored lentils, which I really enjoyed the look of, and I thought it would go great with pea soup, and it did. And I made a vegan-friendly, and I made a meat pea soup, so I made two. I don't know if there's any vegans in the house, but I didn't want to disrespect Mike, what do you anybody. have to report about how disgusting that entire exchange oh, was? I, we just I had sex. That, that was so gross. What happened? 
Baby. Eating sugats and the noises that came out. Yeah, he was eating it sexually, and he wasn't overt. Nothing wrong with that. He wasn't subtle, rather. Maybe. I mean, Dan, we're doing this on a Sunday night. You know it's my one night a week where I have sex. So okay, I- uh, please don't have it here. <laughs> Kevin, the last thing before you go, and thank you. Yes. Yeah. Uh, why did the Chiefs not score after scoring 21 points? Uh, the Bengals made the adjustment, dropping eight guys back in coverage. Uh, Mahomes got some bad luck, and the Bengals defense is able to create pressure way more than we thought. Like Sam Hubbard was the, it w- was a guy who I didn't anticipate getting perfect. Trey Henderson can wreck a game by himself, um, but they got some other worldly performances from some other guys. So it's a mixture of dropping eight guys back, front four being good, and Mahomes being weirdly off. What does Burrow do that's special? When uh, it, he gets guys, that's actually not too far from the truth. You guys. He gets fi- he gets guys out in a route better than anybody in the NFL, and vision is his superpower. He's unbelievable at it. One of the reasons he struggled in training camp is because he said he almost he saw a wall of people. He couldn't decipher the people, and that's why he was throwing all these interceptions in training camp. When he when his eyes get sharp and they get sharp as the season goes along, he can decipher what's going on in a play as good as anybody in modern football history. Uh, it is unbelievable. He can go through his progressions. That's why he was able to get to Jamar Chase, Justin Jefferson, all those guys at the LSU level. And that's why he gets hit so much at the NFL level is because he wants guys out into the route. He's okay taking the hits. He just wants to run a wide open offense. Vision is his superpower, and it's as good as anything I've ever seen in football. You did great with your hands during this, Kevin. <laughs> I appreciate that. No problem. Uh, do you and Billy have I'm any? A, I'm a hand talker. Do you have Bill? Do you and Billy have any relationship, or this is just you guys meeting right here? Yeah. Okay. Billy's slinking no. away. I suspect that you guys don't know each other. <laughs> oh, he's getting soup. <laughs> we know each other a little bit. He told us he used to hold a pen in his hands because he didn't know what to do with his hands. I just wanted to tell him he did great job with his hands during this. I sent him a pen once, Dan. It's nice of you. Though. Yeah. Oh, Dan man. sent me, or sorry, Dan, uh, the guy sent me a multicolored pen as a thank you for going on Mystery Crate, one of those push down things. Oh, I love and then this little news yeah. day with Canelo, and what I used prize. the pen just to, to, to say thank you for the pen. And a wax seal. Have you used that yet or no? I have not used the wax seal. Oh. That's a little much. I used to love those pens as a kid. Great what pens. Uh, what yeah. uh, they've never I, did... I sent it to Kevin. Are they Dan still Kevin. making them? <laughs> of course yes. they are. What do you mean? I would have the last one. I would have thought that the pens, what are you talking about? It's got like seven colors. You could just press a yeah. bunch of different things yeah. off the top. Yeah. I would have thought yeah. that that would have gone out of business. They're not even using paper in school anymore. Well, I found Good it on man. Amazon. I'm using it. I've been using it all summer. All right. How are we doing on your minute? Uh, Thank you, Kevin. Thank you. Appreciate it. Uh, We appreciate uh, you giving us time during a busy time for you because this is, uh, you should check out everything he does with The Ringer because he does funny work and he does, as you can tell, very, very informed work. He is plugged in. He is talking to these people. He is doing the reporting and he has gotten access. So you should support the things that Kevin Clark is doing uh, out of the University of Miami. Thank you, sir. Yes, sir. Thank you. Go Canes. Go Canes. Uh, you had power dinners with him this week, Mike. You're you're you and him trying well, to move move and shake the go canes thing. I I am a, an impending free agent, and Kevin just so happened to be in town. I saw he was on campus. So I was like, hey, you you didn't tell me that you're gonna be on campus. I mean, just shoot off a golden canes text, and he had a, he had an amazing time. And then we had dinner, and we talked about possibly working together over at the Ringer, and it was a lot. It was real real fun. We're watching the last few seconds of this San Francisco 49ers first half. They're going to probably go in with a lead of some sort. This is what happens with the Niners. A bunch of things happen. You think they're down by 21 points. They have a chance to win the game with a minute to go. Every time, every week. They're going to win this game. I'm telling you right now. You uh, you said the Rams Book uh, it. were going to win big. I'm telling you right now, 10, yep. 10 minutes ago. That was then. This is now, Dano. 10 minutes ago. Mm-hmm. You, you bet. You Things change quickly in the NFL. Yeah, like a blur. Mm-hmm. Hashtag Mercado Schlong is really picking up. What do we got That's there? Great. Let's give something else away. Roy, get back there and answer some calls. And we also, we got to go get Ricky Williams, see what he's got to say about what he's seen over here. Are we looking for him? Or have we found him yet, Mike? Did we tell him halftime? It's almost halftime. Look at Jimmy Graham. Ricky Look Williams. At him. Look he's Moxie. in a cloud of smoke right now. Moxie. That's something that I hadn't heard. Nothing wrong with that. Finding Ricky's always a dangerous game. Yeah. <laughs> That's something that I hadn't heard with... Uh, with Joe Burrow analysis about how great he was and going through his progressions and how it actually lends itself to that being a bad offensive line. They went out and got Jamar Chase instead of doing the obvious thing, which is bolster that offensive line. They, uh, that offensive line. They made a Super Bowl 
regardless with a very easy, historically, I know the Miami Dolphins have struggled over, over the last 20 years to plug uh, that offensive line, but historically the easiest unit to kind of make shift your way through. That's the only weakness on this team. They have pressure now. They have a defense that pitched a shutout almost uh, in the second half against the, the Kansas City Chiefs. That could be a good team for years to come. Back to you, Dan. Thank you, Mike. That was a Mike Ryan exclusive. <laughs> Two seconds left in the San Francisco first half oh, here. Wow, here Robbie go. Gold has never missed a postseason kick. Mm, no. Way to Tony jinx Romo him. was listening Gould, to that line to me this time, too. Good as gold. You call him number one, blow it out your ass. There you go. Okay, there, there it is. is. What caller is going to win here? Go ahead. Let's do it. Uh, 15. Caller yeah. number yeah. Caller yeah. number 15. Yeah, caller number two, blow it out your ass. Yeah. Yeah. Caller 55, number 55, please. Caller I mean, that's a lot of people blowing things out of their ass, All right, man. that's fine. Yeah. 15 is where I'm putting it. You call him number three, blow it out your ass. <laughs> yes. Thank you. Thank you. Keep, keep going. Whittingham. Oh, gallery's loving it. Whittingham, any thoughts from out there? Uh, did, what happened? Did the, is the Miller Lite sign still on? Or it's, I can't tell yeah. from over here. No, it's... It, is it, is, it, is it off camera? No, it's right here. Does it, sm time, Does it smell like beer over there? Does it smell like... It just, it, it, the, the smell of beer is going to be permanently lodged in my nose after what happened with my We're gonna do another shotgun one, Dan. experience. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, it's halftime. Yeah, we've got to do another one. No, I, 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 I need time to recover, okay? Recover. Second, second half. You had four sips. Whittingham, Whittingham can you give us a six, report, ass. please, on what kind of shame you feel at how poorly you did that? Well, I don't really feel that much shame, to be honest, because... I feel like this is on brand for me. This is why the last year of my comportment on the show has come to my aid here. Because I feel like most people probably weren't expecting much of me when it comes to the shotgunning of a beer. So I feel like I'm okay in terms of having failed at that. It was, in the end, if we're being honest, the comedic way that that was going to work out. Okay, so what are you hoping for in this second endeavor? That I nail two, it. That, that, like, I, I just don't want to be this bad or this embarrassing <laughs> at things that young people are good at. Okay. Yes. You want to so be a man. I no. want, I want to get 11. it right. right. Yes. I want to have right. a redemption arc mm -hmm. to complete okay. our watch along. Okay, so, and, and uh, man, draw, in ass. the future, I do believe we are going to be able to bet on this. In the future, I believe I can see the day from here. Where DraftKings puts odds on Will Whittingham successfully make this. <laughs> we're not there yet. We've got a lot of work to do before we're there, as you can see. With it's got to be over under on time, right? It's hard to determine whether or not he had success doing it. Oh, well, number 13, blow it we out. Have to figure out. Based, based off the first attempt, I think we can pretty clearly determine success or failure. I'm saying you can do live betting here. You're a big dog right now to do this successfully. Call number 14, blow okay? it out. You've got no chance. All right, we're getting closer to a winner here. Let's get, By the way, I'm my, curious if caller 15. Still, also has to blow it out. Yes, yeah, yeah, they do. Oh, they number do. 15, you don't want it, but you still have to blow it out. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, oh, yeah. Put them on. Put them on. Let's get the information. Yeah, yeah. Let's get the call back information for a second. What's your name? My my brother and I started working together at 790 the ticket at the same time, and my brother would come home and he'd be like. Does Roy say goodbye to you by saying "blow it out your ass"? And I'm like, yeah, he does. We still to this day. Sign off by saying, yeah. blow it out your ass it's, to each other. It's great. Yeah. Uh, congratulations to the lucky caller. Can we pull this person up Yeah, real it's quick? Alexi. Alexi, you're on the air. What's your favorite radio station? Hey, what's up, Dan? 790 the ticket. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, still blow it out your ass, though. Yeah. <laughs> what did he win? What did he win? He, he, gets he a has a dealer's right? choice, right? Yeah, you can choose. Athletic Green, CBD, MD, Sheets and Giggles, or a DK Swag Bag. Ooh, I got to go. What, what's the DK? Oh, I got to go DK swag bag. All right, cool. Try to go drafting. All right, so we're out of those now. Yeah, we got to start, start, start telling people what they're going to win as opposed to them picking because we nah, got to paint everybody in a favorable light. It's unfair to, well. It's a, like, well, well, hey, do you want something that, hey, do you want your veggies or right. do you want a swag bag? Sure. People are going to go swag bag, and I'm, even though exactly. they should go veggies. People sometimes. are sleeping on Athletic Greens. Yeah, they yeah. are. Yeah. Athletic Greens yeah. changed my yeah. life. Sale Get healthy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. If, if, yeah. If, if you run short of gifts, Give away like a free subscription to the Greg Cody Show podcast because you know I can make that happen on my end. Greg, go ahead and it give me your empty do. pea soup nice plate. Uh, what oh, has been the you. most popular of the things we can get back to our uh, our feud? This in a is second. empty as well. Uh, what have been the most popular? Let me grab that Miller Lite for you. And not the last one. Uh, you need another Miller? Uh, yes, I got please. you. Let's get him another Thank one. You. Hey, wait before you come in here, Greg. Can you shotgun a beer? I've never tried. Can I have more soup? Hmm. Yeah, yeah, please do. Oh, man. I, I got you. Me? I'd shotgun some soup. Uh, should <laughs> we, uh, some sensual soup? 
You want to do a soup chuggy? Sure. All right, a okay. soup chuggy for uh, two gods. Can I be in this? I want to be in that You want to? Okay, yeah. yes, of course you can be uh, in here. Soup, Did you feed yeah. enough people? Is there enough soup for everybody? I, the ribs were sold out the last time I looked. Mm -hmm. uh, the soup was doing well. Yeah. Uh, you yeah, know, what can enough, I say? I Is it beer? Thank you. No, he asked yeah. me how many to make, and I told him to, uh, seven or eight people. Right. I mean, let's say thank you to Greg Cody for yes. uh, that. That took some time thank to prepare you, that. Greg. Yes. Thank, thank you, Greg. Greg. Thank, thank you, Greg. Thank you, Greg. Lipstick. Thank you, Greg. Yes. Thank you, Greg. Uh, Greg, you look like Liberace. Not, you overachieved. Uh, you exceeded expectations. I don't know that you were underestimated because you've always been a good cook. You thank take you. great pride in your I do. in your cooking, so you didn't even feel any pressure. You knew it would no, be good. None at all. I've, I've made all of these dishes before a lot. Less so the deviled eggs, but definitely the um, you know the pea soup and the ribs I make all the time. So. It was a comfort zone for me, but I enjoyed doing it. I like making uh, a meal for a group, which I don't do very often. So what, it was fun. What was the most popular of the items if we had to vote on the most I go ribs one. I thought the ribs were great. I would say the soup. Eh, a little cold. The ribs were a little cold? Okay. <laughs> There's a microwave. I mean... Yeah, but uh, they were, I don't want to hear a little cold as a criticism. No, Greg yeah, warned me they were a little cold. He said you. put them in the microwave. It's I like yeah. Yeah. Little burners. You gonna chug that soup? I mean, it's, it's, a, it's a hefty chug glass of soup there. Looks thick. It's thinking like you know, a little less than this. A little, a little soup chuggy. Okay. Wasn't Roy gonna bring food just to agitate Greg? Like that he was one of the. He gags. said he said it was too cold I to wanted, smoke a ham. I wanted oh. someone to bring an unauthorized. Oh ham. my god. Yeah, that was disgusting. Like you Aunt should, Bonnie. Yeah, you should have arranged for Aunt Bonnie to come down from uh, wherever she lives near Orlando. All right. Uh, just call one eight hundred Aunt Bonnie. Get her here. <laughs> All right. Is uh, that really her number? No. Yeah, it is actually convenient. Yeah, uh, we're well, gonna on. get a real Wait, good shot. Before of we your get soup the chug, chug, before we get the shot of the shoe of the soup chug, what did you think was gonna happen, Stugatz? When you uh, when you agreed to just chug, one time, I thought when, maybe when Mike would walk in with a reasonable chugs, amount of soup. Let me, yeah, it's a lot. Okay. Okay. Your head's so a lot. always doing it with you. So wait, Mike Ryan snuck up on you. Mike Ryan, who was just total fairness, it's a good point. Soup centrally, it's a good point. Asked you, I should have known better. Do you want to chug soup? You're like, yeah, and you thought it was him go. just wanting to give you, know, you something sweet and delicious. A shot of soup. Yeah. 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 Uh, soup, Chuggy. Can you say in the frame, too? That's a lot of Could shot right sure. there. Uh, we'll get to that payoff in a second because he might throw what up. What payoff? Yeah, well, you might throw up. and you might, you're, There's the chance you spit pea soup all over your computer. There as is, good as this is, this is not the thing you want to throw up. I mean, imagine okay, that coming right, back. But this is I the mean, thing. This is the also exercise. not the thing that you want to sip delicately right now when you're being asked to chug it. Mike is hoping. What are you doing, Dad? He's got in a, case a shield. he throws up, in case there's any projectile Mighty, vomiting, I'm Mighty covered Mike by is, Walter Mike Mercado. Mike is worried that this is going to be disgusting, and we we have that chance. But hold on a second, Billy. Real quick, what's going on with hashtag uh, Mercado's schlong? Oh, good question. Check Ooh, back shot. with me on that. Okay, mm. very good. Let's I go. told you. I told let's you. Go. Wait, let's bring Ricky in. Let's and he he can enjoy it with us. Uh, we'll bring uh, we'll bring Ricky Williams. I'm in. trying to bring Ricky in, but he's a little hard to pin down. Okay, mm -hmm. uh, so let's go ahead and do this piece. Soup things, do gods. All right, what? Chug it. <laughs> this pea soup thing. Okay, here we go. Oh God! Look. Jeez. Oh, I can't chug it. I can't chug it. Oh God! Oh! oh. I can't chug it. He he sipped uh, nothing. He sipped oh. barely anything. <laughs> uh. He didn't drink uh. any, hardly any of it. Who's throwing uh. up? Uh. In uh. Who's throwing up in another room? Uh, like Roy, Roy's doing it in this room just for fun. Like, Roy just did it. No, well, no you know, one's paying it's attention. Look soup. at that. It's more like a meal than a yes, soup. In Sugat's defense, Roy. it's a thick soup. Why didn't you is. tell someone to eat a camera on you, Roy? Soup. Soup. Roy soup just shoveled it down. Roy just drank it like a pelican. Just yeah. standing. He threw his head back. He ate the cup, too. Uh, I got to stand, though. Yeah, that's a what pelican. it is, Sugat's. You need the stands. You, you gotta go. say in the shot. Well, no, toss you your head back look. a little bit. Yeah. Get on your knees. Get on your knees. Yeah. Who so associates a pelican with eating soup? Yeah. Oh. It's the way you no, eat. I think they do. No, this is on you. Mm. A pelican. I don't, I'm chugging soup. I'm damn. just saying, you, you can imagine a, chicken noodle. a pelican yeah. just. Well, because they don't have the teeth, uh, pelicans. Not yeah. broth. I don't think. Fish, maybe, but not soup. Should we ask McGill? Let alone pea soup. Pelicans have meat. You can go ahead and call McGill. We haven't at, we haven't planned on doing this with Ron McGill, but see if he can get over to a computer so you can ask him about the amazing feats of the pelican. And whether a pelican eats soup. Yeah. The pals. 
Well, the pelican eating soup isn't what we were getting at. I was just saying he threw it all down his gullet like there was no chewing or nothing. The way that uh, a pelican okay. eats a fish where they right. just swallow it. No they don't need have to teeth. No I was being more literal minded. I don't think. Delicious, though. Regardless, you're being Thanks celebrated you. throughout the place. <laughs> Just the right amount of salt. What did Thank you want you. us to ask Miguel about pelicans' feet? Thanks, Roy. Yeah. No uh, problem, Greg. About pelicans in general. I just want, uh, Mike, what are you pointing Dugats at? Dugats has half oh, a cup of soup. Dugats, still. why is it I mean, that you. It was, it was a terrible idea by me. Yeah. I couldn't stand. I had to stay in the shop. Dugats, <laughs> why? Staying in the shop, Dino. It's easier to chug soup when you stand, Dino. I mean, it is. You're not, Everyone knows that. Ask a pelican. <laughs> well known. Pal. Well, now we're just sitting and you sipping soup. Well, well it's half time. Yeah. Where we're at. He's doing it. <laughs> a broth, man. Hey, your voice sounds good when you're eating. Too. <laughs> it does. Yeah. 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 Sexy. Into it, you, huh? Oh, yeah. Guttural. Mm. We'll do it slower. Mm. Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah. Mm-hmm. Baby. Hearty soup. Damn right. God. <laughs> Nothing if not hearty. Oh my God! I'm, I'm gonna have a cigarette after this. <laughs> Why don't you have a cigarette in here? Why don't you just light up a heater in here? Not allowed, allowed to in here. What what laws would we break? I like to listen. You it's know, the place I, where we work. I don't break laws, though. Yeah, that's right. The smoke, smoke alarms. alarms. Yes, yes. You don't need that. Mm. Yeah. I've always wondered if those were real. Where are I the think smoke alarms? The oh, out. there's one right there. It's just there for show. Isn't that what something that we should do right before yeah, the like, big? See, yeah. The big end of the show, right before the Greg See Cody and gets wet. Yeah. Stugat's penis off. And then the firefighters will come over. That's how we're going to end the show. Right? I didn't offer up my penis. Greg said. I feel well, like you did. I, I, I offered like nothing. I feel like, well, you said you had a big hog and Stugat said that no, he show it to me. I think what I said was Walter Mercado. You said I got big feet, well big hands. Known. You said your son, th- you're welcome. You said well, your son, you're welcome. You know, I was talking about toenails. Where's your mind at? In the gutter? Chris, why are you making faces? Is Mike showing you pictures of me? <laughs> this is my dad I'm seeing right now. He looks nothing like Walter. <laughs> <laughs> he, did, he, did, he didn't try at all. Like, didn't he just put lipstick on his face? He cooked though, man. Like, I you, let me explain to you how offensive it is to me that I have to spend two hours getting ready to get d- dressed up for this. <laughs> me too. And 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 the rest of you, this is the effort that you guys put into this. That you you got a cape, you build a cape to Metal Arc Media, and you put on a bunch of lipstick. You look nothing like Walter Mercado. I wanted to wear a crown. They wouldn't let me. You know how hard it is? An old lady. God bless Walter, by the way. R.I.P. Yeah. I do look like an old woman. Rest in power. You did not try at all to, you put on, who put on your makeup? Uh, Mike did. I'm not throwing anybody under the bus. I think the makeup job is fantastic. I think he did a great job. And I really think he does a great the job. No, I'm aggressive. kidding. All right. Yeah, it's a little aggressive. <laughs> yeah. With a Q-tip. What do you guys think? I need a ruling. The lipstick's a bit I need aggressive. a ruling from the group. Mm. I need votes. Greg Cody thinks that we should not have aired what Billy Corbin said about him. He thinks that we should have protected him, that it's insulting and it's disrespectful to do that on our platform, that it's more his platform than it is Billy's platform. And he should be able to say of Billy Corbin, he's got short man syndrome without rebuttal. Turn off the microphones. He's Trump. Everyone, I get to say what I want. No one else gets to say what they want. My platform. There's a very easy solution to this whole thing, okay? And I'm going to propose it right now. It's either Billy or me. Oh, oh wow. Wow. Come on, man. It's wow. either hashtag. <laughs> Mercado Schlong. <laughs> no. Billy Corbin right yeah, now. Okay, you yeah, right there. <laughs> <laughs> it's either hashtag what? It's here come the beers. No, Buzzkill Billy. <laughs> yes. right. Hashtag Buzzkill Billy you forgot or me. Your own, you forgot your own slogan. <laughs> no, hashtag me. <laughs> Look, put it to a vote. And hashtag I'll abide by wow. the vote. I don't want to be on the same air as the guy wow. who would criticize me so viciously and unfairly mm. and mean-spiritedly. Uh, I don't. I mean, let the readers vote, or the listeners, whatever the hell they are. Readers. You guys, we love you all. <laughs> okay, Especially this, my pod family, but it? also the oh, listeners yeah. of this no, show. The next two hours are going to be a descent, and I wanted to have a beer chug because, uh, yeah, you're the designated driver. Right. You're skirting been... my challenge. You're ignoring uh, well, it. Well, because I'm not going to do that. I ah. Don't... <laughs> okay. Not going to do that, huh? Ah. Well. You showed him. <laughs> you really did. 
I mean, I, I can't share Put the your air money with where your him. mouth is, man. I, I can't share the air with, uh, what's his name? Because he changed his name. I can never remember. Oh, he um, did change his name, yeah, well, actually. You know, failed child actor. It, it, here's, here's an interesting story about Billy. Uh, born with a silver spoon in his mouth, uh, his family moved to L.A. All of this is verifiable. It's on the Internet. People are talking about it on the World Wide Web. Um, his family moves to L.A. He's a failed actor. Um, you know, with his tail between his legs, he comes back to South Florida. Has a couple of big hits, movies. Uh, nobody's heard him out of, out of Miami, but not nationally. Nobody knows him. But in Miami, he's a pretty big filmmaker. But then... Times get rough, and all of a sudden, he's a self-appointed uh, analyst of politics. And if you didn't give him a mic, you know what he's doing right now? He's standing at the shoreline right in front of our studio here on South Beach, shouting into the ocean, being heard by nobody. But instead, you give him a forum, you, you enable him, and he spews vitriol. Um, I, I don't know what he's doing, but he's a, a, a political uh, irritant. You know, I mean, but but look, well, I, what, he, what he's doing is good work. He's doing an important service for the community as newspapers die and lose right. resources, calling politicians to task. Yeah, but Hold, he crossed the he crossed the line. He okay, made it personal uh, with Greg. He, he did make it personal after Greg said he had short man syndrome. We keep oh. forgetting that one. Oh, yeah, Please. we keep forgetting that one. I'd like to side with Greg too. Yeah, Billy Corbin has never endorsed a candidate who won. He's just, you know, he's his own. I, I, I don't even know how to go on with this, but look, I get why you want him. What is it called? Because Miami, that hashtag. Mm-hmm. Um, hashtag Mercado Schlong. Right. Yeah. I get why you want him on. It's probably your biggest success since Art of Conversation. <laughs> oh, God damn. <laughs> wow. No, but listen, wow. The air is kicking in. <laughs> no, but here's the thing. Here's the thing. <laughs> Debo Samuel, by the way, is just getting hit by everyone who's ever played for the Rams. Right. He's beating the Rams by himself. <laughs> yeah. I mean, <laughs> Best athlete ever named Debo. But, you know, it's just not working, Billy. Uh, I mean, people in Miami don't want to hear an analysis of what's wrong with Miami politics. Imagine people in Omaha just ripping that. the segment. Look at that. Just, I mean, I'm I'm being honest, you know, and I you know make a choice. You know, I'm happy to retire, and um, hmm. you know, that kind of thing. Uh, put it on the poll. All right. Well, uh, yeah. and, and, so <laughs> where are you guys with it? You guys think we need to make a choice between Bill Corbin or Cody? That's it. Okay. Yeah. I mean, I'm willing. I'll go with the result. And you, uh, Stugat, you. I mean, I ride with Cody. I don't want to see Greg leave here. I don't do anything with Billy Corbin. I like Billy Corbin. I love Greg Cody. Thank you. That's it. I vote for my dad as well. As long as I'm still wow. getting paid. About that? Yeah. Well, unfortunately, Greg, I'm the uh, segment producer. Wow. so I'm Less work for you. Go on, yeah, I'm going to have to go with the thing that pays me. Sorry. That hurts me, Roy. I, I know. I'm sorry. I apologize. Yeah. I'm, yeah. Billy, I'm who do you side with? Me. Oh, wow. I mean, I, I've often told Greg that I wished he was he's like a step uncle I never had. So, <laughs> yeah. It's hard to go against him. I would never. Also, if Billy Corbin's gone, then the confusion of the two Billy situation also kind of goes away. <laughs> there you so. go. Yeah, that's true. Yeah. That's right. Uh, <laughs> I thought it would be a wider vote than just this room somehow. So what do you want the vote to be? Well, you're you want- winning right now. Well, who's life. who's going to stay on the show? Okay, uh, put it on the poll. Who should stay on the show? Billy Corbin or Greg Cody, and a loser leaves the show match. Are you going to live and die with these results? Like, are you going to actually execute this if it happens? You know, it's going to happen. Someone's going to be voted off. What are you going to do? Oh, I don't know. Okay. I'm just Good. doing I'm just doing a poll on a Sunday night. <laughs> right, we did it. Yeah. And I'm not making the poll. To not really thinking too much about no, it. I'm not yeah. really going to be wow. pushed to the Someone's brink. Someone's feelings are going to be hurt. starting yeah. to sound like one of those politicians. I wonder I who Ron McGill would vote for. Right. Uh, Ron McGill, who would you vote for? Easy uh, cheesy. One second. Okay. One well, second not yet, Dan. Just a moment. Yeah. All right. Hold yeah. on a Ron, second, Ron. Stop, we got to get stop. you. We got to get you unmuted, Ron. Hold on a second. Start thinking everything you know about Pelicans, Ron. I love Sunday night relaxed Ron McGill lounging out. Oh, man. What a delight. Oh, yeah. He's yeah. two cigars in right now. Oh, I'll tell you that. A couple of beers. Uh, he is not. He's oh, he doesn't he drink. Doesn't, cigars he in. He doesn't drink. Yeah, I don't think he drink. smokes either. Well, um, he started tonight. You don't know that. Um, okay, Ron McGill, thank you for joining us on such short notice. Uh, if, if it's a loser leaves the show match... And because Greg Cody, I don't need to explain all of this to you, but Greg Cody uh, accused Billy Corbin of having short man syndrome. Billy Corbin was mean to him. Now he's mean back. And, and Greg Cody is saying him or me. It's either him or me. You got to choose. Uh, who does your vote go for? Does it go for Billy Corbin or does it go to, to Greg Cody? 
Jeez, I like Billy. I love Greg. I mean, um, go. Cody has always just given me great information. And, you know, Bill, Billy, I, I, like I said, I like him a lot. But, man, he he gets crazy. He gets high. I'll never forget that roast that we did with you. That guy was out of his mind behind the stage. And I thought he was almost borderline dangerous. He was going so crazy. Thank you. I've never seen Cody do that. He's always kind of been level-headed. And I think Cody's always <laughs> given everybody a fair shot. Yeah, he's and a danger to society, mm-hmm. Billy Corbin. Cody cares I'm about you. Yeah. I'm just going to say that. He was out of his mind crazy that night. It scared me a little bit. And, um, you know, he, he he said a lot of mean things about me and he donkey did. penises and yeah. stuff like that. It was crazy. Greg never was on that low. Yeah. Animal sex. A yeah. lot of animal sex yeah. jokes. Mercado Schlong. Mm-hmm. Um, <laughs> yeah. yeah, he he ought to be Baker acted. I don't think he mentioned Buzz Buzzkill <laughs> Billy. He didn't mention Mercado Schlong. I don't know what you're doing there. Uh, Ron, we were talking about the Pelican. Can you tell me amazing things about the Pelican? I don't know very much about the Pelican. Well, there's a couple of different types of Pelicans. We have the brown Pelican. We have the greater white Pelican. You know, there's the pink back Pelican. But the ones here in Florida, you got the brown Pelicans. And then the bigger ones are the white Pelicans. What's interesting is that the white Pelicans, you know, they only hunt by opening their mouths and going side by side in the water. The only ones that dive down in the water are the brown Pelicans. And these brown Pelicans, you know, the Pelicans are getting kind of a, a a bad deal because so many of them get injured because they go after fish. People who think they go to the fishing docks and they throw their scraps to the pelicans, that they're doing the pelicans a favor. They're not doing the pelicans a favor. Because what happens is pelicans get used to this free food. And then when they go out after fishermen and fishermen catch the fish, they try to grab the fish off the hook. They get hooks in their mouths. They get fishing line in their mouths. There's all kinds of problems. But pelicans are cool, cool. My wife's going crazy here. She's a you know, big LA Rams person. So she's watching the <laughs> game, which I put on to talk to you guys. So she's screaming here, watching this, going, yeah, 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 all right, yeah. All right, well, let's talk to Rita. Well, losing, well, tell, I mean, I'd like to get well, Rita's. Well, no, Rita, Rita, Rita is in her night clothing, which is well, kind she of can, just can, can Rita, yeah. Okay, very nice. Uh, yeah. Do you mind? Can you just Maybe. ask Rita to, yeah. to shout her Rams analysis from over there, if she'd like? Well, you know, like Rita with just the wine. Yeah. Okay. I am just so happy that Garoppolo just got nailed. Yes. Just nailed. Yes. 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 Oh, Nail so it. <laughs> You're down three, though, Rita. Yeah. Yes. Oh. And they're driving. Now you got Rita in her little nightshirt with a <laughs> glass Pelican- of wine. What? Screaming at a television that's muted because I'm talking to you guys. Do mm. pelicans have teeth? Do we cover that? No, pelicans do not have teeth. Oh. Wow. How are their feet? <laughs> Ron, they which animal a- could shotgun a beer the fastest? Oh, wow. Oh. Which animal could shotgun a beer the fastest? A pelican. pelican would be pretty fast. Oh, that's a fumble. That's oh, a fumble. I, how he did got you out do of it. that? Wow. I thought he started the ball and I'm yelling, that's a fumble. How did that? Uh, how did no, he hold he on to the ball? Down, my wife pissed off again. Oh, she gets boy. more football than I do. She, she was screaming here, looking at the TV like it's listening to her. Ron, what are the what are the bird rankings? I know you've got the harpy ang- eagle at the top, and I know the owl is kind of at the bottom. But where where does the pelican fit, and what are the what are the bird rankings on the best that and the most a, powerful of the birds? The owl is at the bottom, but that's just an intelligence. The owl is an incredible. That's the stealth fighter of birds. Special feathers in its wings when it flies, it makes no sound. It has incredible hearing. That's a fantastic bird. It's just not very bright, so it's not at the bottom. Okay. Yeah, you know, I think if you got to go to the top, you got you to go to the peregrine falcon because it's the fastest animal can reach speeds of over 200 miles per hour. So, like, what's a better bird than the pelican, though? The pelican, the pelican's kind of a mediocre bird, right? Just uh, right in the middle, not too smart. It's a fascinating bird. It's a, it's a got a fa- big mouth. It's got great character to it. It's got great shape. I mean, that's like something a kid drew in a, a comic book. You know, you put a pelican together, it looks like it's made from different parts of different birds. Uh, Ron, thank you for stopping by. Oh, Billy's got something. Yeah, I have for a you. question for you, Ron. Animal related. Do dogs get lonely? And if so, is it good to get another dog to keep them company, or do they get jealous? Yeah, that depends, Billy. But dogs definitely do get lonely. Um, sometimes, if you get to, oh, here's Rita screaming again. Oh, Jesus, said nothing. Anyway, yeah. um, it's a punt. <laughs> what happened? Are you behind us? Or are you you're are, you're a little behind us? <laughs> Oh, yeah, we are behind. You know why? Oh, because sorry. I paused it when I came on to you guys. Oh, Spoiler yeah. alerts. Oh, sorry yeah. to do anything. <laughs> Spoiler alert. Oh, Niners oh, won. Yeah. She's watching fake TV. There's a pop coming sorry. up. <laughs> sorry. God bless America. God Jeez, bless Jesus, I said football. I'm sorry. Anyway, uh, it, it is sometimes good to get a companion for a dog. <laughs> it depends, though, on the breed of dog, the personality of the dog. You know, sometimes you create two monsters that way. So, um I don't know. I think uh, it, it, it depends on the dog. It depends how how long you're away. If the dog's an indoor dog, an outdoor dog, a lot of lot of factors oh, yeah. to take into consideration. 
Chris had a really good question here off uh, off the microphone. Does Rita ever say enough with the animals? No more animal talk today. Like I've had it with the animals, Ron. Let's just watch well, Emily in Paris. And she just sometimes she tries to throw a shock line at me. She'll say, "I hate animals." So do that. Yeah. I love that. Wow, I get yeah. you going. Overrated. And I'll bring home something. And you know, one time I had to bring home. I think it was a wolf, a little oh. baby wolf that we had to feed. And I was just kind of letting it go in the bathroom. And she goes. What are you doing? I go, well, it's going to be in the bathroom. It's not. She goes, no, it's not. I go, oh, Rita, it's got to stay here. She goes, it's not staying here. Get out with that. Um, right. So there are times when I have been thrown out of my own home, depending on what I have with me. Well, you, um, you, you took a wolf home, Ron. I know, Ron. Like, this yeah, is not yeah. a ridiculous <laughs> thing. It's not, it's not a poodle or yeah. anything. Okay, yeah, it did poop all over the house, but all we cleaned it up. Mm -hmm. Okay. I'll put it on the poll, Guillermo. Should you cut, uh, should you uh, kick your husband out of the house if he brings home a wolf? Uh, Baby wolf. Uh, Ron, thank you. Uh, thank you for being on with us. We'll talk to you later this week. Have a good night, guys. Take care. See you, Ron. Right. Bye, Rita. You all right, Greg? Oh, hold up. Too much soup? Yeah. Beer went down the wrong pipe? No. He's fine. It happens. Uh, Speaking of which. Right. I'm not trying to engender sympathy here, but... Um, the the cold weather has really made my breathing problems worse. Mm -hmm. Inside, yeah, hard to whistle as well. Yeah, yeah, whistle while you work. Mm -hmm. I really resisted a Larry Bird joke when we were having that conversation. You and me both. both. Yeah. yeah, yeah. I mean, you know, willpower is what that's called. Mm -hmm. Lady you. willpower. Yeah, thank good job you. out of you. Yeah, thank you. Birdman. You believe that bird flies 200 miles an hour? I find that? <laughs> no, I don't. God, who times them? Yeah, Come exactly. On. It's no, ridiculous. No one believed that, right? Come on. Are there other birds in sports besides Larry Bird? Sue Bird. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Sue Bird's a good one. Mm -hmm. The birdie golf. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, we have done this, uh, I, I and Eagle. We have done this game. We've done this game across uh, uh, names that are that are birds. <laughs> We've run out of material in the third quarter. We're just going back to the games. Yeah, I think I might go back for some of, more of, of the of the birds. What's going on with Whittingham? Is he? Uh, what kind of are, what kind of odds are we going to get on him taking his second? Uh, uh, are we going to rejoin the uh, the other camera? <laughs> Witty, are you ready to chug a beer? <laughs> yeah. Chris Birdingham. Oh, there you go. <laughs> Thank you. For How fast do you reckon, Greg? A bird could go. I'd, I'd crack a hundred, maybe. I mean, come on, thirty miles an hour, maybe. Yeah. All right. Birds don't fly fast. No, they don't. No. They don't. No. Chris, I need to give this to Seems the audience. Seems like they do, though. You know? I'm, I'm telling you, whoever's hanging with us for the re thing. for the remainder of this game. It's going to be a doozy the last, yeah. One yeah. of the most fun things around here is just going to be watching the descent of Greg Cody into the Miller Lights. <laughs> I've got just over under 10 minutes before he just starts singing inexplicably. Tony Hawk. <laughs> he hasn't done that yet, huh? Tony wow. Hawk, wow. That's another one that I uh, <laughs> edited myself on. Believe me, I had a song related <laughs> to birds. All right. Really? Wait, yeah, oh, wait. Yeah. Well, let's go. Go. All right. Now you've done it. Let's Andre go. Hold Dawson. On. Hold on. Everyone, ah, hold yeah, on. I like it. Everybody, back off. Yes. Hold on a second. Are you ready for Greg Cody? He said he had a song to launch. Let's see what he's got. But but I'm promising you, please, if you're with us right now, stay with us till the end. The descent of Greg Cody is going to be a thing to marvel at. Chris Cody and I have been marveling at. At 10 o'clock, something bad's going to happen. Lynn Swan. Another good one. My mom just texted me, don't let your dad forget his glasses at the studio. Oh, wow. Where are they, Greg? See, she notices. Mm. There they are. It's like Mrs. No, McDonald no, noticing knows, that you couldn't no. see his she eyebrows. Knows she knows it's yeah. 830. She yes. hears your voice. She knows what's coming at 10. <sighs> she knows this descent is going to be a bad one. It'll be a good one. Trust me. But the bird thing, I don't want to oversell this because what I'm talking about is the greatest bird. The, the best birds of all time was the the singing group, The Birds, mm -hmm. from the late 60s. And, of right. course, their signature hit was Mr. T Mr. Tambourine Man, sing a song with me, which may not be the lyric. I may have it slightly <laughs> wrong. Doesn't matter. But it Sounds was a good. great yeah. song. Yeah. It was a fantastic right. song. Yep. Quick fact about that song. Here's another one you can look up. The iconic guitar solo. Anybody know that song? Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. The iconic guitar solo on that record was sung by a session musician named Glenn Campbell. No way. Yep, you Get can look it up. Here. Look it up. You're lying. No, I'm not. <laughs> I don't believe that. Look it up. <laughs> okay, And wonderful. I will uh, bow in your hosannas. Um, mm -hmm. What? <clears throat> That is a fact, Jack. All right. Yeah. I mean, so why do I have to look it up, though? <laughs> I mean, it's the World Wide Web. Okay. It's yeah, out there. No, nobody That's really what people cares, are saying on the internet. I, you didn't get that <laughs> Billy and Stugatz were totally feigning indifference as they <laughs> That's do. That's not true. I also, what are by you the way, talking about? Yeah. 
<laughs> there was a very insincere. What? Uh, everything Billy does these days is insincere. Like, there is not That's a. That's not true. That's not here's, fair. A, here's a fact. Goose Gosh is. <laughs> I went to school with a kid named Pigeon. There you go. Pigeon's a beautiful name. Mm -hmm. uh, Glenn Campbell is trending on Twitter right now. I just saw it on my eye. What's idol. going on around uh, hashtag Mercado Schlong? Billy, what's funny? What are we going to give something away for? <laughs> we've got we've the second half has started. We've only given away two things so far, and we yeah. got a bunch of prize Six things to, to give away. Six All right, well go. let's give the, Roy get back there and answer some more calls there and and do it again. There's uh, a uh, hashtag Mercado Schlong M E R C A D O S C H L O N G. In case you're wondering, Beckham is going to get the Rams to the Super Bowl, and Mike's going to be insufferable. Mm -hmm. It's going to be. Uh, it's good. <laughs> how many how many yards does Odell Beckham have receiving now? Because he's got like too many. Yeah, so yeah. Got, I'll check on it right now. Uh, we will uh, we will get to a winner. Uh, the the uh, Roy, I want the thirtieth caller. Okay. The thirtieth oh, wow. caller. Thanks, uh, thanks, Dan. Uh, Odell has six for seventy-one yards right now. Okay. Big numbers. Oh, blow out your ass. Twenty-nine people are now, getting now, things Mike blown Ryan, out of their asses. Is, let's go to Mike Ryan here. Mike Ryan, what do you have in the other room with the shotgun situation? All the two blown out your ass. Well, Witty, is it time for uh, the uh, the rebuttal? I mean, we can. Yeah. It's time. All right. Well, we need some time to prepare and also have yeah. a have a splash zone here because oh God, there's no. potential for this to go poorly again. Call it three. Blow out your ass. Dan Quayle. Wow. <laughs> That's good. It's not even the damn It's not even sports. Don't break, don't break character. Let him do it for ten minutes. Call the board. Blow it out your ass. One. You do your thing. Leave him alone. <laughs> I forgot my mic was on. I'm sorry. Call the five. Blow it out your ass. <laughs> It's like you've never done the show before. <laughs> so I forgot the mic was on our show. You started answering phones around here. Sorry. You leave it unstated and he does it for 20 straight minutes and we just leave him alone. My bad. And that's a winning position for Stu Gods. made a career out of God it. almighty, have you not been watching what we do around here? Call the six, blow that jazz. Florence Nightingale. Wow. wow. Whoa. <laughs> Mike, go ahead. Yeah, we're uh, we're trying to presently teach Chris Whittingham the error of his ways. He's got it. Episode. No, he was fine that last time. Oh. The the beer was too level. Yeah, yeah. yeah. it's got to be tilted more. Yeah, the whole. Yeah, Whitty, more tilting. Mm -hmm. Yes. Is Whittingham wearing a chin napkin like a fat man <laughs> eating to, a lobster? Whitty, if you can hear me, you need to commit. You were a little too yeah, you gotta be all passive there. Hold on. That was a big third and one play. It. That was yeah, a big was. third and one play. the one now. Stafford was running around. Good Bob walks in with the scissors, blades out, and yeah, that's bad etiquette. That, you don't do that. Well, yeah. he didn't run, yeah. so it's fine. It's just uh, someone that looks and acts like Bob just walking up yeah. to you. Like, hey, <laughs> what does that mean? A threatening look on his face <laughs> as well. I trust Bob with scissors. Oh, they're going for going it on for fourth it. and one. Hold Bullets on a second. There's a big play. It you got to stop shenanigans and genuflect before football on a big play. Yeah. You want, you want blades here. out. You can't go stop. blades out. That's poor etiquette. Russell Crowe. It is poor etiquette. Wow. Damn it. He got it. Yeah. Did he, he get it? That little push at the end. Yeah, yeah that's that little push effort. at the end. Second oh, effort. Yeah. Oh, now we're going to do this stupid thing. Yeah. Eric Dickerson now we're can gonna always do be counted on yeah. for two years. Oh, that's that's right, Craig. That is right. Yep. Eric Dickerson. Yeah, he has that's a new right. book out. All right. <laughs> I don't know that he got that. How in God's name... How in God's name? Hold on a second, Mike. He hold on. It. Call it up, blow not your ass. How in God's name do any of you know whether that's a first he got down it. No, or not? He got it. Yeah. He got it. He got it. Yeah, he's good. There's a line on the field. They it's imaginary, even, but there's a line. Yeah, don't even it. measure yeah. this. It's a like, first down. Call watching it. Tony put the hole yeah, in Wade's beer is just such a sad sight. Yeah. I thought Stafford was a bad sneaker. Wade's holding a paper towel. I thought Nike was a bad sneaker. He's gonna shotgun a beer with a fork and knife. Hey, wait, 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 look at this. This is what decides who goes to the camera. Oh, too short. Yeah. Wow. Yes. Yes. wow. Yes. Challenge is oh, ridiculous. Oh, oh, challenge. Oh, challenge. challenge. That's that's a good. Good. There you go. There's the red hanky. That's so stupid. He's got the red hanky. Okay, 
here comes the, and then tomorrow you the know, hanky's we're, out we're going to talk about somebody who's a choker somebody yeah. doesn't care enough and, and it's like don't yeah. worry this will all be sorted out in 15 to 20 oh, minutes because oh, man with a yeah. change yeah. alright when he's ready to go alright go ahead Wendy it was a very I important I wish I could see an answer we'll entertain you in the five minutes it'll take to decide whether Stafford got an extra inch because someone pushed him from behind go ahead Wendy let's see what you've got so stupid somebody's going to go to the Super Bowl because of that call because of a chain link Football. <laughs> <laughs> Call 18, blow it out your ass. It's such so asinine. People are going to yell for two weeks about whether Shanahan's a choker or Garoppolo, and it's just like, can it stop trying to erase 17 years of Lions and shit with, like, can you sneak well or can you not? Get an extra inch, Stafford. It's moronic. Call it 20, blow it out your ass. Here we go. Are we going? All right. Here we go. Blown out your ass. <laughs> Call it 25, blow it out your ass. That dry cleaning bill on those pants is going to be yeah. so cool. I really thought that he was dressed for a punishment today. You but were asking that. Yeah, I, no, I did. Because he has like fancy dressing uh, punishments to do. Call no, it just his, uh, his Sunday look. Fancy dressing punishments? He is not. He is not enduring a punishment. This is just how he. You. You were asking him that question when he came in oh, again and again. Are you. Are you right now paying a punishment? Well, it's more the coat that he had on, above that whole, whatever that is. <laughs> Uh, congratulations, Whittingham. I, yeah. We could do a sideline interview, but you must feel very good about yourself. This is one of your grandest athletic achievements, is it not? You rose to the challenge, and you're... you're, you're well, he got the mechanics. Very, very yes. Oh, yeah. There's but nothing why, better than wait, a post-shotgun <laughs> burp. But wait, Whitty, don't muffle the burp. Don't turn... I know don't blow it at me either. Professional Jesus. broadcaster. Yeah. Oh, no. Witty, I can't call right into a burp right into a mic. I mean, if ever, if I do it all the time. Witty, uh, if ever you could. <laughs> <laughs> By the way, he got the mechanics down. The time was a little slow, if I'm going to be a little clear. Wow. Okay. What? Well, I just, I just didn't know what was like. I, I was so, I guess, surprised that it worked. Oh, what are you on the window? <laughs> <laughs> but you can still blow it out your you ass. You can still blow it out <laughs> your ass, Roy. Right? I'm, I'm serious. All right. All right. I'm we serious. Call number 30, fellas. All right. Thank you, Roy. I appreciate it. it. He can still blow it out his ass, though. Uh, oh, Billy, what are the prizes? The sponsors have been nice enough to give us some bags of stuff to give away. Call so. Sands. What a great question, Dan. All right. We have some Let's gift go. packs from Athletic Green, CVDMD, and Sheets and Giggles. Dan, you can choose what this person is going to get. How about that? Okay. I like that. Um, I, well, let me talk to the person. Pressure. Sure. Here, what do you need in your life? Uh, Stephen who, Crane. Who, who am I? Logan. Logan, uh, congratulations. <laughs> Blow it out your ass. That's all right. Awesome. Uh, where are you from, Logan? What's your favorite radio station? Uh, I'm in Texas right now. Uh, 790 the ticket, right? That's yes, my that's right. Thank yep, you. you so, it. Classic cheat button. <laughs> they didn't treat us right at the end. Fuck 790 the ticket. <laughs> <laughs> What's your favorite podcast with Greg Cody in the title? Right, he's right about that, actually. Uh, probably the... The Greg Cody show featuring Greg Cody. That Thank you. Boy. Wow. Close that enough. Boy. With Greg Cody. He's yep. a winner. Um, all right. Uh, we are going to give him some sheets and giggles. These are nice sheets. Oh They're God. good sheets. Uh, the best so, sheets. Hell yeah. Uh, hell yeah. Congratulations, Logan. Thank you for stopping by on the return of the callers. We have not done callers in a long time. I have not missed them. <laughs> or Logan. Yeah, yeah. Thanks for calling, Logan. Logan's been great. Yeah, Logan's awesome. Blow it out your ass. Thank you. Josh and Alexi. Yeah, the kid that the 49ers kept at Stafford's going to be a choker for eternity because he couldn't sneak into somebody's ass crack and get an extra two chain links. Logan, do you think that was a first down? Uh, No. You just turned him off. Oh, come on, Chris. <laughs> that wasn't me. Uh, it was Roy. I blew my whole Logan, say that again. Yeah, we were talking. Logan, say that again. Talking to Logan. Uh, yeah, we're we're going for the 49ers here. That was not a first down. Oh, glad we went back to that. About that? Okay, good work Money by talks. all of you. Good teamwork. What are you up to today, Logan? Good, good. And yeah, there's Billy for you always, rolling grenades across the floor. Cookie, you know what? Go ahead. Go you ahead. just had a what? A pie. Oh, 
<laughs> oh, really? A pie? Yeah. Ted Hendricks. A pie, a pie zuki. It's a pie and a cookie and ice cream. Oh, the stork. P that's a pizookie, I think. Yeah, oh, I like it. I like a good pizookie. Yeah. Greg, this is the part of the program where you drive. Yeah. I ain't driving wow. shit. <laughs> <laughs> Dan and Stu guys just took off. Yeah, Greg, I'm you're about in charge to go, now. I'm about to go reheat my uh, pea and little soup. Mm. All right, Franklin. Logan. Wait wait here so we can get your info to send you Billy, can sheets. we talk about Pazookis a little bit more? Oh, sure. I mean, if What's your favorite one? Hmm. My favorite Pazookie. I got to be honest with you. I thought it was just like the chocolate chip cookie that then you put like the ice, ice cream, cream on stuff top. On. Yeah, yeah, I didn't know there was different ones. There's a pumpkin one. Bread. Red yeah. Bread good, uh -huh. Really? Yeah. Monkey bread. Monkey bread. I don't know what that is. Like cinnamon. Whittingham, are you feeling loopy? No, I just very, very gassy. You had yeah. one beer. No, it, no, I'm not feeling loopy. I feel, I feel good. Yeah. I wanted. I actually began the evening wanting to have more beer, and I'm disappointed with my lack of beer consumption. I mean, we can have more beer. You want to have more beer? Greg's had enough for all of us. No, God, I've had two. Yeah, Greg, I feel like he's been very, very slow paced with the beer. Thank you very you much. Seen him at three p.m. Nobody said. <laughs> Nobody says that in my house. I've never heard that. I have never in my life heard you. I feel like you've been very slow paced with your beer. So no, you you just house them. You just put them away. Ah, uh, when I'm in the mood, you know. This is burped right in the mic. Oh, every day. No, I mean, come on. What do you take me for? Don't answer that. It's insane that Debo Samuel's still playing. He's been great. I mean, what a spark plug. Who else is a better uh, runner slash pass catcher than him? You know that his name is not actually Debo. I just looked this up. It's like Typhus or something like that. Really? Yeah. And and how do you get to the Tyshan, Tyshan, excuse me. How do you get to the nickname Debo? Good question. You know? Uh probably from Friday, the movie Friday. Is that what it's from? Debo? Uh, probably. Really? Yeah. I didn't know that. Have you seen Friday, Dad? No, God no. I saw Friday the thirteenth. <laughs> wow. That was unnecessarily dismissive of the movie. Yeah, Friday. I mean, come on, man. Greg, that was a one good of the movie. great cinematic well, adventures see... of our time. Yeah, What's that great. about? Two right. Americas. He just doesn't see movies. Yeah. Greg, I have a question for you. What uh, Next Friday? We're a little behind on the giveaways right, right now next. As, as we're doing this. How would you like to give something away? Ooh, you can okay. give away whatever you want. Well, not whatever you want, what we have left. But you can choose how we do this next giveaway since everyone's gone. Because we okay. still have to do five giveaways. Oh, man, we got to roll. That's right. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, so what am I supposed to do? Like, what am I deciding? Well, I'm, you can decide how we give it away. What do you want people to do? Tweet, whatever. Call. Oh, man. How about hmm. they tweet us a screen grab of them having subscribed to the Greg Cody show with Greg Cody. Wow. Oh, I pick, like that. We, yes. we pick one of those yes. tweeters in. Huh. And to subscribing win a prize. is free, by the way. It doesn't cost indeed. you anything. Well, if they're already subscribed, would they then unsubscribe yeah. to resubscribe? Yeah, they can do that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Resubscribe. That's encouraged. Give a five star rating. Yeah. yeah. I like that. Yeah. Okay, let's do if it. If you don't, I'm inclined to believe you're a hater. That's right. I don't know how to do that, but administer it. And what's the uh, okay? And what 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 do you want people to tell us so that we know that they're doing it? Like, do you have a hashtag besides Mercado Schlong, or you want to use that? <laughs> That'd be great. Okay, but you got to spell Mercado right. You know, respect. Why don't you spell out the hashtag that you want them to use? So okay, it's hashtag page. Mercado Schlong, which is M E R C A D O S, capital S, if you wouldn't mind. Wow. Okay. S C H L O N G. All right. And then that with a picture of them subscribing to your podcast. Yeah, or anything that indicates such. I'll be happy to let you know, Greg, that right now the poll, who do you want to stay on the show, uh -oh. has 4,700 votes. Uh oh. And Greg Cody has 75% of the vote. Nice. Wow. That'll okay. work, Greg. Yeah. Not enough, but we appreciate it. Very high Q rating with the audience. Oh, yeah. Wow. Now, Greg, tonight is normally Greg Cody show taping night. So, how are you going to work the podcast? That's we, a good question. With, with being here, we have most of it done. At some point, when we kind of have a result in hand, I would think we we need to do the final ten minutes of the podcast. Right. We can kind of do it at any time. Like we could do it right now. But I'd like to have yeah. Like, let's something, wait. Something like result, result in hand. Yeah. Yeah. Just talk about NFL and Brady and all that stuff. But I don't know. At this point, like, your voice is already starting to go. Uh, do we got another hour in you. Why don't yeah, we do this? Why don't we do ten minutes for each result? Just in case we don't get to the fourth quarter. You know what I mean? The game is actively going yeah, on. But, like, but, no, but people are watching yeah. this with us. Yeah, but just to react in to case we don't on. get to it. You yeah. just give us one if the 49ers win, one if the Chargers win, or the Rams win. 
I don't want to interrupt the flow of the show here. Oh, we're so. we're I mean well, we're past we're, that. Yeah, Forty yeah. ers are in the red zone. Well, no, they they just Uh-oh. won the game. Here we go. It's not even the fourth quarter. What are we talking about? Mm. Ooh, there's a touchdown. Touchdown, Garoppolo to George oh, Kittle. Oh my God! And the Forty ers are two scores to the good. Wow! They got that first down. Talk about I think upsets. Underdog parlay. By the way, Stugatz and Chris Cody. Now would be Let's a good go. time. Now would be a good time to hedge. Ah. A little live money line Rams. Oh, I should. Yeah. Because then I'll get a lot of juice and I can. Right. Exactly. I mean, I'm sure Rams live right now is gonna be like plus one seventy, plus one eighty. Good shout. Is TV loving a Bengals 49ers Super Bowl? Because I'm guessing no. Forty. I think you could have done with the Rams. I do think before today started, I think Rams Chiefs was the optimal. Yes. Correct. I still think it could be a fun game. The 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 Bengals are fun, but yes, I think. But the they're league, the Bengals. Yeah. Right. Wow. Are you guys, uh, why would you dis the Rams already just because they're down 10? Why would you do that given what you've seen from football? Are you already uh, putting San Francisco in the Super Bowl because they just went down the field? No, but based on what we're seeing, I'm projecting. Uh, I I fully expect an overtime game. What? Well, look at the last six games in the NFL. The NFL always wins. The, the great finishes, and the Bengals getting in allows the NFL to say, you all may, may hate parody, but it works. The lowly Bengals are in the Super Bowl. I mean, it's Roger Goodell is, is the happiest man on the planet right now. Chris, you can hear your father's descent. You the last hear, 20 minutes, the voice has gotten the, a little the, raspy. The slur. That's they, why I'm telling you, do two options right now before it gets to a point that you can't record Well, I've been later. carrying the show, and yeah. it's heavy lifting from my vocal well, you cords. Guys, you guys have to do you know. your podcast from here as well, correct? Yeah, you, we're going to we do the last. 10 minutes at the end. Yeah. Okay, uh, can we do that? Uh, we can't do that here? Well, no, that's why we're going to say do 10 minutes as if the 49ers had we're won hoping, and 10 minutes as if the Rams had we're won. We're hoping for some sort of result in hand, but you know they're yeah. up by 10 now, so we okay. could Okay, well, no, no. Yeah, Let's yeah. wait a little longer. No, no. We, I was, I wanna, wondering, yeah, I was I, wondering if we could do the 10 minutes for his podcast right now. Oh, no, yeah. we can do it yeah, yeah. in this setting just like this, but I think we should wait maybe like a little, let the no, game get no. a little yeah, more distracted. I agree. Producing. That's no. my executive producer, and I defer to him. He's fantastic. He should be with the money I pay him. But, uh, no, he's done a great job. But the voice, yeah, you know, people on the Internet, people on Twitter are saying it's sexy. Just stop talking. I can't hear my own voice, so I don't know that. You know, I found that very interesting, Greg, because I have that th- same thing. Because you think that you sound one way, and then you hear a recording of yourself, and it sounds like a totally different person. Yeah. Mm-hmm. You know what? Isn't that the truth? Yep. Why the, is that? The opposite oh. works with the mirror. Mm. I never think of myself as looking that old, and then I look at myself in the mirror. I tell you, man, glass don't lie. Mm-hmm. I mean, it's it's just sobering. Crazy. <laughs> <laughs> Weird word for me to use, I know, but it's sobering to look at myself in the mirror. And Where imagine looking today in the mirror. Oh, boy. Oh, with this? <laughs> this is gruesome. I went to the bathroom an hour ago. I'm looking at these red lips. It's crazy. What would I, if I walked into a South Beach club <laughs> looking exactly like this? Just be very careful with what you suggest because there's two camera people here. Uh, glass don't lie, says Greg Cody. Right. Put it on the poll, Guillermo, at Lebitard Show. Ricky Williams joins us. Uh, Ricky, uh, can you tell us, please, what you've been... Yes, yeah, that, yeah well, that's surprising to you, Mike, that he would be smoking? Wow. Why, why would that be surprising to you? Ricky smokes? You don't get the show. Uh, I believe that was sarcasm. Uh, Ricky, uh <laughs> What have you noticed from the uh, the three quarters that you've been watching? Are you watching? Here? What? Well, that's a good question too. Have you been watching? No, I went to a, an event earlier this evening. Uh, there's a, a, a young man running for a, a senate in Louisiana, who uh, is, you know kind of doing a political thing here. So I went to visit him at a restaurant, and the game was on in the background. So I, I did get a chance to follow a little bit. Well, tell us about the politics before you tell us about the football. What are you doing? Well, I was just invited because I guess his, his name is Gary. Um, and Gary hey, was guys. was filmed smoking uh, smoking a blunt, and he's running for Senate. So it was just a big story, and I went out to support him and got a chance to talk to him a little bit. So it was it was cool. And what did you have to say to him? Um, you know, I wanted to make sure he was for real. And, you know, because when he was talking to the group, he was talking, you know, about cannabis reform and he was talking about the law. But I wanted to look him in the eye and see what he actually thought about cannabis. And 
And I said, I know the courage it, it took to sit on, you know, to sit on that sofa and smoke that blunt for the world to see. But, uh, but I think it's necessary. And I also know, you know, the people that will help and, and what it really means. And he said, I think it's important that we all, you know, if this is who we are and this is what we do, we should come out and be that. And, and when he said that, I knew. I knew I was, uh, I was on his side. In the parts that you have watched, can you give us analysis of the football game that's better than anyone else's football analysis? Because out of the, out of the corner of your eye, you caught something or you were paying attention to something that you noticed? Well, I can't say that it's going to be better than anyone else's, but but the way that I watched the game and what jumped out to me was was Debo Samuel. And when you have a player that's that brings that kind of energy and is hard to tackle, it, it makes a difference, especially a game like especially a game like this. And from what little I've watched, he's definitely the the difference maker. And it's not just the yards or the plays; it's the energy that he brings. It's like when you have someone who who every time they touch the ball, there there's momentum. And it's not only the yards, but it's the way the defense, you know, gets up after they tackle them. Like, especially in the playoffs, that, that's how you win. Well, he is, who do you watch? I know you watch, um, you know, tangentially, but who are some runners that you look at and, oh, you're like, those defenders are getting up a little bit slower. I, I wouldn't know anyone by name, but, but, you you can just tell you you and maybe other people don't feel it because the running game isn't you know isn't highlighted the way it was uh, when when I played but you can feel it especially late in the season when there's a running back that has momentum and you can tell the defense is like I don't want to hit this guy and that that's a mental thing and once you I mean people know football is a mental game once you get in the other team's head then you got them the physicality in which the the Niners play with especially when they're they're pulling Trent Williams and you have you just mentioned having to tackle Debo Samuel in the modern NFL this is actually a unique weapon because so many teams run two high safeties because the two high safeties are we going to see more of a throwback style enter in the NFL because that physicality seems to be an effective way to break it well it goes back and forth and and when the game I think when the game has shifted so far away from the physicality of it I think it's going to be hard to find enough players that that are that play with that kind of style to 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 build a team around. But you see, there are certain there are certain teams that they they take pride in playing physically, and they they have a decided advantage when it comes to football. But Ricky, especially late late in the season. But you can't play that way. You say especially late in the season. But when the 49ers are healthy, they can beat everyone. And when they're not, they go four and twelve because. You can't keep playing that way. What you guys do for a living is it is insane. Well, I think you just have to you just have to evolve the game to figure out how can we how can we play this way and stay and stay healthy. And that's a matter of you know, how do we practice. But it's really a mentality, you know. And and I think part of it is depth, right? If you have only your your main eleven or twelve guys and you're expecting them to do it all, you can't do it. But if your whole defensive squad is physical and you have different packages and you can get guys in and out, then, you know, then I think you can, you can do it for, for the, you can survive a whole season doing that. Do you remember in college or the pros being before a game or before in the week up to a game? Oh my God, those guys are physical. Those guys. Yeah. On the other yeah, side. yeah. Every, every time, every time we play the, the Patriots, every time we played the Steelers. And then when I was in new Orleans, when we, every time we played the bucks, you just knew, you just knew it was going to be one of those games. How about in college? Nebraska. Nebraska. You know, Nebraska. Yeah, everyone else. Baylor would thump you. Baylor would thump you, but Nebraska, we, we knew. And so how does one coach that? Well, so if it's part of your if it's part of your mentality of how you coach, it's it's just really how you how you you reward. It's like subtle. Uh, subtle rewards for guys when they make big hits, and it's something that you talk about. And it's and usually you have a couple of guys that are big hitters, and they rally around, so it becomes something that the defense takes pride in, like the Legion of Boom. You know, when when the Seattle's defensive backs, that's how they played, and you knew when you went in there that they they were aggressive, they were coming at you. Um, it's just you, you have to you have to coach it. But if you're a team that's not aggressive and you're going in to play that team, you just get them ready that week. You know, you just you just and the coaches will do it, right? Every chance they get, they'll talk, it's going to be a physical game. So it's like in your head. So by the time you get to the game, you're ready for a physical battle. And if the coach does a good job, it's not as physical as you thought in your mind.
This would be the third different offense that Kyle Shanahan takes to a Super Bowl in the last five years. He has Texas ties, and he obviously has the pedigree. But because he came through that Texas program, I was wondering if you had any insight into this brilliant mind because uh, this is a hell of an achievement with this limited quarterback right now if they're able to hang on. Well, again, I I think, you know, we look at the guru coaches and we think it's scheme. But I think, you know, you need to a certain extent, especially as complex as uh, defenses are, you need an offensive scheme to win. But it's really two things. One, it's it's being able to in, to get the players on the same page to, to be able to instill philosophy. And two, it's being able to make the most of, of the talent you have available. I mean, I think that's the most underrated skill for a, for a front office and a coaching staff is how do we create a scheme that maximizes our talent or, or how do we bring in talent, you know, that can function most efficiently in this scheme. Did you ever think on the physical front, Ricky? Did you ever think very often, oh, these guys aren't physical at all? Oh, when we played certain teams, yeah, for sure. There, there were teams where we knew they're not physical, you know. And if we, and if you run right at them, they're going to get out of the way. But if you try to run side to side, they're going to, you know, they're going to chase everything down. That was, the- and I think, I think even part of like putting together a team. Right. If you have a team that plays really rough on defense, if you just you don't have to have the greatest talent on offense, but if you just have physical players on offense that play hard too, it it works because it, the whole team knows we're about to get beat up. And at a certain point in the game, when your confidence dips, you know human nature comes in and like you're like this hurts, you know, and so you're a step slower to get to that to get to the tackle because you know it's going to hurt. Who's this Blanton? Now this is Higby's backup. Blanton yeah. is Higby's backup. The, the, I, that's why I was on the Higby overs because uh, in these matchups, Hig, Higby has performed well and the middle of the field would be there all game for them. And Blanton's having a big game right now. They're also using him very creatively for someone that. Well, they're just throwing, they're just doing a bunch of uh, play action stuff where they throw the ball to him right at the line. They yeah, just did a play. Screens. They just did a play where they flipped it back. They handed it off, flipped it back to Stafford. And, and then he threw it four yards because. To the screen. It wasn't yeah. even four yards. It was a it was a flea flicker screen. Yeah, with all the, the blocking set up right now. Yeah. I'm kind of rooting for yeah. the Bengals to play the Niners in the Super Bowl just because the book on the Bengals all season long and it's been a rallying cry for their fan base as they throw it in the face of all the teams that they beat up because they beat the Titans who were this very physical team everyone had called the Bengals all season long a finesse team and that finesse team finds itself in the Super Bowl and if they're against the San Francisco 49ers it's the most physical team it'd be such a wonderful contrast in styles I think of uh, the other the the old Rams team you know the Cooper Cup is so good. Cooper Touchdown Cup Rams. is so good. Go ahead. The other Rams team. We interrupted you, Ricky. I was just saying that they were a finesse team, but they were they were finesse, but they were aggressive in the way they attacked defenses. You know, you would see those receivers, Isaac Bruce. You know, they would catch the ball on those dig routes, and they would just dive right to the ground as soon as they caught it. A finesse team, but they were so attacking and aggressive in their play calling that it made up for it. Were there? Can you uh, think off the top of your head? A team that you were playing against, where you felt most confident. Oh, they don't. They just don't want me in their secondary. Like they really, they don't want a part of the physical style I have. Did you feel that way against any one team? Hmm. I'm trying to think who we played in the in the AFC East. It was Jets and it was Bills and Patriots. The Jets were usually up to the challenge because there was it was such a big rivalry, and then I mean. In the division, you know you have to get up for each team twice, like twice, and so everyone brought it against me. So a lot of times, if we went out of the division, like I think we went to we, with San Diego in 2002. San Diego came to to Miami, and you could tell they they really didn't want it. Uh, Ricky, good talking to you. We'll talk to you again this week. Thank you, buddy. Yeah, thanks for having me. Appreciated the insight. Uh, oh, you should I'm, talk more like hardcore X's and O's. Well, I meant I actually forgot. Are you still there? I meant to ask him about Cooper Cup and white guy receivers, and I forgot to ask him about that. Yeah, I'm okay. still here if you want to. Okay, no, because Cooper Cup just scored a touchdown, and I've never seen a white receiver like him. I've never seen a white receiver uh, in a league dominated by uh, black guys at the position be the guy who has the most yards. And and how do you un- how do you understand that? I don't understand it. Is how I understand it. I'm like looking at it and I'm like, I, how does that keep happening? Why is that happening? It's not something I'm seeing anywhere else. So do you do you look at him as different than like a Wes Welker? 
Yeah. Uh, yeah, because he plays different. He plays. He's a hundred. Wes Welker's one hundred and thirty receptions, and I didn't fear him downfield. I didn't fear. Yeah. I didn't fear Wes Welker beating me for seventy yards. Yeah. So I, I, here's what I, my opinion on this is: I think a lot of it is opportunity. I think even coaches sometimes, you know, they, they have a hard time imagining the white receiver being able to do that. But, you know, you never know. You get a coach that believes in you, you get a chance to do something special. And I think when I watch when I watch these these guys play, it's, they're just on the same page and there's a level of confidence. And uh, and some of those balls he catches, some of the, the, the throws, you can tell that they just have that connection. And when Stafford throws it, he has confidence that it's going to be caught. And it's it's really that that connection. Uh, we'll talk to you, Ricky. Thank you, sir. Yeah, thank you. Puff, puff, pass. I mean, yeah. Sounds good to me. Shotgun right through the computer screen, Ricky. Let's go. A couple of stoners <laughs> cutting it up. How about that? <laughs> Duck Hodges. <laughs> on that note about uh, Stafford and Cup, I, I forget the the podcast that I heard it on, but Stafford, after his first practice with Cooper Cup, was telling folks that guy's got to catch over 100 balls. That he knew right away. Well, but if, this is why Aaron Rodgers wanted Randall Cobb, and and this is why, uh, as silly as that is, right? Uh, and Stafford had a connection with. Uh, that's why they call me Showtime Tate. Like with certain guys, you practice enough <laughs> with them. I mean, both Ricky, Ricky Williams and uh, Kevin Clark just said the same thing. Oh, in that system, those. Oh, what was that? Did you see what Debo did there? He should have let it go out of bounds. I mean, you're asking Debo Samuel to stop being like the playmaker. Right. To stop Debo being Samuel. Debo Samuel. Yeah, Debo's like out of bounds. I'm going to return it for 90. That that. Ball, they were going to get the ball at the 40. <laughs> this is what we're I love, though. Well, no, actually, on the I replay. I don't know, Mike. Yeah. On the replay, it might have bounced into the. Uh, Ooh. The oh, end zone. He stayed oh, in. He's fine. Oh, no, he stayed in. Oh, oh, Nelly. I mean, he stayed in at bottom, what, four yards? Yeah. Yep. I love. Uh, I you just should let that bounce. I just love your analysis. Right off of Ricky Williams telling you, yes, that bowling ball made out of billiard balls is more physical than anyone out there, and is the reason that they're winning the game because he's better and more physical. And then he has to make a split decision, and you make a better one from here. No, I mean, I I, I think I said it in the analysis. Like, good luck telling Debo Samuel stop being Debo Samuel. But I this is a good play to Eli Mitchell. He's his productivity's gone down. He's still. Gets a bunch of the carries. Imagine this team had a quarterback. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> uh, seriously. The uh, they're I mean, they went. They they had a lead in a Super Bowl. I mean, Patrick I Mahomes wouldn't have had Patrick Mahomes today. We'd be talking about not having won a Super Bowl if Jimmy Garoppolo had made a throw in that game. One. Their uh, their offensive coordinator was really good on answering the question about like why they do so many halfback tosses because be ready for the show if one of those halfback tosses that they run. Or it's a big time pitch. Like it travels in the air like seven yards, and Eli Mitchell is there to catch it. The ball bounce. Uh, it could go poorly for them. And everyone's saying, why are you doing this? Why are you doing this? And McDaniel broke down like uh, the, uh, the pros and cons. Like if, I'm, if I get a split second advantage, that's the difference between four yards and a game breaking play. And they run it enough in practice to know that they have faith that that's a safe play. But everyone gets nervous when they run those pitches. But it gets a running back ahead of steam with blocking out in front of them. It's a risk-reward thing that they do. I, I love this Kyle Shanahan offense so much. I, it's, I, I just geek out over it because it's such a physical, fun play, uh, fun style of play. And you don't see any of the other teams do this right now. And they have a guy in Debo Samuel who's just like a flat-out dude. They can do that on second and 10 where Garoppolo, everybody, you just send everybody out. And if Jimmy doesn't panic, just find Debo in the middle of the field. What's that for analysis? You. He's a flat out dude. That uh, excellent dude. analysis dude. by yep. you. you Fee and Debo dudes. is for dude. That doesn't even sound like a compliment. Like you tried to go no, get dude's him. No, dude's a compliment. A, that yeah. is like a recruiting yeah. thing. Like you got to yeah. get yourself some He's dudes. a dude. Yeah. I'm sorry. One of my clown shoes fell off. Debo's got, uh, he's got over 100 yards combined, rushing and receiving. On, really? Yeah. But, but the receiving's where? I mean, he's well 72 over. yards. Yeah, his over under on receiving was 52. I bet both favorites today because I'm an idiot. Yeah, <laughs> me too. <laughs> What's going on in that other room? They playing lacrosse? Sounds like they're doing field hockey. Relax. Oh. What are you what, guys doing? What? I'm going to mic them over there. What are you guys doing? <laughs> Someone just fell. Playing, Billy, Billy, found a toy. Billy, uh, Billy has gone through our cabinet of props and uh, discarded was a uh, promotional materials for 90210, the reboot of that. 
And shit's he, getting wild Billy, here. Billy found some game. It's called Pop and Press. Billy's the only one that hasn't had beer, right? Yeah. Yeah. No, no, beer, Billy had a beer. Right? Yeah. yeah. All right, that's a quality sound. It looks like it a is. fun that's game. That's a great yeah. sound. Yeah. Yeah. A, you can keep doing that. I'm going to leave that Maybe. mic cracked wide open. You keep making yeah. that sound. Yeah. We only have one ball? What happened here? There's three balls. Who fell out of a chair there? Was it Billy? Billy, Billy he was trying to recover one of the balls from, excitement. from this pop and press. So it's like a thing where you pull a this lever. It's a big play right here. Third and two here. Oh. <laughs> it's a big play. <laughs> sound. That's not a sound for a big play. play. <laughs> no, it's not. <laughs> we got third and two here. It's been a very physical game with a lot of late hits. I don't yeah, know if well, you noticed that Fred Warner play, what? but Bush League the people ball. are calling it. Back to you, Dan. Uh, Brian Cardinal. Is this two? Is this two down territory if they don't yeah, get I it? Yeah, I think so. Say what you want about Jimmy G. He's putting a drive together right now. Well, except it's handing over. it to use It's yeah. over. Yeah. 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 Down. Drive yes. over. Oh, oh, you want we're, we're talking about the offense, the offense, the offense, and then yeah. here you go, fullback. How about a little fullback for he's you? He's one of the best in the league. I, well, he's probably the best in the league, but still, oh, the fullback oh, not oh, making oh, a big oh, impact oh, all over the league. Do you think Chris Cody should slow down because he just slurred the letter G? Well, he's the designated driver for yeah, Greg that worries me. Whoa, it's beginning to worry me. Boy. Yeah. Mm. It's a big play right here. Fourth and Normally two. we'd have Witty drive us home, but he's hammered. Witty's had multiple. Oh, man. Witty, after oh, two they're shotgun. Punting. They're punting. Look at Witty that. hasn't stopped burping. And he keeps moving the mic away every time. Let's, let's, hear, let's hear that burp. Burp on mic, yeah. It's just unpleasant. It's like he gets mad right at himself. What, what is, wait a minute. What is, what is oh, uh, he challenging? What is McVay? Spot. I, we, no, no it couldn't be spot because it's, it's fourth and two. It would have, purple be, it would have to be fumble and recovery. Is it fumble? Oh, the fumble? It doesn't look red. The spots. I mean, I don't know. Him I asked Mike the score before. I mean. <laughs> <laughs> I love that Stugans just gives an opinion spot. and he doesn't know anything. He asked me, where is this airing? Yeah. <laughs> I did. Where is he? He asked me if this was a podcast for tomorrow. I thought we were off. I mean, he doesn't want to work it's tomorrow. Fair, right? It does seem fair. I told him it was President's Day. I'm like, that's not the. No, it's a normal Monday. There has to be a day tomorrow. I mean, there's always a holiday. It's a nun day? Yeah. 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 It's got to be a holiday. Normal call time. Who are we celebrating? 17 <laughs> 14, and it's the most lopsided NFL playoff game of the last two weeks. It's just not true. <laughs> it is true. Think about it. How do you have it being lopsided? I'm saying I'm I'm making a joke. The, the last two weeks, three point lead seems like a lot. Is yeah, what it's like yes. it's seventeen fourteen, and it feels like a lopsided lead. Yeah. I thought the Rams last week against the Bucks felt lopsided, and then at the end of the game, ah, but then it, it didn't. didn't. Well, but you were here at seventeen seven. You guys were already talking about San Francisco in the Super Bowl, and I asked you, why are you doing yeah. that? Like why? It's what you, it's what you do. Five, yeah, that's five what you do. Players. This one's over. I yeah. do. You just. It's what you do. You just walk past the television. You say it's a ten point lead. This one's over because. Yeah. Yes. I, okay. Because I haven't been watching anything the last year. Especially when it's my homes, at homey. <laughs> I know. Walking past my television, it's seventeen seven. It's over. I didn't take the favorites. Put today. it. Put it on the poll, Guillermo at Levitard Show. Do you walk past your television point and say it's over at seventeen seven? You look like John Waters. <laughs> wow. <laughs> you, do. you do look like John Waters. Right. You do. It's like a little it bit is. of like liberality. You know, yeah. 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 You're you talking about me like or Zero Walter, Walter Mercado. No, not no Walter Mercado. You yeah. don't look anything like Walter yeah. Mercado. Yeah. John but Waters do. meets Liberace is what I got. <laughs> Dan and I both look like two guys who both lost both bets today. Yeah. That's what we look like. A couple of clowns. I am falling wow, apart. that was the best one. That's My costume's day. falling apart. I get, I'm wearing <laughs> fishing <laughs> waders. Like, this is not a Ronald McDonald costume. It's just something I'd go fly fishing in. That is a quality sound effect. So it, it is. really is. Absolutely it's is. Yeah. phenomenal. How about Dan fly fishing? <laughs> oh, man, that was the best one. <laughs> yes. Waiters. What a this picture guy. you have painted. I know. <laughs> oh, my God. You in a stream in Montana? Yeah. What, what else do we have to ah, give away here? We've got ah, outdoorsmen over here. <laughs> we, this ah, is, I bet you we can. Which get, end of the hey, fishing pole to use? Is there a way to prove that someone is watching this on their stream in Montana? Like, yeah. is there a way to have right. that person call in and give them something? All right. Third, third caller from the state of Montana, and we'll vet this by just asking them if they're in Montana. <laughs> win some athletic greens. All right. Third Roy, caller, Roy, you're my screener. Roy, Roy go? You're, you he, lost he your entire drawn department, to the sound. drawn to the sounds. That's what we have around here. Yeah, we're here. doing third caller from the state of Montana gets athletic greens. Greg, where are you going? You got to go to the bathroom? Yeah. Okay, <laughs> He needs a beer. I mean. 
<laughs> He's had a lot of beer. He's had a lot of. By beer. the way, that was a horrendous challenge by Sean McVay. What, what did he challenge? Well, so he challenged. This. He challenged fumble. fumble and recovery, I, and now he gave him time to think about it. No, now they don't want to punt. But anymore. more importantly, that was his last time out. They've Whoa. got no timeouts left, and they're down three. Good catch, Wade. Bad coach. Mm. You're pretty sharp for the shotgunner. <laughs> Hello, are you from Montana? This is the other thing. By calling a timeout, he are made sure? San Francisco go from punting to going for it, to going for going for for it by yep. giving them the time to, to the think about it for a second. I, I, actually think, I actually think that might work out for them. <laughs> well, we'll find out together. I mean, I'd bet on my team if I was offense San Francisco physical to get two yards on fourth down. Pretty good D-line, though. I Hello, are you from Montana? In the back it's a long two. No, they're oh, trying they're to, they're gonna take the delay a game. Oh, I hate this. They're gonna take the delay a game. I hate this. How many times do we have to watch these teams try and draw a team offside when 99 out of 100 times it doesn't work? Yeah, but work? the one time it works, man. Oh, like God, that. it's Come such on. a tedious waste of time. I don't like that Montana? play. I don't like it. Go for it. <laughs> Either punt or don't. It's enough. No, they Hello, are you from Montana? It's they, enough. They, they want the five yards. Jeez. It seems like they didn't trust their team. Yeah. <laughs> Hello, are you from Montana? Well, here you go, Stugatz. <laughs> Hello, are you from Montana? <laughs> That's the vetting oh, system. <laughs> it's not a great system. You wouldn't believe it. The first name? three callers said he screamed. Make them prove it, Roy. I cannot believe it. Make them prove it, Roy. Oh, honest callers. Let's nice. them name a city in Montana. Yeah, ask some yeah. trivia. Yeah. I mean, something. Can ask you name them? Can you name a city in Montana? No, I think it's That's not five. good. That's, that's not tough. good enough. Three, vetting. two. <laughs> He's got it. Whoa, what that's was it? Not. That's know. not. How do you know? How do you know? Montana. Montana is home to this thing. What's the bird? of Montana. Is there a Billings, Montana? <laughs> Helena is the uh, capital. No, I, I believe Helena is the capital of Montana. Oh, That's Christ. what I just said. You would. Also, also, also as a prop comic. Also, also home to the smallest Nielsen DMA in the country. Oh, I, oh, Bo I hate Bozeman, you. Bozeman, Montana. Turn his mic off. Only holds, I believe, like 15,000 people. <laughs> this, this is what and it's happens. market number 208. How does he get, more, does he get more professional? The more beer no, he this has. is what happens when, when he gets drunk. His judgment is impaired. His posture has gotten more drunk, though. Is it? Judgment gets you were like cross legged, now you're like, <laughs> All right, you want to talk to this person from Montana that won athletic greens, Stan? Not really. All right, name is Ben. <laughs> hey, Ben, congrats on the athletic greens. He doesn't want to talk to me. Hello, no. Ben. We're throwing the. Oh, what a terrible pass. Oh, oh, oh my God. God. A shocking drop. Ben, I was just going for the joke there. That uh, that was all Stafford all the time. He just threw the game away, and San Francisco didn't want it. Ben, what do you got? Yeah. What do we want? The state of, of Montana is the West own Western Meadowlark. Okay, How about that? Look at that. Uh, tell mm. me more about Metal Montana. Lark. Would you be kind enough, Ben? I was just going for the joke there. Forgive me. I wasn't trying to be rude. So I understand. Give me as much information. You look like a clown. Uh, that's right. I do look like a clown. <laughs> Please give me as much information as you can on Montana, all the pride you have in your in your state. State butterflies, the morning cloak, the fish is the West Slope cutthroat trout. Oh, that's Flowers, nice, yeah. the bitterroot. Mammals, the grizzly bear, and the tree. Are you on Wikipedia? Yeah, yeah. Clo be, close the wiki be, page. Yeah, yeah, I don't buy it. Yeah. Uh, Beckham, no such thing as Wikipedia in Montana. We don't have Wikipedia in Montana. That's right. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Uh, thank you, How Ben. Uh, Beckham, what? what do you want here? Do you want? Or you already gave him the green? Yeah, athletic yeah, green. Yeah, he got eight. Yeah. That would be targeting in college. Oh my God! No, no, it's, it's fifteen targeting. yards. It's fifteen yards. It's yeah. fifteen no, they, yards. They, they it. No, but I'm saying like in college, that's an ejection. Yeah, number one. This guy. So Beckham's got like 110 yards yeah. receiving in the game. Uh, it's, I'm checking on it right now. I feel like it just popped up, and he's just saying it for a fact to get a rise out of me. I didn't see it. Is that what it was? <laughs> I mean, it feels like he has 300 yards in this game. <laughs> I just, he's got a bunch yeah. of catches. It's he has 101. Seven catches, 101 yards. It's his first 100-yard game, uh, 100 game in uh, Los Angeles. First 100-yard game since week six okay. of 2019. He's having a good game. And that'll be that. Poor Mike. That's all I, the credit that I'll give him. I just love though that we're gonna we're gonna analyze whatever happens in the last three minutes of the game. We're gonna forget of that about that chain link and we're gonna forget about that dropped interception right there. Where yeah. They shouldn't even have the ball in That dropped interception should be I mean it's awful on the like, forefront of just, our mind. It's just totally ridiculous how often that happens in the NFL with a defensive back where you're mystified because they can't catch. Like that's a Why ball. Why they play defense? That's a ball all of us could have caught. Everyone in here, including Cody, could have caught that ball. Have you noticed that the midfield logo for the Rams it it, it shoot up. Well, no. Oh, I I thought you say it looks bad. Well, they they alternate it between huh. that and the and the Ram logo that looks like a penis nose. Oh. Have you seen that alternate Rams logo? It looks like a penis. The pogo? 
No, it it has like a penis on its. You ha- I'm the only person that's I noticed the it. Rams penis. Uh, I, I saw it the first time. You got the Rams video. penis. Tony's seen the penis. Yeah, pull up the Rams. The, the actual Rams head. The you Rams want me to pull up the Rams like penis? Like Rams okay. logo seen it. penis. <clears throat> As we know, anatomically correct. Correct. Greg Cody winning 75 percent of that poll so far against Not Corey enough. Corbin. I want more. <laughs> what are you going to do, Dan? It's if you big, don't get 80, you're leaving? Morbin. It's a big play right here. <laughs> I have to be honest. I don't really see a penis. Oh, it's there. Look <laughs> oh, another screen Cop. pass, of course. Yes, Cooper yes, Cup just yes, died yes. forward. Yes. Just yes. run that every play. <laughs> so what? Greg Cody, you're rooting for the Rams. You're rooting for your pick to be yes, correct. That's all you're rooting pick. for. God, do I need it. I went 0-4 last week. Your okay. son has a money line underdog parlay. <laughs> it's his problem, not mine. Wow, this will tear a family apart. <laughs> Cooper Cup, man. They Witt- ought to call it a cup down. Witty's staring right at it and does not see the penis. Give it to Do him. you. <laughs> Let me see this thing. Greg, you ever get another dog? I see a penis. We haven't, Billy, but uh, thank you for asking, by the way. We're fixing to. So, wait, when you're getting around, wasn't it a Christmas present? Yeah, it did was. you give your wife but permission to get a dog? I did, and now it's on her. That's the beauty of it. You mm-hmm. know, I give the gift. It's up to her to redeem it. Like a Groupon. Yeah, whatever that is. <laughs> the hell does that mean? What a Christopher's combined words? What's what? a Groupon? You've like, never heard of Groupon? No. Are you serious? No. Are you joking? Go to, a, a, go to a grouper giving somebody a coupon? It's a big company, <laughs> That's, man. Yeah, it's a, yeah. You mean a groupie? Go to Groupon.com. How would a grouper? You would love Groupon. You would love Groupon. What that. is it? Go to it. It's go online to, coupons. Go to it. All right, let me uh, dial it up right here. Oh, you don't have a computer? <laughs> no. I don't know. Uh, that should have been a delay game. Why don't you come back here? I'll show you Groupon. Del. It should have been a delay of game. You guys got to keep an eye here. This is my expert analysis on Skoranek. I learned his name 17 minutes ago. <laughs> yeah. Number 18. And I am yeah, telling like you, I Ethan am Skolnick. Skolnick. Him? I am yeah. Ethan Skolnick. Oh God! Isn't that what you said? That's the joke oh that Greg God. Cody just made. It's the art. I almost the- choked on my beer. <laughs> <laughs> That's a good one. I like that. It's so this is bad. Not- <laughs> you guys, third and three. You gotta. You you guys better cover Skolnick. Nobody's game planned for Skolnick. <laughs> There's only one white wide receiver on the field, Dan. <laughs> yeah, there is. <laughs> so that means he's not even out there. No. Get him! Good tackle. Good tackle. Yes, good tackle. let's go. They're going wow. to kick a field goal. So Chris Cody, Chris, it was a terrible Red screen. Red Warner, best middle linebacker in the game. Is he? Yeah. yeah. He's damn good. He also had a very Bush League play on Matthew Stafford. It's a bad Bush play. League. A bad call? The, the, yeah, the McVay's really hmm, well, not a good game for him. McVay on Twitter is getting lit up for yeah. the challenges. And then, Dan, I think your day has arrived where Shanahan is also getting lit up for not going for it on fourth down. Like, everyone. It's weird. It's weird. But this, you know, the, these things become tightening sphincter situations when you realize That's good kick. that uh, your decision right there. If he goes for it there and fails to get it, and right. Stafford's in field goal range a play later. And yeah. and I I'm with you though. If you're gonna be ballsy physical offensive coach, fourth and second, fourth and two for your season, you're at the 45. Do you want to play that game or not? I'd rather have the ball and my and and trust my offense than than everything that just happened there. I'm just kind of surprised and pleased to see the change, like that shift where it's fourth and two. You don't really have a great quarterback. You have a good running game, so everyone probably figures you're gonna run there. But people are still blasting him for not going for it in that spot. Like that's that's encouraging. But it's two yards. It's fourth and two. <laughs> and it's fourth, for two yeah, but yards. his defense has played very well. I mean. uh, well, you tell me the defense has played very well, but I, if I had told you before this game that both Cup and Beckham would be over a hundred yards, my guess is you wouldn't be saying that the Rams had fourteen points. I wouldn't. Now be. seventeen. Now, right. like I don't. San Francisco is playing fine enough, but. That's what know. they do. I, they I play like, fine enough. I, yep. like, I, like, I like trusting my offense. I mean, we just got done talking about how physical this team is. You got two yards, fourth down. What are you scared of? You're Kyle Shanahan. You got a healthy team. You got Trent Williams. Garoppolo's – like, what are you scared of? Jimmy Garoppolo. <laughs> but, I mean, all, but all game he's been throwing the ball two yards successfully. He's like, outplayed Matthew Stafford in this game. He has. If you look at the stats, he is outplayed. He yeah. has no interceptions. Stafford has won. He's not throwing the ball down the field. He's just throwing little passes. That, that oh, yeah, yeah, he had the little pass with the yak. 
on Debo Samuel. But, but that's all he has to do. It's not like he's throwing many, it 40 yards, yards down the field to Debo Samuel. Uh, Garoppolo has 235 yards, two touchdowns, no interceptions. And Stafford, 284, two touchdowns, one interception. All right, so he hits the over. Comparable. For what it's worth, the fourth down decision bot had a very strong recommendation for going for it there. Plus 5.4% win probability if they go for this it. This is off the top to of his head. Mm-hmm. Yeah. This is how Whittingham talks when he's drunk. Yes. <laughs> he gets Wacky. drunk and all of a sudden he's giving you demos in Montana. That's right. That's lovemaking talk from Witty. <laughs> Maybe. We should do that. We should, we should have Witty do play by play on lovemaking talk that just uh, that rummages through the analytics. I bet he watches robot porn. <laughs> Roaring. <laughs> was waiting for it. Put it on the poll at Levitard Show. Does Witty watch robot porn? Yes. <laughs> Does Witty watch robot porn? I already have enough in my mentions with the reaction to the shotgunning. I don't need this. Don't knock it till you try it. All right, he's not driving. He can't drive. Your son can't drive. We thought we were worried about you till 10 p.m., and we're going to have to get you both Uber. Thankfully, we work at our hotel. So yeah. here we go. We got seven minutes left in this football game. Uh, the Four 40, giveaways still, the too. 49ers, <laughs> the 49ers have their all their timeouts. What happened? Give something for Mercado. Hashtag Mercado Schlong. Give me the two funniest Hold things. Hold on. I'm doing the witty porn robot thing. Give me the two best things that you have off of hashtag whatever you find that's funniest. Hashtag Mercado Schlong. And we will give two. Uh, we will give away. What do we give away? What do we got left? We got CBDMD. We got to yeah. give some CBDMD. Now, that's a good Hey, that's a good package of stuff, man. That's some healing stuff that uh, it'll make you feel good. Yeah. Give you some kooky dreams sometimes. Yeah. Like I'm that. surprised Ricky Williams didn't call in trying to get that price. <laughs> I had a dream in Good which I tried out. to rent a car and Kevin Spacey was at the at the at the desk. I was like, oh, "You're Kevin wow. Spacey," and he's like, "No, I'm not." And I'm like, "What is that?" Like accent? Elvis? Yeah, he did like, like Elvis. No, he, he had like a, a Southern drawl. He had an Elvis I'm accent. Like, no, I'm not Kevin. Well, now it's become Elvis. <laughs> he does. <laughs> well, he does. But Kevin Spacey does look like someone that you would that you have seen uh, checking you in at a hotel. But it's a mid-level hotel, right? It's not. A, it's like a Hampton Inn. <laughs> right. It's not a great hotel. It's a courtyard. <laughs> In a bad neighborhood. <laughs> it's a, so it's I can get a suite, but it's a bad oh, neighborhood. I love the Homewood <laughs> Suites. Play <laughs> game. I do. I really love them. So what you're saying is I can get a Bigger suite, my house, but I mean. there might be gunshots outside. <laughs> right. but, I, but I got a fridge and a living room, and I'm, I'm feeling like I'm living the high life because I am <laughs> 200 bucks a night. I am rocking a courtyard. <laughs> it's sweet. I got right. multiple rooms. But I'm in a bad neighborhood. Yeah, sporadic gunfire, so it's okay. <laughs> okay. How about I just pick up any random line that's calling right now and we give them something? Wow. Yeah? You want to do that? Yeah. Uh, well, we're almost done, so yeah, we, we should. No, yeah, we should. I'm yeah. trying to. All right, Billy, you talk to this person. Oh. Line five. Hello? Turn down your radio. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's Garoppolo. Garoppolo. Oh, no. Oh, oh, my God. Oh, my. What a there roller coaster. Is. There wow. it is. The play that nobody can, no cornerback in this game can catch a football. That's why he punted. Hey, Caller 5, what's your name? <laughs> Christ, that's Jalen Ramsey. Christ almighty, you got to be kidding me. Caller 5, you're on the air. What's going on? You want some CBDMD? Absolutely. Done. All right, done. Please hold. Wait, what's your name? What's your name? Luke. L- Luke. Okay. Luke, you that works. Luke. Uh, you, L- L- did that? L O U. Oh, Luke. 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 Uh, Luke. 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 You have yeah. been a firework show of entertainment here at the end of the game, Luke. <laughs> I, I do that, what I can. Is that oh, another no, Jimmy. game or just another disaster? Oh, Jimmy. Another disaster. <laughs> All right, Lou. Thank you so much. Thank Congratulations you, on the CBD MD. Wow. Uh, hold right there. I'm glad that we did that on air with Lou and made him earn it. Mm. <laughs> you should try it one more time. <laughs> one more time. Go ahead. Yeah? Go ahead. You, you think we can do better? And... Are you... Well, the, the callers are rusty because we yeah. haven't gone to them in a while. But yeah. we had, once upon a time, a trained audience of funny people that were slightly quicker than Lou. Yeah. Let me, let me give it a minute as we recover. I'm just saying. <laughs> Lou didn't do anything Lou, to Lou, deserve Lou, this. Lou, really? Lou, I mean, no. all, all he knows in order to be on the air is just a... <laughs> 
Lou. Like it's just a sound. Lou didn't do anything to deserve oh this. My God. Lou didn't do anything to deserve that gift either. <laughs> we called in. Was he an L O U or an L E W? I feel like that was a question that was asked. He said L O U. It was asked. You were you've been drinking. We can't be we we can't still be making L E W's. No. Lewis's? What do you mean we can't? Was Lou was Lou L Cinder the last one? No. And the Lewis. You're looking at me. I have no clue. Uh, I think the L E W's look down on the standard spelling. Well, he was an L O U because he he spelled it for us. He said, right, so Lewis Brinson. Yeah. Boom. Oh, there, there, there you go. go. There you go. Yeah, go. yeah. But nobody yeah. calls him Lou, do they? Sweet Lou. <laughs> no one calls him. How did Jalen? Yeah, that's the truth. <laughs> <laughs> so they mean. call him up too many times, and then they have to release him. Two hundred Lou. How many times did they call him up? I'll have to look it up. <laughs> all six, I think. <laughs> all, all six, you're allowed. Ooh, ooh, they took Jesus. the max. <laughs> they, 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 Skaronic with a hit. Dan, your boy Skaronic just absolutely laid someone Listen out on a me. pun return. He's a wild card here. I'm watching my, 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 my you. Watch. Skaronic. He's going to get him to the yeah. Super Bowl right here. Special teams maven. Ethan. He is, uh, Ethan Skaronic is going to is going to win the game for them right so here. Bad. That it is good. bad. It good is, no, it's terrible. I've been trying to hit the loser game show sound over here. Was that? Was that? Was that yeah. Was that worse than Chris's my Skaronic that he just? Oh, did? that was the my best. Skaronic. My 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 Skaronic. Yeah. It's a good color clash. Right here. Them, all right? This game looks good. Yes. That was another delay of yeah. game. Mike. There's been like four delay of games in the last two minutes. No, um, they just don't call it on the Rams. Yeah, you got to let them play. No, San Francisco had one too, and Jimmy Garoppolo just ran in circles instead. McVay thinks it's right there. I think technically it's not actually a delay of the game. Should just because just it that. hits the zero, I think you get actually There's like another a, hiccup yeah. of... Yeah, from, yeah the play so. clock is 41 seconds if we're being real. I'm glad we're being real finally. Mm -hmm. So where's the time. Yeah, it's an odd one. Call it a catch. Do we, this is the, I, I, this thought, is I thought he got the 49. Wow, this we couldn't harsh. have just like one half second of silence. Come on. This is classic watch long stuff, guys. How about we wait until the next big play that makes us go ooh and ah? I'm telling you, it does buku numbers. Okay. <laughs> what, the oohs and ahs? Yeah, you can deprogram yourself from the, the, the career of radio that you've had where you're just totally uncomfortable with silence. Ooh. Mm -hmm. I just thought it was out at the 49. What was Daisy Fuentes' husband's name? Mr. Fuentes. <laughs> we had this. No, we had him on the show. Yeah, I can't remember had, his name. Uh, Richard Marks. Richard oh, Marks. Someone yeah. sent us a picture of Richard Marks on the plane holding the rope where he tied that person up with hashtag Mercado, Mercado Slong. I don't know what that has to do with Whoa, anything. That's yeah. Give him, give him something. Yeah, give him. Yeah. Oh, Sounds like a winner. Oh yeah. Give him some shiggles. Earned it more than Lou. When does oh, crunch poorly. time start? Poorly. Have we entered crunch we're in crunch time? time. Oh, we're, we're firmly oh, yeah, in crunch yeah, time. Yeah, this yeah, is crunch time. crunch time. <laughs> you that was a Lou. great question. Thank you for asking. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. Enough of this guy. <laughs> <laughs> game of his life. <laughs> he's having a great game. He really is. Credit, oh, credit to him. Because he's good, Mike. Glad. I'm glad for him. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, really Ooh, what's McVeigh do here if they get the fourth and three? He goes. Whatever the most conservative option is. Yeah. No, he'll go. No, he's, in field goal range? he is not that not guy. Yet. No, got to go. Well, the other thing is, though, that I do think that Shanahan has more reasons to fear uh, Stafford than you have to fear Garoppolo. Take it, you, like, if Garoppolo takes them down the field to win it and earns it, then they are no longer hiding their quarterback, right? But they've been hiding their quarterback all damn the entire time they've had him. He's they've made been, some plays this game. Oh, oh and there's let Cooper him score. Cup. Let him score. What a throw. Oh, wow. Man, they got all three timeouts. Yeah, Sorry. Right. Now they'll just... That's not Wes Welker. They're 11 and 16 on third down. That's a win ball game. Man, that dropped interception. <laughs> Thanks, Tony. <laughs> Thanks, Tony. <laughs> Uh, they're, they're, man, that's a great catch. Did you say, uh, Whittingham, you said the Rams are 11 of 16 on third down? Yes. That another reason to do, to indict Shanahan for punting there. You told me his defense was playing well. No, it's not. It's right. It's so. But how do they? How do the Rams only have seventeen points? It's an excellent well, question. They might not for long. They scored two touchdowns and a field goal. Yes. Yeah, Ten for one thirty-four. Two touchdowns. Two hundred-yard receivers. Whew. This could have been you, oh. Higby. 
Now they're going to have the timeouts. They're going to call all three of the timeouts. So they're going to get put in a position, the Rams are, where they got to make a decision between running and throwing, right? Because they're going to try and squeeze the rest of the clock out of this. They're going to try, but, uh, they, but they need a first down to do it. Yeah, right. but they're going to be, yeah, they're going to end up having to make a decision so here running. about whether or not you cover with three and a half or you get seven, right? This is a betting situation correct yeah this is a, a minor you've got both of these right chris cody you've got both the dogs uh, both you've got money line dog yep. both of them it's not looking great right now greg cody know. is rooting simply for his pick to be correct of yep. the rams winning you're not even doing it against the point spread correct i mean i would like <clears throat> i would like a touchdown because okay. i picked them to cover three and a half i think it was or four no right. touchdowns no touchdowns oh, i should have hedged when they i need a cup town you should have hedged i told you no, but you, you could have you, Stugatz. You could have had so much, so much better juice on this hedge because you it, you yeah. took it before the game at seventeen seven. It was right there right. for the ramp for they the ramp. Plus the in game juice. Plus three forty. I know the in game juice. Crazy, but it's hard when you're doing this and doing the in game at the same time. It's I, I was there for you the entire way, Stugatz. I was never going to let you you're not hammered. get away with a hedge. I'm not. What do you mean? <laughs> He's just. He doesn't like that you're pointing out to him that mathematically he did it all Enough. wrong. He did it, and now you're showing everyone mathematically that he did it all wrong. But I'm about to win, so it doesn't matter. You are, but he's saying you would have won you a lot won more, more, right? And you have, and incidentally, you have, you like the Rams to blow them out. You might get that result. Like you might get them better than minus three and a half. Well, I bought it down to three, so it's minus, it's minus three, and I also have them just to win the game. I just need them to win the game. That was the hedge, so. Feeling pretty good right now. I don't know. You would have felt pretty good though, having what he's saying, right? Because what I Whittingham would have felt is better, saying, yes. if, if you bet it in game down seventeen seven, next I don't know what what you what did you say it was, was Chris three forty. So plus three forty. At one point it yeah, was. You could have. Yeah. So you could have bet the hedge could have been you could You're have right. just put a hundred dollars there, or yeah. two hundred dollars, or three hundred, and the value would have been nine hundred dollars or whatever it is. Mm-hmm. Thanks, Chris. Well, he was trying to help you. No, I know. He always is. He always is. I love him. But it's just annoying. I love you too, Stu. You know, I have a guy who's a lot smarter than you are. I mean, just always around. But you, you could know? also use him to just make money, right? Because you have been you've been very good this year picking games, have you not? Yes, I've been very good. I'm also very good at making money. I'm good. What's the point of this guy? Congrats on that, by the way. <laughs> yeah. Silence. Greg, you'll be happy to know that the person that just won a gift uh, a gift bag from Sheets and Giggles was also the fake Sean Connery in the Grega cast. Oh, nice. Ago. Yeah. Mm. Nice. Oh, you know what Small I would like world. to do here? That's great. I, how many phone lines? Oh, boy. Can we open up all the I phone lines to fake going. Sean oh, no. Connery's? Let's go. Oh, let's, no. let's, let's, let's close it out. Yeah, let's Billy. open it up. <laughs> open up the yes. phone lines to Billy. all fake Sean <laughs> Connery's. Really looking great on this couch right now. Mike is bailing. I'm opting out. I would love if the the last two minutes of this broadcast were just us calling up callers doing fake Sean Connery. Right. <laughs> we need Sean Connery calling the winning touchdown. The Miller Light Lounge. The underdog party lounge. lounge. Here we go. Oh, oh, yes, oh, boy. oh, that was almost a fumble. He's going to fumble this, right? Oh. Bosa got home. <laughs> I don't know. It's all right, so right now, Dan, just so you know, all of our lines are full. So Roy's locking them in. Potentially, Chris, people Chris, weren't... can you explain to me how you saw a black man get into the backfield and your analysis was Bosa got home? Bosa? I mean, I love that. I don't even see Bosa I mean, on the Bosa field. Ends up Beer. On him. Yeah, Dan, that's Bosa right there. <laughs> Bosa got in the neighborhood. Arms, arms <laughs> his way. You have callers, you said there, Billy? Yeah, all the lines are busy right now, so we're just going to have to ask the people that are already on hold if they have fake Sean Connerys. All right. Go ahead, Roy. Why would they well, call in if they know? <laughs> well, these people have been waiting probably since oh, Montana. I see. I see. I got you. Sorry. All right, so I got to go back down. All right, this is uh, you are opting out. This is a big play here, third and 18. Damn right. Cup. That's game bounds. Going for a field goal all the way. Well, it's going to be plenty of time for Garoppolo to tie it. It's Garoppolo. Or win it. Or win it. Well, all he's got to do is get a field goal. All no. he's going to all, all he's going to have to do is get into field goal range here. I think now is when you go for it on fourth. Niners down. have a timeout. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that'd be great if he went for it. 
Give me Aaron Donald. Thank you. And they're putting up on the television screen. Why are you saying give me Aaron Donald? I mean, I'll take Rams defense against Jimmy Garoppolo. Okay. Any Uh, day. But they're putting up the graphic here on Fox, and it's the correct graphic to put up because the Rams have been playing all season, doing a blueprint building that's different than everyone else's by being more all in than everyone else is. Trading for Von Miller, trading for Odell Beckham, trading for a year ago for Jalen Ramsey. Uh, they Stafford. was uh, Odell was famously waived after okay. he demanded yeah, it. Yeah, my bad. So getting Stafford. You, you understand though, they're making all the moves for this moment here yep. to be in this position in this game to get to this Super Bowl against a team that they will be favored against. Yes, if they get to the Super Bowl, will they be favored? Yes. Oh, yeah, Rams will be favored, I think. Really? Yeah, probably by three. You like the Bengals more than most, I think, Stugatz. You've liked the I mean, Bengals. what's not to like? First off, you watch these two teams play, and you think to yourself, well, yeah, the Bengals would beat either of these two teams. I don't think that. I know. I don't I think that. You agree? I do agree. Yeah. I think, I think the they'd Bengals, beat the 49ers, not the Rams. They're that hot team. Where would you set the lineup? Against the Rams? I That'll would, be three and a half. Three and a half? Yeah. They won't sit on three. Rams are at home. Three and a half right? sounds right. Rams are home. It's a home game for them. Yeah. Wait, so the Rams are three and a half. Yeah. yeah. I, I would have Rams. No, Chris, Chris they're right. Rams. I mean, we take the Bengals, but they're right. The Rams would be. I think whoever wins this game is favored, obviously. San Let's Francisco, see. really? Yeah. Yeah, for sure. Let's see what But Jimmy not G's by made three and a half. Maybe no, by not two by three and, and a half. half. That, that might be one and a half. Yeah. Close to a pick em. This is when we find out. What Jimmy G's made. Yep. Mm-hmm. The line most people had on this was Rams by three and a half. I'm covering right now. God, I hope Presently. this doesn't go to overtime. Uh, I kind of want anyone OT. else thinking about that? Yeah, right I, to overtime. I, I want yeah. OT. No, it's Kyle it's Shanahan is thinking overtime, not winning the game. <laughs> no, Billy just wants to go home. Yeah, it's late. <laughs> Billy, this is past Billy's bedtime. Well past. Well past. <laughs> Billy became a dad many, many years ago, yeah. and then became a dad a couple <laughs> about eighteen months ago. <laughs> Eight. Eight months ago, they feel like 18 months ago. Yeah, I, like, yeah. I have lost track of all time during the pandemic. I don't know what's 24 months and what's four months. I'm just open a cold one out there. What's going on? Oh, yeah. Yep. <laughs> the designated that. driver did. <laughs> 15 to 27. Not great. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. I mean, here it is, right? Like, we, we do all this for years about analyzing how good Stafford is or isn't in Detroit. Never has pieces. Now he gets to a system where he's certainly good enough. None of us would dispute that Stafford has earned being in the Super Bowl if he gets there. But uh, it's one he drive. Thrown that pick. But it's one drive. Yeah, but it's one drive here for Jimmy Garoppolo. He should have thrown a pick too. But here it is, right? Like this is we're gonna make a big deal. All the other stuff's the gonna get forgotten. The chain links. The, the who who dropped what? What defensive drop? But, but this is it right here. This is where these. This is where Montana in that same uniform would do the things that win this game. And uh, you know. People, what is he doing? Yeah, that's that? what he's going to do. I mean, like next that. year Aaron Rodgers is going to win this game for Kyle Shanahan. Yeah, he is. is he going to be there in it Denver? What What were the reports? Weren't they a package deal? Him and Devontae to Denver was the preference. Didn't I read that? No? I guess we'll have plenty of time to talk about it. <laughs> that's how I'm going to fill the awkward silences. <laughs> uh, uh, oh, my oh, God. This oh is no. not great. This is oh bad. Oh, oh, my God. Oh, oh, my God. Oh, oh, God. Oh, 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 Smothering it. No, kneel you don't, you don't have to worry it's about it, three Mike. Point it's going to be, it's it's gonna be a three-point game. That's game. what I'm talking about. No overtime, about. Billy. The game is over. <laughs> That's more Aaron Donald than it is anti-Jimmy. Aaron Donald. No, he took a victory. Oh, Jimmy wild. looks like he's nervous. He took a while to throw that. Let's give credit. Uh, to Greg bummer. Cody for calling it. Damn that's right. right. <laughs> Walter Mercado called it. That's <laughs> Greg Cody. You well, can't do this with guys, Jimmy Garoppolo. Guys, oh, guys. Super Bowl. I don't want to be the one that you know is getting things back on track, but we still have two giveaways and a bunch of fake Sean Connerys. All right, go ahead. Close us out with that. I wish I wanted to do it during these plays, but I'll take yeah. them whenever you give me the fake oh, Sean oh, Connerys. Oh. All right, uh, let's go to line one. Matthew, do you have a fake Sean Connery? Your, your best. Losers always whine about their best, while winners go home and fuck the prom queen. It's <laughs> quality. Working very good. Excellent. Quality. Give him good. something. Give yeah. him. Uh, what do we have left That's to great. give away? Go ahead. You're a winner, sir. Yes. Thank you, Sean. 
And and Greg Cody was exactly right. He wasn't just right. He was exactly right in saying my bets on on Aaron Donald. Yeah. Uh, which is oh god, they just showed Stafford and Beckham hugging, and Mike cream, is about to lose the plot. Cream rises. Sucks. Cream rises. <laughs> I guess rising it. I guess Jeff Garcia was wrong hey. about Jimmy G. Here comes the knee. <laughs> All right. Well, at least you cover. And we'll see. God damn it, the underdog Good hedge. parlay. The underdog parlay gets you again. <laughs> Edging it. Ramming it. That's cool for Should've Stafford's hedged. wife. <laughs> let's uh, let's go to the next Sean Connery here. All right, let's go out to Tony. Do you have a big Sean Connery? Shocks are poorly designed. <laughs> wow. <laughs> I don't know if it was Sean Connery. It was a great Scottish accent. How do you feel about that, Dan? I, uh, I don't think it was good enough. Give yeah. me another one. We went. All right, let's go to Patrick. Patrick, do you have a fake Sean Connery? The NFL is playing both sides. Brady retires. Mahomes loses. Burrow and Stafford in the Super Bowl. Terrible. Oh, that was awful. Greg, that was bad. bad. Do you have a fake Sean Connery? No, I What's don't. What's your best no. impression? Uh, I do a great Johnny Carson. Really? Oh, yeah. Oh, that's it. Uh, it's world-renowned. Yeah. Dan, Dan, we can do the final 10 minutes of the Greg Cody show whenever you want now. Oh, yeah, that's a good thing. I, uh, I did not know that. We could also do it after this if you guys don't want to do it. That yeah, is weird, we wild stuff. Give me another Sean Connery. All right, let's go to Jared. Do you have a fake Sean Connery? Oh, Welcome oh, to the Rock. The eye. Yeah, I can't see it. Did you get that? <laughs> I heard it, but yeah, not bad. good enough. Man. No, no, okay. Try one more. It was a weird, wild, bad Sean Connery. All right, let's go to Casey. Casey, do you have a fake Sean Connery? Oh, Hedging your bets is... Hmm. That's going to be a no. That's going to be a no. Hmm. Sorry. Do you guys have any analysis on this game? Instant analysis. We are now an instant post-game show. I know everyone here is exhausted. We're an instant post-game show. People tuning in all over the land to talk about the Super Bowl. We are exhausted. Massive. Greg Cody has nothing <laughs> left in the tank. We are fast approaching 10 p.m. He is into the beers. Hey, no! that kind of thing. We got a cat. No! Greg, let's go ahead and do it. There's Beckham headed to Samuel. Debo uh, Samuel is weeping. Odell Beckham is whispering in his ear. Do you think Debo's crying because he just wants a quarterback? Wow. Like, yeah. <laughs> it's not about winning just, or losing. He's just right? sobbing. Jimmy G. Jimmy I G. I wish I had what you had, Odell. All right, let's go to Matt. Matt, do you have a fake Sean Connery? First time, long time. Can you believe Stu got Getting worse. Stole from my wife $160 for a half-assed cameo just two weeks ago for my birthday. Sounded like he got fatter there. Dan. Sounded like the alien from Men in Black. Started like, yeah, Mark Ruffalo is what you yeah. said. Ruffalo. Like. Ruffalo. It's a Ruffalo. That was angry Sean Connery. All right, so I guess that's a loss. Sorry, sorry, man. So the Rams <laughs> are like hosting the Super Bowl. Yeah, yeah, yeah they are. It looks like a dick. Like at the first time since yeah, the nose, year. the nose on the logo, yeah, the nose. Yeah, yeah, yeah definitely. Yeah. Where's, the 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 Where's the shaft? Where's the shaft? The shaft is a nose. It's in the nose. Okay. It's the right side of the logo. The right side of the oh, logo. Oh, it's a yeah. dick going down. It. Yes, I see it's it. It's a downward dick. You see the dick, right? Now I see the dick. I told you. Wow. Put it on the pole, Guillermo. Do you see the dick? That's no Mercado schlong. I'll tell you that. Good night, everyone. <laughs> Let, let's now do the 10 minutes for your dad's podcast. How do you want to do this, Chris? I mean, right now, my dad just pick it up. Come in, like, just say, all right, we're here, and paint the picture, Dad. Give your give your analysis of the football. Greg, you have one more to give away, and this could be given away on the Greg Cody Show Okay, podcast. let's do it. How about that? So, Greg, you're now hosting your podcast. Yeah. We're now taping the 10 minutes of your podcast, yeah. whatever it is you need to do. All right, we're on the Levitard Show. We've done this thing Sunday night. It's been fantastic. <laughs> Greg's hammered. It's been really good. Uh... Rams just won, which is fantastic because <laughs> I had lost five games in a row in the NFL playoffs. I'm talking about straight up. So the Rams did me a big solid. I appreciate that. It's a terrible uh, Super Bowl, but it really isn't because um, <laughs> the Bengals in the Super Bowl and Burrow, I find exciting. I find that that's great. But everybody's here right now, and we're going to have a post-game analysis. We're going to talk a little bit about Tom Brady. Anybody else want to say anything because I'm running out of gas? 
<laughs> you have 10 minutes. It's your podcast. You just started. You just did, even you two did, minutes. You did like 30 <laughs> seconds of your <laughs> podcast. I'm teeing Ray, it up. you could just ask us you're a, a it question. You're teeing what up? Do your job for you? We've been here he four hours He wants a post-game analysis like of a little Brady discussion. That's what he's asking for. Okay. The man you cooked for right. petered out. You just said, talk about Brady and the game and right. listen to my podcast. Right. Okay. First of all, let me say one thing about Brady. Yeah. It's so ridiculous that they're talking about uh, impinging on the, the, the scoop that ESPN had. It's 100% that Brady's retiring. Why is 100%. It, no, it's yeah, not. Yeah. Why no, is anybody not. saying it isn't? Yeah. What happened was Brady's camp didn't want to be, they wanted the, the narrative to themselves. They didn't want to be scooped by ESPN or any other media outlet. Brady's own company, TB12, tweets out that he's retiring, and then they retract it. It's ridiculous. He's he's retiring. The whole plan was for him to wait until after the Super Bowl. He's going to do it. He's going to act like he's announcing it for the first time, that it's already not known, and then we're going to go from there. But, it, you know, it's he's the goat of all goats. What else are you going to say about Brady? It's fantastic. I mean, the, the NFL loses – Big time with Brady and Aaron Rodgers, if he retires at the same time. Big big man, obviously. You look gonna... ridiculous. You want to explain to your audience what you're dressed like right now? They can't see his audio. That's yeah, why they... I want you to explain well, to the audience how ridiculous he looks. Okay, in 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 you look the like Mercado after like a bunch of sex in the Miami area. Walter Mercado, God rest his soul, was a beautiful. Uh, what do they call somebody who's in the horoscope? This has freedom vibes. Astrologer? Well, this is where the no. descent begins. Uh, he's an oracle. He's a mystic. He an is oracle, an astrologist. A, mystic, uh, a seer uh, is what he is. A soothsayer. A soothsayer. He was very flamboyant. Yes. What was he? Telemundo, right? He was Hispanic fame throughout uh, the uh, th in Miami Univision. and beyond. Syndicated, international, famously. Right. He was a f he was one of the Earth's most famous soothsayers because he had a lot of florid, bejeweled capes, and right. he was a bit of a Hispanic icon. And and for those of you who can't see me on the podcast, I'm wearing a flourishing everybody red right? cape right now. Uh, they put <laughs> lipstick on me. I have big red lips. It's uh, it's fantastic, but. It's an homage to Walter Mercado. The guy left to me, Levitard, is dressed like Ronald McDonald. So if you think I look ridiculous. Flea market Ronald McDonald yes. is what I was going for. Right, with shower hair. You know how McDonald has the beautiful pompadour? Yeah. Levitard just stepped out the shower and he put his uh, hand in a light socket. The hair's all over the place. You know what? I, I think... I think it's time for Super Bowl predictions. Oh, wow. Yeah, we got oh, a three wow. and a half. Wow. wow. Three and a half right. point spread. All right, let's yeah. go around the room. Stu Gatz is first. Okay. Mm. Wait, the DraftKings line is already in? That's yeah, three and a half point yeah. spread. You're feeling pretty good about having called that, aren't you? Yeah, I'm good at that. <laughs> <laughs> I'll yeah. go first. I'll I go called first. it, too. You go first, Chris? Going. I am going with the Bengals. Mm. Now, are we to win or to cover? Does it matter? Are we the saying Greg Cody show, whatever you want. Okay. How about um let's just go winners. Who's winning? It's a close enough spread. The Bengals. <laughs> I'm starting to sweat. I'll take the Bengals. I'll, take, I'll take the Rams. Uh Burrow Ooh. Burrow pass rush is the way to stop him yeah. and the Rams pass rush. Um, okay. I'm gonna I take just said the Bengals. Dad, you're last. I'm gonna take the Rams as well for that All very right. reason. He, they, they, Bengals have an awful offensive line. Billy, what are you laughing at? What are you laughing at, Billy? He's building up to Greg, you should go last, right, on his own podcast. Your but he, podcast, he's, yeah. he's lost place he's of what he's right doing. That's Mercado. He doesn't. That's, he does, that's right, a good right, point, right, right. you guys. Yeah, yeah, that yeah. Is, yeah, right, yeah, yeah. Mercado. Yeah. He, do, he doesn't know entirely where he is. He doesn't know what he's doing. He doesn't know who he's doing it oh, for. Listen, I know exactly what I'm doing. Okay, I've, I've been spent the last four hours dressed like Walter Mercado. Pain, uh, watching a football game, lavishing everyone with a banquet. It I was cooked wonderful. ribs. It was it's wonderful. Delicious. Devil Thank day. you, Greg. For, for, Greg the for the podcast listeners of Greg Cody Show with Greg Cody, you should know that Greg Cody uh, cooked us an amazing meal tonight. Deviled eggs, pea soup, vegetarian option, and with ham, and the ribs were fantastic. It was a very loving gesture, and it was a delicious gesture. There, Nobody has a complaint The about deviled eggs were okay. I'll say it. Everyone's kind of just building you up today. Right. I'll say it. You've done no, better. No, the deviled eggs were okay. great. Yeah. Aunt right. Bonnie's ones in particular, she makes them way better than you. Whoa! Okay. Well, hey, she also shows up with unannounced hams, you know, so don't. 
you know, lavish too much on her. You said that. I, I was going to do that. I was going to make a ham just a. Uh, that would have been yeah. great. Yeah, yeah it would have been, been fantastic. But it was 36 degrees. So, yeah. I know. Yeah. By the way, Giraffe Kings tweeted out the line is four and a half, not three. Ooh, and a half. Whoa, it went up, up a whole point. Sorry, All man. the money's on the Rams. The line moved one point in the last 38 seconds. Fantastic. <laughs> that uh, Denver. Carpet guy must have uh, plunged about a million dollars on yeah. on the Rams to mattress move the line. Mattress Yeah, whatever. A mattress Mac. Mattress He's Mac no sheets and giggles, I'll tell you that. He may have a good mattress, but you don't have any mattress like the eucalyptus sheets of sheets and giggles. That's right. It's not a mattress. <laughs> it's, not no, whatever. it's not a mattress. That's betting. Come on. Whatever. <laughs> it's getting late. I mean... <laughs> <laughs> Did you get everything off your chest for Billy Corbin? Want to make sure you're good there. You know you're what? Doing well in the poll so far. I wish when McGill was on earlier, not on our show but on the Levitard show, we would have asked him, Ron. Your voice. Does the little tiny bird on the back of a rhino on the Serengeti remind you of Billy Corbin? He'd have said yes. <laughs> okay? Why don't we find out? I mean, like I say, yeah, I hate you, Billy. He's a gnat on my back. I can't even feel him. Knack. And I don't mean Nat King Cole. I mean, he's a little gnat that annoys you, not somebody you enjoy listening to. Right, if I had can, a can of Raid, he'd be dead. You can sign off now. You said that already. Nat King I did Cole say, was but very it's, it's the greatest hit, Roy. What? Ah, Nat okay. King Cole, very talented. He was very talented. Yeah. So who's going to win the Super Bowl, his, Greg? His daughter wouldn't have bad either. Um, what? <laughs> you know what? I like the Rams. I'm going, I know the trendy pick. Same as Mercado. The trendy pick is going to be uh, Bengals <laughs> all the way. But uh, I'm ramming it, man. I am. Baby. Hey, podcast family. Thank you all for tuning in. Pardon my voice. Really appreciate it. I had something really heartfelt to say about uh, a we personal can, off I've suffered. But we can do that. No, I don't feel like this is the, the That's time why I'm to do it. I'm saying we can do that sometime. Yeah, we'll do that next week. Okay. Okay. Thank, Thank you. All. God. What a tease. At least love wow. you guys. At least love you guys. Very much. It's not an awkward You're love you too. Love Thank you. Too. you. Yeah. We love you too. Na, 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 love you all. Is there a fake Sean Connery still hanging around out there? I don't know. You want to take it live? Yeah, we just got to take it blind. Dangling Sean Connery. Yeah. 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 Close us out, Dunk. <laughs> There's, There's, six. There's six right now. We got, all right, yeah, let's, let's, let's do them finish it up. Let's, let's just close it down. One. Let's finish it up. All right. <laughs> Whoever's on line one, go ahead and do your Sean Connery You're impression. on the Greg Cody show. Okay. Are you ready? Yep. Yeah. I'm very ready. Yes. Degree of difficulty right here. I know. All right. Are you ready? Okay. Let me get in character. Hold on. All right. You call it destiny. I call it rock. Wow. Excellent. Excellent. Yeah, yeah, that's, that's a winner right there. That's a winner. All right. Yes. All right. Very nice. Very nice. All right. We're going to put you back on. Thank you. Good night, everyone.